Okay, there we go. Um, thank you very much. Welcome to the stream, and thank you so much for your patience, guys. I do appreciate it a lot. Um, hey, Raike, welcome to the stream, man. Hope the power situation resolves. I, I do hope so as well. It was really annoying, and I was like, oh my goodness, like 10, 15 minutes before the stream, and then just poof, everything's gone. Um, yeah, so that wasn't so great. But I was qu able to quickly relocate. It took me like... 43 minutes? Dang, that took a while, plus the time I had to get ready. Oh, dang, that was annoying. Hey, Stefan, welcome to the stream, man. Sorry about all that, but I'm glad you guys are still keen, and we're ready to go into this. Now, I left my headphones at home, so they'll have to, they'll be, they'll be hand-delivered to me soon, um, so I can't hear anything at the moment, so if there's any random enemies trying to attack us, I've got no idea with that, you know, alert noise that happens. So I'm, I'm playing blind at the moment, and we'll see how we go. If you guys ever have a point where you can't hear anything or you can't hear me, please do let me know. Um, uh, my mic is working, which is good at the moment, but if anything sort of stuffs up, please just let me know and I'll see what I can do. But yeah, today we do have our Alp army, as far as I remember. We should still have everything. Am I on the right stream? Yes, I am. I'm on the right party. That is good. I was worried for a second. Um, I forgot we had so many people added into the, the party. That's why the party's so big. Um, I'm super keen to get these Alps into action and hopefully be able to get us some more bigger monsters. The only problem is Alps are just so unreliable with sleeping them at the wrong times. So hopefully we can spam our nets as much as possible. Where's our net dedicators? At the back here. Uh, does anybody else need to use a net? Not necessarily, but having Lucky with a net in the back pocket, having our polearm people in emergency situations, um, it, it's probably not a bad idea. Snorkel? Uh, thank you very much, Raike, for the resub, and for three months, man. I can't believe it's been three months. Oh, so happy to hear, man. Thank you so much for the support. And, yeah, it's it's been pretty crazy. And I'm glad that that emote thing for us is still working. I can see my desktop audio going up and down on my OBS, so I'm glad noises are still happening for you guys. Um, 221T, thanks for the support, man. I hope it does all work out. I'm in a slightly different room, so it might sound a bit more echoey, depending on how good my mic is going to pick it all up. And at the moment, the stream is slowly having some problems, so if there is any lag, I do apologize. Um, I'm technically on Wi-Fi now, and I'm used to being on cable, so it might be a little bit slower today. Uh, I might see how I go with it all, but yeah, thanks kiddo for the support as well. Hey Cracker, welcome to the stream, man. Good to see you. Uh, we might get over with a couple, maybe one? Yeah, let's get an extra spare net just in case. Uh, but for the moment, it's looking pretty good. I'm quite confident with this team. Even though we do have a lot of level ones, I'm pretty confident. Uh, we just have to try and level you guys up, especially leveling up the pets as well. And can we get a quest? Ooh, we did have some left over from last week. Abandoned remains for 1.2 grand, which I think is green skins. That's a bit tough to give to level ones. And I'm doing a beast quest. I'm more inclined to do the beast quest. It seems like a good idea. Yeah, just in case we could possibly catch something nice. Uh, this far south, we might get snakes. That'd be interesting. That'd be very interesting. Um, regardless, let's see what we can hunt down. At any point in the map, you can get Noxidas, so I mean, it could literally be anything. Yeah, yeah, I called it. I thought so. It's somewhere you, d you just always seem to find Noxidas for whatever reason. 24 is a lot, and I'm actually a little bit worried because of the number. Oh boy, okay. 
Ken, let's get you a net just in case. We don't have that many frontliners. That's why I'm worried. Oh, and I don't want to lose people. <sighs> okay, I guess we just jump into it. Uh, one thing I do need to remember, though. I do... It's, it's time to get eaten. It is... It is time to eat. One thing I just recognized is we have too many people for our fighting line, so somebody's in reserve. And I think it was Ken. Yeah, Ken's in reserve at the moment. Do we want Ken in reserve? I mean, he's on 52 attack. Antonian, Antonius, I think you're meant to go in reserve. I do apologize. But 37 melee skill, you need a lot more babysitting before you start being useful in a fight. You're gonna get one shot. So I think you're going to be our little person we keep in the back, just safely. Sorry, man. <laughs> oh no! We can't... We're still full of people. So regardless, we did have an extra person that could stay in the fights, but I probably shouldn't have kept him in the fights anyways. So that's fine. We'll keep him out for the moment. Was there someone else that needed to be just sitting on the sidelines? Singularis is okay, I guess. Half decent in both areas. <sighs> Do we go throwing weapons? No, it's too risky. I think we just live with what we have. Uh, maybe shuffle people over. And somehow form a... I don't like our formation. I don't... It... Oh, this is gonna be tricky. Let's hope most of them are tier 1s. If they're just the baby ones, it might be manageable. If there's some tier 2s and 3s, I'm actually going to be worried. And I already see a tier 2 on the front lines. Uh-huh. I don't want to get my hopes up. It's looking just like tier 1s. I don't want to... Here's the, here's the trap I don't want to get locked into like we did last time, I think. Um, spending all of our efforts catching them early on is way too exhausting, so I'll I'll try and catch maybe a tier 2 or a tier 3, but killing all the tier 1s is high priority. Okay, let's put reds on as usual, and not sure how useful the Alps will be, especially since they're not fully healed. I think we just have to play it safe. We might be able to back up a little bit. Maybe these ruins could help. Maybe. We've got two spaces back. We can do there, 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 there. I think it's a wise tactical maneuver, not a retreat. Just a tactical maneuver to try and position ourselves backwards. <laughs> Barlow, good hit, good hit, my man. Uh, let's go, is it one, two, three, four, and five? One, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, five for the front lines. One, two, three, four, five. That unfortunately puts Singularis on a corner, and I don't think that's great. Advancing in the opposite direction, not retreating. Yeah, of course, of course. And that doesn't make sense. We wouldn't retreat. It's not our playstyle. <laughs> Alright, let's see if this tactical strategy works. I'm not sure of it. But it might do what we want it to do. Um, oh, I think I've got the ads coming up in... Let me see if I can get... Another five minutes. Okay, there we go. Sorry, I just had to rearrange my screens. Uh, Cello, let's hide behind here. Oh, we can't reach. I should have shot before I moved. That's fine, that's fine. Uh, we go here, right? No? We go here. That's kind of okay. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. Whole arms trying to stay in the midst of it, making the most of it. Oh, right, Kate, you are a cornerstone. Let's hopefully keep you sitting with the most people surrounding you. That's fine. Minecraft, I want you sitting back here. Maddie's there. Stefan 3.2, and Slave Cripple there. Sweet. Okay, that's looking pretty decent. I don't know how effective that's going to be. We might have to put Cello back here or something. Uh, and 
here comes the waves. I just want them to crash our front line, like, now. That would be helpful. But regardless, we'll just shoot as much as we can. Maybe throw some nets where possible. I don't care if we even throw nets on the little ones. If we're just somehow staggering their advance, that's going to give us somewhat of a time advantage. And if they're wandering around like that, that's helpful too. Okay, okay. This is a big fight. I wanted an easy fight to start with, and this was not the one that I was expecting. Uh, Barlow, can we soften them up? 89%. I'll take it. Nice. Cello, you're gonna get swarmed. Okay, so I need to move you. Like there. I can see some so many flaws to my plan. And I can't do anything about it. Uh, throwing weapons... 8% Polaris? What? Oh, that's bad. He's level 2. Oh no, it's 37%. Why did that change? I don't know, but I'm not going to complain. 37 is a better chance. And it's enough, but it gets a kill, which is kind of bad. Oh, that's kind of bad. That's one of those times where I wish it didn't didn't do that much damage. Corpse control is going to be a little bit harder now. Okay, okay, can I put a net somewhere? Nope, can't reach. Okay, can I reach for Minecraft? Yes, I can. Uh, we'll put a net on the tier 2, just so he doesn't go and eat the corpse. That's hopefully going to be helpful. And then we just end the turn, right? Nope, maybe one of them crashes our front ranks. Why is it bad? Because one of the baddies can eat it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, 2-2-1, two, two, uh, thanks for the good question. The reason why you don't want to get kills super early on in a Noxida fight is because these guys grow to their next level every time they eat a corpse. Um, and as you can see, if they get from 100 health, they also fully heal every time they eat, which is really bad. So from 100 health, the next level is 250 health. So that's a gigantic jump. But even worse than that is if these guys eat the tier 2s, they get to 450 health, and they get to start eating your bros. So, yeah. it's You've got to do giant corpse management whenever you're dealing with Noxidas. It's it's big and bad, and I hate it. Um, if you have a very good ranged party, you should be able to do some good management. Um, if you have a good party that has a decent front line and starts advancing every time they get kills and pushing the front line like a... Like the way armies advance their front lines. That would be another acceptable strategy that works quite well. Um, but if you can't do either of those, it's going to be very hard to do corpse management. Because if you're standing on a corpse, they can't eat it. Mm. 64% on our guy that doesn't have a shield. Hey, true Man necromancer. Welcome to the stream, man. Good to see you. Um, hmm, hmm. At least, now that they're locking our front lines, they're wasting time going back and forth around here, and I like to see that. I do like to see that. The ad has started, but they're not missing anything if they're on the ad break. Definitely not missing anything. <laughs> okay, the big ones are trying to flank. Singularis, I don't want to walk up to them. But I don't think I have a choice. Actually, Raike could maybe move here. Opening up a spot in our front line, but then that gets... Murph surrounded. That's pretty bad. At least they're not flanking top flank. That's good to see. Play. Do we just keep throwing nets on people that come past? That's probably the play. So if we walk forward, go for a split. And miss both of them. Mm-hmm. Okay. We then throw a net from Cracker onto the big one. Good. And we can't reload nets, unfortunately, just yet. We don't have enough action points. Uh, Lucky, could we start this off with a 66%? 
No, we can't. Ober, Mr. Necro. 34%. Oh, like I said, this is not going to be a good fight. So they will eat Alps if they die as well. Um, Yeah, if our Alps die and leave a corpse on the floor... Why did I use Rust? I always use Rust on Ober. I screwed that up. Okay, never mind. Um, but yeah, sorry, Raike. It's any corpse on the floor. It doesn't have to be their own. If your brother dies, they leave a corpse on the floor. If your pets die, they leave a corpse on the floor. Any corpse Noxodaz will eat. Even if they're allies, enemies, it's it's so painful. Uh, just for fun, Van wants to roll the combat RNG. I think that actually might help us here. So thank you for the roll, my man. And let's see what you get. Let's hope it's something big enough to deal with these Alps. If it's a dog or something, it's gonna just feed them. Oh, you get a free kill? Hey, that actually is kind of good. If you can kill like a tier two, that would be so helpful. Kraken in the back line. Oh, the Kraken would be good because it would leave corpses at its face. And then if they came to eat the corpse, he would just kill them again. <laughs> so Van, what are you gonna kill? Any Alp is okay, tier 2 or tier 3. Oh, okay. Thanks, man. Um, I might kill this one because he's not under a net. That's probably our best kill at the moment. So, thanks, Van. Appreciate it, man. And it also gives them knocked uh, resolve down. That's good to see. Sweet. Okay. That might make this fight a little easier. Especially that a tier 2 is gone. Uh, and the flank has already got some unhappy people. That's good to see. Polaris, what can we do? Roll on 47s. Um, okay. Unfortunate. 81s for Maddie's wife. She gets a double kill instantly? I mean, not a double kill. A double hit. A two-hit kill. Nicely done. 67 accuracy plus 20%. With this beautiful weapon. That, I'm very happy to see. And now that's a fleeing baby in front of us. If they're fleeing, they can't eat. Um, if they eat, they also boost their morale as well, so you got to be careful of that. But if they're fleeing, you don't have to worry about literally any problem. Um, I want to probably try and advance over that corpse with Maddie's wife, if possible. I probably won't get the luck. That's a good hit from Cello. 67. Can we go again? Oh, unfortunate. See, my wife's got a beard now, fancy. <laughs> Maddie's wife just constantly changing. Oh, having way too much fun with it, man. Oh, Raikei with the head chop, let's go. Sadly, head chop still counts as a corpse. So, yeah. Uh, Minecraft, can we get another net onto this guy if possible? Yes. He broke out, but now he has to go through another net. That's good for us. Uh, Maddie, yourself. Nice. Uh, Stefan should be fine here. I know he's surrounded, but it's just by the tier ones. Yeah, you're fine. You're fine. Um, I'm worried about advancing with Murph. So I'm probably... Oh, he's got the Jester's hat? Oh, I forgot he has the Jester's hat on. That means he's more likely to be attacked. Oh, that's kind of bad. Okay. For the moment, we're surviving, but the problem is this fight can flip on a dime very quickly. Depending on how many corpses are eaten, and which tier 2s and tier 3s get added to the party. If there's only like 5 Noxodas left, and they're all tier 3s, you can just lose. So you've got to be very careful. Now there are 3 of them sitting on corpses, but their turn's done. Which is actually really good for us. Oh no, he acts in two turns. That's kind of bad. Um, can we get the 70? Yes, lucky. Good job, good job. The jingle jingle of the hat makes them angry. I know, it does. It does indeed. Hey Murph, welcome back. Uh, losing is fun. What do you mean, Stefan? <laughs> Pulling out the losing is fun card, aren't you there? Um, can I put Maddie's third wife forward? That could actually help us here. Uh, Murph, Murph thank you very much for the follow to the channel, my man. Appreciate it. <gasps> Maddie's wife is scary with his beard, and 
makes this one flee. He's sitting on a corpse. That's so good. And Ober, I want you to kill... Ooh, wait. Ober, could you walk forward? Instead of using Rust, because I'm so forgetful. Um, can you get this one? No! It's an 84 per... Mm. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, can I get some collaterals here? Should I go for this lucky shot, Barlow? Can we go again? <gasps> White flags of victory! Let's go, boys! Did you miss anything good? Knocks it up, Hardy. I mean, um, what was it? I think Van Whitman, yeah, he rolled and killed a free tier 2 for us. And the white flags of victory have just been sung. Oh, Barlow, thank you so much. Uh, Singularis, I think we can deal with this. I don't want to sweep because you can hit Raike, but then again, you won't hit Raike. He's impossible to hit. Yeah, see? You can't hit Raike. It's a 5% chance. Strats here. Next level strats. Hit your own friends because you can't hit your own friends. Nicely done. Okay, so from here, this is a risky move, but we have to do it. Raike, can you dodge the 5%s? Dodge the 5%. Good. Okay. We're in business. We're in business. We have both tier 2s locked in combat with Raike, who's a beast of a tank and has decent accuracy. Raike didn't even see it coming. <laughs> didn't even see it coming. Uh, 70, 77. Oh, Murph. Thank you very much for the tier 3 sub, man. Appreciate the support. Definitely appreciate it, my man. Thank you. Uh, can we go for... Um... Should I go for a shield wall just to be safe? Yeah, I'll shield wall. I know they're rolling on fives, but the shield wall is probably the right way to go. Um... <laughs> Polaris of 53? Yeah, I think we can do it. Okay, he gets one of them. That's actually helpful. Uh, Cracker, can we get another net going? Yes, we can. Nice, nice. Okay, I want to stop... I technically want to stop that one. How do I stop the other ones? Maybe I stop this one? Maybe, maybe this one. And I just leave the other nets for Minecraft to do. Because Minecraft could has the better reach with his net throwing. I should have waited. I should have put the net back on this guy. But I think we're at the point in combat where you can start stealing some of the corpses. Not the corpses. <laughs> Steal some of these guys as maybe future pets for us. Oh, it is lagging a little bit. I do apologize. I didn't even see where that arrow went. Okay, that's helpful. Uh, can we get this kill? Nice, good kill, good kill. Um, I'm a little bit worried about being surrounded by three people, but I think our new guy probably has what it takes, because he does have Phalanx still. Ten melee defense, so he's probably good enough to survive the baby ones. Okay, so Maddie, we need to get rid of this one. Nice, good kill. I think that was full health almost. And then what do we do? We just wait patiently, wait patiently. He breaks free, of course he breaks free. Um, Raike is shield walling for 5%, so that's good. Uh, Murph, what do we got? That's a good kill. That is a good kill. Okay. I'm a little bit worried about them chasing our back ranks, but we should be fine. Uh, Minecraft, can we... Oh, we can't steal kills. As you don't have... And I don't want to waste the three and four throwing net. Yeah, dang it. You don't have enough stamina. A tier three would be cool to mess around with. Oh, I agree. If we could keep a tier three. They're so hard to get, though. Because they, um, they don't like being captured. I'll say that. Stefan, nicely done. I might see if we can capture the baby one, but it's probably not worth it. Because they don't increase in size. As far as I know. 
So it's you catch them at the size and you keep them at the size they get. All oh, right, Kate. They're getting a little hungry, and that's what I mean by the fight can just change. 25% on our brand new guy. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, can we get this kill? Nice, lucky, nicely done. Okay, Raikei, they get a 5% on you. That's kind of rough, but I think we can deal with it. Maddie's wife is just tearing it up, and I love to see it. 79% uh, over, please. Thank you. Nicely done. Uh, Murph. Thank you very much for the donation, my man. Thank you very much. You're insane, my man. Just absolutely insane. Just, what are you doing, man? Crazy. Uh, I appreciate it. I definitely do. That's definitely going back into the channel for sure. Already got emotes planned and everything. Twitch ignores you. Yeah, that's that's unfortunate, man. But I do appreciate it. Uh, Singularis, can we go for a... No, I really don't care much for the team, do I? I just don't. What am I doing here? Am I just going for the hit? No, I miss. Okay, fair enough. He's stuck, stuck in a net and he's fleeing and he can't get hit. He's a wily one. Uh, where are we going with this? Polaris, can we get some throws on the guy in the net, please? Is this the first fight? Yeah, 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 this is the first fight. Uh, Twitch got delayed. Uh, the stream got delayed because I had a power outage. And I had to relocate physically. So I'm in a different place at the moment. And it's all good. It's all good. We're keen, we're ready to go, and... Actually, I should have caught this. Oh, I'm an idiot. I should have caught the tier two. Ah, I'm just too blood hungry. Gotta just kill everything we see. Yeah, I know, right, Kay? I know. I was just too blood hungry. Ah, it's fine. Right, Kay? You should be able to possibly help with these tier twos. Nice! There's a white flag. I'm committed. <laughs> Way too committed to the kills. I hope these tier ones start leaving, because if they start eating, that's bad. So I just want them to just give up. Give up the fight. Free kills on the way out, please. Yes, Stefan. Yes, please. Let these little ones run, please. That one's dead. Yes! Yes, the little ones are leaving. Okay, that's so good. No one's eating anything else today. The buffet is closed. We're out of business. Now all we have to do is clean up the floor. Lucky, beautiful kill. Raike, please don't get hit on 14%. And maybe, just maybe, we might catch a tier 2. This time, Raike, I will try and remember. Oh, me and my forgetful memory. And my bloodlust. Oh, we missed. That's okay, Ober. We just barely missed. Uh, Maddie's wife should be able to hold on to a tier 2 over here. Barlow should be able to weaken this one. Oh, we're out of ammunition. Uh-huh. Slight issue, but that's not a problem. Just a reload, and that's some good damage there. Singularis, you do not have enough to tame it. So you're here to help extra, oh, extra damage. That could kill it. Okay, let's, let's not. Let's go over here, then. I don't want to accidentally kill it. Yes, okay, it's down to 50 health. That's not bad. Cracker, do you have another net? Please tell me you do. You don't. Mm -hmm. I would say that's a slight issue. Damage-wise, this shouldn't kill. With all respects, this shouldn't kill. If it doesn't hit, it doesn't kill. Sweet. Minecraft has no energy. Raikei has no energy. This thing's dying on the way out. Ah, uh, oh, we're trying. We're trying too hard. Okay, we can at least get this guy worked down. 
Nice, nice. Okay. Yep, as soon as Minecraft walks on the sand, he doesn't have enough fatigue. Oh, unfortunate. Absolutely unfortunate. Thanks for the 300 bits, Murph. Thank you very much. And I think we just have to let it either die. It's probably just going to die on the way out. Screw it. Well, Cello did a good job there. Uh, let's jump over here, hopefully get some free hits on this tier 2 fleeing, and maybe get it low enough. I'm not sure if it will. Mm-hmm. See you later, you guys. I don't care about you guys. Uh, is he dead? He's dead on the way out. Yeah, yeah, I thought so. He rallies, and then just leaves. <laughs> Anyone not subscribed? I need my 500 snowballs. Oh, dear. Yep, you guys are definitely wanting to spend the snowballs. Oh, uh, we have to remember we can't leave... We have to leave one of them alive. That's right. Can't be the last one on the battlefield. So... The plan would be... 129 health. How do we lower that? Ogre could use Rust. That probably won't do too much damage. 44 damage. That's not bad. Maddie's wife can go for a 94%. 45 damage. Now a second hit would probably kill. Um, Minecraft... No, I think we just wait. Do you get an extra capture chance of fleeing enemies? Oh, that's a good question, Stefan. I don't know. Because you get extra capture chance when you got extra melee skill, I think. Extra health missing. Extra backstabber. Extra height advantage. But in terms of fleeing... You'd think so. You'd really think so. But I don't think it gives much of a difference, sadly. Which makes me sad. But that's okay. Uh, Raike, we can't have any energy. That's fun. You're already doing way too much, and it's beautiful to see. Cracker, I think it's your job. 27%. No one else has a chance to capture this guy. And he gets it! Cracker! Poggers, man. Just beautiful. Nicely done. That is what we like to see. Scripted Stefan coming up with the instant scripted. Oh, that's beautiful. This is our beautiful addition to the team. He's got no health at the moment, but that's okay. Uh, their stats aren't amazing, but they're better in swarms. Can they eat bodies to grow, Murph? That's a very good question. I don't believe so. Um, I know that in the Hex mod, when you guys play with the Magic mod, or when we ever get to play with it, um, the Noxidas that you control can eat bodies and stay grown, as far as I've heard. But in AC, whatever it says here on this screen, it doesn't change. Should still heal them, though? Um, Raike, I think so. Either they can uh, crack Catcheringu, yeah, yeah, exactly, crack Catcheringu in the house, and yeah, though I think Raike, they might be able to eat during battles to heal up, increase their resolve and all that fun stuff, but I don't think it carries through when they finish the fight. But in all honesty, science. We've got to conduct some science today. And that is all we ever do on stream anyways. We've got to see if this loyal companion of ours can get bigger and stronger. And now there's only one guy left on the field. Technically there's still more because they're trying to flee. So I'm going to hopefully get this one low enough. Probably won't be able to get him low enough, but hope is there. Need to see if he survives. Yeah, that's the trick. He's got to survive first. Um, hmm, let's go here. This is probably a risky situation. Uh, da, 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 da. let's go here. That sucks. Dang it. Can't get any arrows off. Abram is completely exhausted. Stefan, I'm just leaving up the top. We're down to how many people on the battlefield? Only four. Okay, so that's fine. 
Uh, Minecraft, this is risky. Everything we do is risky. You have a what percent? 26 to get him, but I think lowering him one extra hit. And we miss. Dang it! Okay, they're exiting the field. Please don't exit all the field. Oh, it's down to one. Okay, so we can't capture him. Oh, I was worried about that. Maybe I should have just gone for that 26. I should have just gone for the 26 of the Minecraft. Eh, hindsight's 2020, you know. Or nowadays it's 2021. <laughs> oh, well, we'll kill this guy, get rid of it. And yeah, we come out on top with a free Noxida. And the biggest thing I'm super surprised about is we won that fight with no casualties. I, I don't know how we did it, but we did it. And I do believe that Cracker was a big component in getting that free tier 2 kill. That definitely helped. And he gets his capture in the same time. Yeah, it's totally scripted. Totally scripted. <laughs> congrats on the levels, congrats on the XP, and we can make a trophy out of that. Two trophies, maybe. Nice. Looking good. Oh yeah, that's a good start to the stream. Definitely a good start to today. Uh, let's get into the payments. Nice. Uh, hopefully get some cash. Selling things, maybe? Maybe buying things? No, no, no. We don't need too much. Don't need the brains, so we'll empty out the inventory. <sighs> Tools are not too bad. Food's a little bit low, I will admit. So let's get some mushrooms, because you guys love mushrooms. Am I using a different PC setup? No, no, no. Same PC setup. Uh, everything just came with me in my car. But it is a little bit slower at the moment. I'm not sure. Maybe it's because of the Wi-Fi. Maybe it's... Yeah, it's probably the Wi-Fi um, with the stream being a little bit more heavy on the Wi-Fi at this place. Because I'm normally on Ethernet cable. So that's probably why it might be a slight... Maybe laggy at points today. So I do apologize. But... At least for here, though. That's the big thing. Uh, where am I going? Uh, we could do green skins. It's a bit risky to do it. But most importantly, we need our nets repaired. We need to keep the net game strong. And do we need healing? I mean, we barely took any damage. We played that really well. I'm very surprised. But yeah, let's just do a bit of repairing. A little bit of healing, a bit of crafting. Nice! But we still need to get a steady supply of net income, because we do lose them every now and again. Um, I do need to do level ups, that is correct. So let's put that there. Cracker, congrats. And how much health does this guy recover? Not much, it's a bit slow. Party size increase? Thank you, Raikei! I appreciate the um, good observation there. That is so nice. That means... Ken Chan can rejoin the fight. Welcome back to the fight, Ken Chan. And Antonius can join back in as well. I'm still worried about his situation of being a literal one-shot. Oh, I feel so bad for his situation. I think he's just going to have to be on cleanup duty, or he holds a very important pet or something. Um, but thank you very much, Raike, for noticing that we got our party size increase. That just means we have to be very careful not to lose that now, because I don't want us to lose it. <laughs> uh, Cracker, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You've got a broken elbow joint. What do we turn you into now? Do we still keep trying? Uh, I don't know what to do with you, man. Because that is a really big problem. I think we just keep trying. And we use you as nets for the moment. Yeah, we might just have to do that. I think we just hope for the best. Let's get a health roll, because that's actually a very nice health roll. And as a ranged person... We'll just get the crossbow mastery, just to be safe. Toss him into the ocean, or monster bait. <laughs> He's probably dead meat, but... If the promise potential comes through, plus 15 could override the elbow joint. It could be strong enough to make you still survive. 
with a broken elbow. And then you do damage and survive and get... Where's any other bonuses we could get? Not many, unfortunately. Is there... There's fast adaptation. So that could be pretty useful. Join you in your jester... Oh yeah, I'll get him a jester hat and just toss him on the front. Could do, could do. Polaris, how are we doing? Plus four, not bad. And do I care about the health? Yeah, I do. Or do I care about the plus three melee skill? Because if we get a plus three melee skill and get hybridization, that gives us more accuracy. I'll do that. Next level strats. Um, also, I probably should go gifted before I go into hybridization. Yeah, I mean, hybridization's plus five. Gifted is plus four. But then we get other stats as well. Yeah, let's go for other stats. Because uh, stamina could be a problem. So we'll jump into the... No, not health, not health. Me and my mouse. Yeah, that'll be fine. Nice. And then we'll get into hybridization for the plus five. Because um, you get your melee skill divided by ten in terms of range skill when you're using a throwing weapon. And then we'll get into, obviously, discovered talent. That's going to be sweet. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. I don't have inventors often. But inventors are cool. This is the perk we're going for eventually. That could also... Here's the reason. This is why we have to keep Cracker. Because we're trying to show... Can we get anatomical studies? 50-50 split, says Red Yeah, yeah, yeah. He could be anything but the stars. Yeah, the stars. But yeah, we're trying to show off maybe late game if we can get Polaris to survive. To try and show off how bad... But at least show it for science. The um, inventor and anatomical studies to create prosthetics for people. I don't know what the prosthetic would be for a weakened heart, though. Maybe like a heart monitor or something? I just jinxed him. <laughs> maybe. Maybe I did. But hopefully not. Uh, our brand new guy, what do we got? Plus three, that's not bad. Plus three and... I mean, the fatigue is tempting, but we need the health. Technically, fatigue's good for almost anybody in the game. Uh, net repair, we already have... Defensively, there's not much. Like, cover ally is not that amazing. Do I just go back to basics? It wouldn't give us much. Um, dum -dum 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 -dum. There's not many choices at all. Maybe I just go back to basics. Because cover ally on a battle-forged guy, he doesn't have any fatigue to use it. Yeah, let's go back to basics. Just see if he gets a little bit of a boost. Actually, it's pretty decent. Oh, that's a little bit more than I was expecting. Seven melee skills, pretty good. Because everything else, we're going to keep stacking melee defense, so it's going to be useless. We're going to stack our resolve, so that bonus is going to be useless. Range skill is not going to help us. But plus seven melee skill for no longer putting points into melee skill is worth a perk point, I think. It just is. So for that reason, yeah, I'm happy about that. Okay, so, Stefan 3.2, what do we got? Weakened Heart means we got to desperately go more health. And there's nothing else we can do about it. Oh, there's Resilient! Oh, we could go Resilient for sure. How's our Spear going? 10 times 2, that's not bad. I think we go Resilient. Plus 6 health. 58? <laughs> it's something. 58 on a weakened heart is not bad. Um, the ad will be starting any second now, I do apologize. But I'm just going to try and get us into the next quest, hopefully. And actually do a little bit of crafting. That's what we got to do. Let's jump into some trophy necklaces. Because I think we can make two of them. Yes, we can. Nice. And we can make an elf trophy. Ooh. I didn't know we had the ability to do that. In terms of materials. Not bad. Uh, let's get 54 hours for Maddie to do it by himself. I think he needs a little bit of support. Maddie would be working day and night. Uh-huh. 
11 hours if everybody helps. Okay, that's not too bad. Not too bad indeed. Uh, we still have to work today on getting our arena quests done. We could get some nice captures there, hopefully. And we're trying to do it for science as well. we got a lot of science to do again. Uh, let's see. No one's on patrol. Everything is completely crafted. Very nice. So let's jump into giving... Who needs the XP? Is anyone dumb? Or slack? Dumb and slack are the ones that need the XP boost. Uh, da, 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 da. Cause you don't want your party. Oh, there's a slack. Singularis is a little bit slack. Fair enough. And is there anybody else? Nope. It's just Singularis. Okay. So Singularis gets the necklace. There we go. Uh, can't bring pets in the arena though, right? Because the necklaces they have to wear. That is true, Raike. But we were um, trying to do it for science to try and steal it though. We're ninety nine percent sure we can't steal pets because of pets either dropping on the floor or they jump into your inventory if you're not wearing anything but because you're wearing the necklace you can't steal the pet so i'm 99 percent sure stealing pets in an arena won't work but we still want to try it for science sake but we can't bring our own so you are correct for sure reiki that we can't bring our own pets so we can't just drop a lindworm on a couple of nomads that are trying to 1v1 us in the arena <laughs> though it would be fun if we could it definitely would be fun. Uh, Raike, let's give you a boost, because why not? Our tanks need as much as they can get. And Stefan, let's give you a boost as well. And Mr. Minecraft has a dog. That is true. Hmm. 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 Let's see. Wow, we don't have many people with spaces. I probably should just sell the stash because it's completely useless to us. It's going to take up a space for us to holding a pet. Yeah, it's not worth it. Okay, so let's try and go south. We're not actually far away. We might take a small detour to Grattenshans. I totally butchered that word, I'm sure. Um, why does my older account show on the right corner? I don't have a clue, Murph. I'm not sure how Twitch works with all that. I, I have no idea, man. Why is the city invisible? Do you all see that? Very intriguing. Oh, is it because it's upgrading? It's upgrading. That's right. It's funny there's a glitch when they're upgrading, they go invisible. Uh, yeah, I might save just to be safe. Good idea, Raike. But, yeah, it should be fine. And there's nothing really here that we want. We might get some more nets, if possible, please. Of course. Of course they don't have a net for us. They have fashion, so we'll grab some fashion. But no nets. They do sell cheap tools. I will stock up. You never know when you might need some cheap tools. And some cheap food. Oh, this is a nice stock up. Maybe getting salt? We're going south, so I know this isn't the best price to buy it at. But we could probably get a slight penny increase. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna risk it. Uh, I will save, though, quickly, just in case. You never know. I don't know what number we're up to. I'm just gonna do ten just to be safe. I can never remember my save numbers. As long as it's an increasing number since last time, I'm, I'm good. I think it was like 7 or 9, but it doesn't matter. It's fine. Uh, we will quickly... What was I going to do? I was going south. Oh, I was going to give the hat to somebody. That's right. Stefan, maybe we give it to you. Actually, Ogre's green. There we go. The green matches with the green. It would clash with Stefan's color. Stefan's red. We gotta find him a red hat. But Ober's now got a green body and a dragon for a hat. A very funny looking warlock. <laughs> okay, let's head south. And is this the one that has the... I've got no idea. Unfortunately, if you zoom in on the towns, I don't think there's a way of figuring out which of the southern states has the arena. Just by looking at it. I think you just have to get lucky. 
That one's got a big top there. Oops. That one's got the same look to it. And the one on the right looks exactly the same. So, yeah, I don't think there's a way of telling which one has the arena. We just have to get lucky. So, we're on our quest, and we get to keep going. Uh, I'm going to be a little bit careful, though. Because I know deserts are notorious for having things fighting, as you can see right there. But we're okay. Sweet. Sweet, that's good. Um, and we get unlucky. No arena. Oh no, there is the arena! I'm blind. I'm absolutely blind. It blends in with the background. Sweet, we get the one with the arena. Uh, there are two quests. Not super keen on the delivery. Um... No man's for 2.3, that could be a little difficult, but it's better than nothing. Alchemist probably has literally nothing, because ambush trade routes and weredows burn down means stores have like nothing inside of them. Weaponsmith has <laughs> four items. Damn, that's bad. That's really bad. But we're selling the salt at 500. Let's go. That was worth it. Totally worth it. Shields are selling for 23. Oh, I like the look of that. Time to make a little bit of cash, even though we don't have very much to sell. Eh, we made a little bit of cash. That's fine. Get rid of the splinter. Get rid of... I don't know. It's fine. The poor blacksmith. <laughs> All of his stuff's just gone. Everything's going to be horrible priced here. Yeah, it's not worth it. And there's not going to be anything to buy. Uh, hiring for mercenaries. I mean, that's a very cheap nomad. I probably shouldn't hire more people. We already are struggling with the number that we have. But it is cool to see what's available. Gladiators and a cheap manhunter. Yeah, interesting. Uh, I want to do this testing of the arena. Recently retired bandits. Three nomads. Okay, who do we think's up for the task? Raike is unstoppable. So we gotta have Raike sitting in there. Um, Stefan's doing pretty good as well. 42 defense. Maddie's wife is only on 33. So I think our next best person is Stefan. But then we need someone for damage. So we've got the two tanks. We need someone for damage. Maddie's on 82. He's rocking some pretty good damage there. Ober's on 79, not far behind. But he doesn't have the famed weapon like Maddie does. Uh, Ken's sitting on 52 because he had to be replaced. Last outing in the arena, you ended up as knack food. I mean, you aren't wrong, Nareke. So this time it's nomad, so he might be nomad food this time. We'll have to see how lucky we get. But I think maybe Maddie's the right call. Time for a round two. <laughs> Anyone wanted second breakfast? <laughs> second Raike breakfast. Okay, so we'll jump in with Maddie. That should be fine. And we'll have to see... Oh, we can't catch nomads. Well, I was like, we can't do this for science. We can't catch nomads. That's not how that works. <laughs> It'd be funny if it worked that way. Raike starts confident. Let's go. Um, I'm gonna be patient. Catch me now. Well, uh, if only. Maddie, let's be patient. Let's put Stefan up here. Nice, good start, good start. Raike, I'm worried about this guy, but I'm worried about him flanking more than him sitting in the middle. As if he was sitting in the middle, then we can just gang up on him, and Maddie could probably be a little bit safe. 68, not bad. Nice. Okay. Um, oh my goodness, Stefan just got wrecked. But we didn't have to worry about the back ranks. That's good to hear. Uh, what else do we have? 40%. Ah, sweet, my headsets have been delivered to me, so thank you very much. Uh, and now I can actually hear what's going on, so I'm not, like, in the dark completely. That's good to see. Uh, 70... Ooh, 76. Headshot, please, please. 
dang it. I mean, there's plenty of Southerners they already caught. I mean, technically. Technically, there are. Stefan, please don't die here. Um, I need to probably shield wall, because he's beating up your shield. Like, wait, beating past your shield. Which I'm kind of worried about. Raikei gets hit on a 48. Okay. What? He cascades on 30%. Damn. What are we rolling on to hit this guy? 40%. Shivers. Maddie, please. Just seal this guy away. Yes! The headshot! Let's go! Oh, that's what I needed. That's what we needed to survive. Oh, that guy was pain. Let's put Murph in for the next round. <laughs> Ooh, that would be pretty tough. Uh, Stefan, please just don't stay in this fight. He's got high accuracy with his stupid spear. He's hitting freaking Reike every turn. And Maddie with the second headshot. Let's go. This is over. 1v3 easy. <laughs> I mean, he's hitting his 29s consistently. But Maddie says no. Nicely done. In all honesty, that was actually a little bit risky, I must say. Uh, they were a lot scarier than I expected them to be. Especially the flail dude. <sighs> okay, uh, let's heal up after that. Let's put back on our effects. And let's get the level up. Nicely done, Maddie. Three, two, and four, not bad. Uh, what do we need here? I'm considering rebound, but we don't need it. No, we don't need rebound. Having Murph solo the next turn, I mean. If he wants to, I don't I don't recommend it, but technically if he loses, we keep the famed item, so we could try it. Let's leave people to it. Sheesh. Uh, where are we going with this? We could go for some more fatalities, more headshot chance. Uh, we're already rolling. Wait a minute, what are we rolling on? Plus 20. 30, so we have a 50% chance at the head. Uh, sadly, Utilitarian doesn't give us anything. We could go for 60%. Damage-wise, there's no Killing Frenzy. Uh, Follow-up's okay. I don't know if I need that right now, though. Weapon Master is not useful. Uh, da, 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 da. It sort of just makes sense to go for the 10% headshot. Hey Loki, welcome to the stream, man. Good to see you. Just trying to decide what I want for this character. Yeah, let's go the headshot. Nicely done. Sitting on a 60% means we could probably snipe headshots a bit more often. Could be nice, could be nice. Uh, where are we going from here? Armor's pretty decent, we just need to heal up. And we should be fine. Uh, congratulations to Loki for the free gifted sub from Murph. Um, and congratulations Murph, for your 500 snowballs as well. <laughs> Nicely done. Uh, let's fix this nose for poor Stefan. In four hours, that sounds pretty decent to me. And we might as well just put everybody else... Oops, wrong one. Everyone else over here. Health points will take their time, but that's fine. Remember to thank Ober when he sees him. Oh yeah, yeah, Ober with the whole promoting... Uh, yay, two months. Oh, thank you very much, Singularis. Appreciate Welcome the resub. 
Stockholm? <laughs> no, 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 don't worry. It's Lemon. Thank you very much. I appreciate the continued support. And yeah, I can't believe it's been two months as well. It's been three months for Raike. Like, my goodness, time has flown way too quickly. And I'm super glad you guys are enjoying it all. Uh, did we go for a second arena fight? Yeah, I guess so. But here's the trick. I don't think we're healed up from that last one. So it's a bit risky to jump right in. It's a bit too risky. Uh, we'd have to wait for the Broken Nose. I mean, we can go 1v whatever with Murph if he really wants. It's up to you, man. I, I don't see you doing well. <laughs> Just jump in with Murph. Okay, I guess I guess for the fun and the science of it. Hyenas? Oh god, you're not going to survive one turn against hyenas. Okay. We might as well try. Well, do you think I have a jester hat? <laughs> Just to scare off the hyenas. Well, we'll have to replace you, my man. Um, once this is over. It was nice knowing you. F's in chat. Just the preemptive F's. And uh, more entertainment for the spectators. Because the spectators deserve all the entertainment. Uh, we missed the 39. Um, kind of obviously. Uh, struck down. Oh my goodness. I don't think you can get be I don't think you can get struck down from losing an arena. But again, everything for science. Do you lose equipment if you die in the arena? Uh sometimes. You don't always lose your equipment in the arena, but usually you don't lose your famed items. Uh yeah, he's dead. Yeah, he is dead dead. And you keep the famed items, as you can see here. You lose most of your normal equipment if you die in arena, but sometimes you can save some of them. But it's usually just famed items that don't ever get lost. So yeah, sad times, but I mean, he went out, he's finally free. <laughs> he went out as he lived, um, as a frontliner. He's free in the south. He lived a good one. Luckily, the rest of the party's not upset about you leaving. Oh, they are actually upset. Oh, they realized it. Oh, Unfortunate. Uh, good question, Stefan. We just figured it out. You do get a mood minus, because they still count as dying in battle. That's sad. But at least not people are super upset about it. Not me, Raike's still smiling. <laughs> Raike's just happy all the time. He's upset about him dying, but I mean he's because he played a game of dice, enjoyed his visit, he won a battle, won an arena. Eh, he's fine. Buy him around. <laughs> He's fine. Now, the only problem with that death is our front line is suffering. And uh, we really don't have good front liners to live with. Yeah, that's the only problem. What's going on with my internet, Wilter? Uh, I'm not sure. I do apologize if we're... um. Oh, we lost Renown? Oh my goodness, we lost Renown for losing that. Uh, the stream should be good at the moment. Uh, apparently it's green on my end, but I do apologize if it's maybe your end. I'm not sure, man. Sorry. But yeah, sadly, because of that loss, our renown has gone down. Even though we won an arena? Oh, that sucks. We lost a lot from that. Oh, well. We'll try. We'll try and go again. And maybe, maybe I want to hire somebody now. Gonna try out that cheap Manhunter. Eh, his defenses are okay. It's not like they're amazing. But I need another good frontlining tank. Because we don't have enough of them. Nomads are worth a lot. But ah, it's a good ranged Nomad. That's like a really good range nomad. That can only use throwing weapons. Interesting. Uh, what's this one got? Please be something good. He's garbage. Ah. Uh... Do we go crazy and get a $5,000 gladiator? No, because he's got no defense. 9000 Hell no. There ain't no way we're spending 9000 bucks. Dervish... 
have a lot of health, so maybe, but no. That's a lot for a gladiator. Uh, Muladi don't have good defenses. Survivor's okay. Eh, nothing. Assassin, I could say yes to. Why are some of these guys such beasts when it comes to damage, but no defense? That is like a top-tier assassin. But I don't want him. That's the thing. I completely forgot about the stream. I was catching up on the beggar run. Oh, that's alright, Epo. Welcome, welcome back. Good to see you. Um, I just, maybe I just go for the Manhunter. Does he have Shield Expert? No. Uh, we're not getting lucky. But this is too tempting for the Assassin. <sighs> what do we have? What do we have? Just a lot of people in the back line. No, I can't. I can't do it, can I? I can't bring myself to getting somebody who can't tank on the front lines. <laughs> okay, so driving off nomads out of location, or we just do another arena fight. We do another arena fight, right? Yeah. Let's just wait till tomorrow. Didn't miss much. Only gifting some fodders away. Yeah. I mean, we did catch a tier 2 Noxida, that was nice. And had a big fight where I was kind of expecting to lose. Um, but we didn't do too bad. We didn't even take very much damage at all, so... I was proud of the team to survive that. But other than that, we just did an arena fight. The tier 2 talk knock and tank for us. Not in the arena, but out in the wild. Maybe it could, Raike. Maybe we start getting, like, tank pets. Unholds are like top tier tank pets because they heal every turn. So maybe we do that. Uh, what's the arena got for us today? Spiders. Seven? That is really tough. We still don't have a broken nose fixed. I don't think we can beat seven spiders with Raike and Stefan and Maddie. I mean, Maddie could probably one-shot them, but he's got to take seven turns to do that, and we'll probably die before that happens. Yeah, I'm not risking it. Okay, we'll take a break. We'll go somewhere else and do something else. That's... Oh, it's going to hurt our renown. It tanks down to 1250? From 1350? What the hell is all this failed... Arenas failing hurts your renown more than failing quests. Oh, God, I shouldn't be failing arenas. Oh, wow. That's a horrible tank. And we still need to win four more arena fights. I'll put that on the back burner for the moment. That's a bit rough. Uh, is this Nomads? It's Ifrits. I don't like fighting Ifrits. That could be Ifrits as well. Actually, I think what terrorizes... Shifting Sands, where is it? What kills people in the desert is always Ifrits. What terrorizes people in the desert is not always Ifrits. This is most likely hyenas or serpents. Or on the rare occasion it could be Noxidas again. It could. So for 1450, I might risk it. I think it's worth the risk. Uh, hiring, I want to get another tank. Please give me something that we can work with. Uh, there's a Manhunter. That's good. Why are they so good at attacking? Uh, thief? Is this, like, anti-streamer luck? Where I'm getting everything amazing, but I don't want to buy it? Ag again! 
with impatient and iron lungs. We could have built a full team out of everything we've just seen. Uh, a nomad with plus one is probably decent. That's a cheat nomad. Sheesh. Uh, Dervish, please get some defensives. Battle Brothers knows. If you kill the enemy before they kill you, you don't need to tank. You are correct, Raike. But here we go. Lumbering isn't super helpful, but tough with one defense on a Dervish. He doesn't have Shield Expert. Why does nobody have Shield Expert? This guy likes shields. Okay. Who needs a tank these days? I mean... Technically we do, but yeah. Fleet feet, athletic physique, peace of mind. He's calm. Calm with shields. Uh, I'd rather have guy with spears. Does this guy have spears? Damn it. The ideal tank has shield expert, spears, and good defense. And these guys don't have either of those. I mean, swords could give us repost. Double tongued is annoying. I might just buy the dervish because he's cheaper. Oh, we're full? It won't let us buy somebody new because of our renown decrease. Oh, I hate this. Okay, we're going out. We'll come back. We'll, we'll come back. Let's go hunting. It's serpents, like expected. Now the only problem with that is it's almost nighttime. And there's a very good chance that we won't get to the serpents before it's nighttime, so let's just wander around in a circle. What happens with 15 and 14? Um, if the person's already engaged in combat, they could possibly join the fight. But you don't get like a guy randomly kicked out if you lose renown. You still keep that person, you just won't um, be able to toggle him to join a fight. You just have to wait till your renown bumps back up. We've had that problem multiple times on stream before, and I think in our YouTube series. So yeah, it's, it's just really annoying when that happens, but it's manageable. You just have to get your, your um, resolve renown back up. Uh, it is dawn, and at break of dawn we hunt 12 serpents, and someone's going to possibly die. Because this is different to Noxidas. These guys don't fight fair. So who's selected the guy who won't join? Um, it's usually the last person added to the party. I believe that's how the uh, numbering works when it comes to choosing who joins a fight and not. Because your most recent additions will be flagged as non-combatants. But sometimes it can be random, but I think it's usually just the most recent person. Uh, lucky, let's go. The die of fun. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. It's just all the beautiful luck in the world. 30%. I hate sniping spider... Uh, not spider, snakes. But we did get one of them. That's good. In all honesty, catching a snake would be really helpful. And I still want to bring up the Noxida to see if it can eat. Does the poison still do 40 damage each round? Cracker, uh, very good question. That's only on the NGH's magic mod. He's buffed his enemies a lot further than normal legends. So don't panic. We're not going to die to 40 damage around poison. Um, the ad's starting. I think the ad has just started. But it should be fine for most of you guys because you're all subbed anyways. Uh, but yeah, no, the poison's not going to be super amazing. It's going to be annoying. Like, I mean, I don't want to get poisoned. But we should technically be fine. I wouldn't go against snakes if that was the case. Yeah, no, I... I really wouldn't go against snakes if it was 40 damage. Nice! Stagger cello! That's what we like to see. Go again. Hey! That's beautiful. Uh, okay, they're trying to go top flank. That makes sense. How do we deal with this? Putting them to sleep would be helpful. Uh, Raike, can you just look scary and maybe get surrounded and not die? That would be helpful.
Okay, for the moment, that's not looking too bad. Can we go two spaces forward with Minecraft? Throw a net on the... That one, maybe? Just because we can? Nice, nice. Meanwhile, you're struggling against three Noxidas. I mean... Yeah, I understand. I totally understand. And I just hope that we can survive this. Because snakes do not fight fair. I know they want to flank. Maybe Stefan goes for the high ground? Uh, lucky you stay safe. Antonius, please don't go close. Polaris, just wait. Just wait. Uh, we need more nets being thrown. Maddie's third wife could possibly sit here. Good, they end their turn and don't do anything. I'm very happy to see that. Abram goes here, and I think this formation is as good as it's going to get for the moment. Your campaign doesn't count if you don't lose someone to Nox. I mean, you're, you're pretty much right. Nox is just the pain of existence. Okay, Maddie's wife just gets completely pulled in from three tiles away? Sheesh. Reiki gets pulled, that's fine. Um, Lucky, let's wait. Barlow, can we knock this guy down a bit? No, we can't. Uh, okay, Reiki's got 9% against him, and he's only surrounded by three of them? Oh, this could go south pretty quickly if we're not careful. Please come closer to us. Don't pull us closer to you. The Serpent breaks out on a 55%. 62, 62. Well, Maddie's losing his wife for the third time. Rolls on a 43. Well, we've got to jump in there, and I think it's maybe the Alps' turn to help us here. I don't think we survive without the Alps. They double resist? What are snakes built of? Oh, I hit the wrong button. Of course I hit the wrong button. Holy crap. Uh, those dudes ate my tank guy, luckily some Big Mac. Yeah, 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 pretty much. They'll just eat you just for breakfast. Which is really painful, I must admit. Okay, come on, Alps, please. Finally, one's asleep. Minecraft, please. Double nets. Oh no, we're exhausted. Oh, we can't bring out another net. And we don't want to waste that net, if possible. Uh, Stefan, let's just jump in there and miss. Dodging a 23 is valuable. Dodging a 51 is big, Maddie. Oh my goodness, your wife, please survive. He gets pulled to the center. He's dead. He is just dead. There's no way you survive being surrounded by six snakes. F's in the chat. Oh my goodness. That is why freaking snakes are the worst. You can't underestimate them because they just do that crap to you. Surround you by six snakes, the curse of Maddie's wife. He just seems to keep getting wrecked. I feel sorry for him. Uh, we need to bring out another sleepy boy. And let's hope that's enough to t change this fight. No, you woke him up, you dumb sleepy boy. Stop doing that. Uh, Singularis. Uh, throwing weapons. Can we get closer with Polaris and maybe get... Ooh, we can get another Noxura. I mean, um, Sleepy Boy out. 
And he resists. How are snakes resistant to sleeping? They're freaking cold-blooded! They should sleep like 24-7! Oh... He resists again! What? I am not keen on these snakes. PTR enemy balances pass happening as we speak. Thank you, Uber. Oh, that's the sleepy boys getting run around and hit insanely hard. Reiki's in a circle. Oh, boy. Sleep fails, sleep fails. Raikei dodges a 36 even though he's surrounded. Uh, Lucky's gonna die. Stefan is dodging some major hits right there. Oh my goodness, Stefan, you're on fire. There's some sleepy boys. Oh, don't, no, don't wake him up. It's rat jam. Yeah, it's that rat jam and cat jam. No, 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 don't eat him. I hate how they just don't leave them asleep. Serpent's getting five times more difficult. Thanks, Uber. I appreciate it. Because we always need to see more difficult snakes. Oh, Sunday will be worse. Oh, man, we're already hating snakes as it is. Okay, he's asleep, but then he's going to wake him up. Okay, I hate having Alps as friends. They're just not good friends. 55, 54. We get a good hit in, but these snakes are going to kill us. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Have we even killed one yet? I don't think we killed one. There's still 12 of them there. Oh boy. Uh, can... Uh, I can't see the accuracy. 31. Well, we might not even ran need random rolls for you guys to have the party killed. This is just might kill us. And this was an easy quest. Okay, tier two boy, let's do this. Uh, let's also throw a net on one of them, because somehow that's going to help. Wait! We captured him as tier two and he comes out as a tier one. That's bull! What? We definitely captured him as a tier 2. You guys saw it. How is he tier 1? That means he's worse. Does Abram have one as well? Uh, good question. No, he doesn't. Is it a different one? Maybe. But I thought that was the one, because Cracker did catch him. Yeah, that's the only one we have. Wow, we got shortchanged. We only have the baby! Oh, this is even worse. Well, it was nice knowing you boys. Let's just throw everything we have at them. Baron, do your thing, man. We gotta throw the kitchen sink at them or something. Yeah, it does seem just like it's just a tier one for just no apparent reason. Uh, Maddie, can we get this hit? Nice. Uh, Stefan, just shield wall this man. Just don't die. Raikei, just don't die. Please. Sleepy Snake, good. They're not resilient so he doesn't wake up immediately. That's the only good thing we're seeing at the moment. Uh, lucky, don't die, but you might. Oh, could we try and capture him? 
22%. And we miss. I mean, technically that was worth it because it could have gotten us a kill. But it was also very risky. I will admit that. Uh, Singularis. That's just probably a death sentence. Let's just keep you here in case it wastes their time. I hope so much that Baron will get wrecked. <laughs> just as like a revenge thing. Maybe Baron's going to carry us. He dodges a 42. Oh, and he gets wrecked on the next 43. Our tier 1 misses against a netted enemy. I don't see high hopes for this, boys. I really don't. Oh, of course he had to th move Stefan again just to stop his shield wall. There's obviously the resists. He resists four times in a row. I see a crash incoming, Stefan. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's getting a little laggy. Yeah, it seems like a crash just might happen. It's possible. I've seen it before. The script says we crash in a few minutes. Yeah. What resolve do snakes have? I don't know. I just have no idea. It's just way too much. I don't think they have good resolve anyways. But for some weird reason, they seem to. That's a good hit. We could try and steal this guy. Uh, Polaris. It's risky. This is going to kill him on accident. Can we try and steal this guy as a pet? 6%. It was worth a try. Uh, sweep. And we miss, of course. Serpent Resolve is 100, crazy high. What? Uber, why is it 100? Is that like base game? And we miss a 78! You've got to be kidding me. Lucky's dead. Vanilla is 100. Wow. Well then, I don't like fighting snakes anymore. Even more so. Especially with Alps as friends. Sheesh. 88%. Okay, the game wants us to die here. It does. We've missed every 70 to 80% chance hit. Every single one of them. It was nice knowing you guys. He still stays asleep. That's actually good here. Stefan is struggling. Uh, let's put you guys within a little bit of risk, just in case. Fight some Kraken Tentacles next time? Yeah, maybe that'll be better. <laughs> Might have a better chance against Krakens than stupid snakes. Stefan, please. They're only 60. Oh, they're... Why are they throwing Stefan around? Okay, yeah, I knew Singularis was going to get drawn in. Oh, Baron? He's fighting back? Kenchan, you're dead. There is no way you survive that. Baby Nox dead. Oh boy. 16% for Antonius. These Alps are useless. Barlow, send out your dog, I guess. Sixty-seven percent's not enough. Seventy-three percent's not enough. What? <sighs> this is ridiculous. This is scripted. Throw all the dogs. I'm throwing the kitchen sink. We have a 95. Maddie, if you miss this, this is scripted. Okay, we finally get a single kill. 
It's so scripted tonight. I left my script at home. Yeah, I'm reading the wrong script today. We're reading the script of death, not success. Feels rain, man. It does. It feels bad. Uh, let's go here with Cracker. Roll the dice, Uber? Oh, thank you. That might do something here. But then again, it might just get our Alps killed, so you never know. <laughs> Whatever the dice has is whatever the dice has. And it's an undead? Oh. That could be interesting. If it's a necrosavant, we're screwed. Spawn it in the middle of the snakes? <laughs> that would be cool. But I can't do that. That's not how we do things. i got to add it to the side of the map. Uh, do we add it to the top here? Yeah. Next to Baron. Possibly. I'd let Uber decide if he really wants to put it near the snakes, but normally I'd just put it, like, up here or something. But what are you thinking, Uber? Do we go full-on just snake near the snakes? Okay. Then we get a undead, making this fight more interesting. Hello, indeed! That is a nice undead. Also, Foolish Monk, thank you very much for the follow. Appreciate it. And I hope you're enjoying the stream. Um, we now have a little bit of support that won't die as easily as us. So maybe, just maybe, this could help. Uh, I don't want to move next to him, though. But I think Baron just might be dead now, though. <laughs> just a little bit. Horrible accuracies there. Uh, he's getting hit. That's good. He's immune. The fallen hero. It's our hero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's immune to being poisoned, I think. So we don't have to worry about him getting hit by the snakes that badly. Stefan, please survive. Uh, Singularis split. Nope. Okay, that's understandable. Ken, it was nice knowing you. Oh my goodness, he can't hit anything. It's a 5% chance to hit it a reach? No, it can't be. It's a 17%. 26%. Oh my goodness. Oh, we get the 26? Okay. Capture with Ken. That could work. This guy is taming protection at the moment. But everyone else isn't. Oh, that's right. Ken Chan's level 1. That's right. I forgot about that. Kenshan 4.0 coming up. Oh, yep. I see it. It's in the script. Oh, he's almost gone. Our dog is working. Archer, nicely done. Archer with the pattern recognition. Uh, ooh. Ooh, it, it's happening. Our tier one might be able to um, eat the corpse. I want to see this happen for science. Uh, hold on, Murph gifted 102 subs this month. Clear missed it a lot. Yeah, yeah, he got it last week. And, um, yeah, as, as he says. Oh, no, no, don't, don't die tier one, don't die tier one. Please don't, we need to do the science. Whose corpse was that? Um, that's Polaris. And then this one's Ken. So, some nice corpses sitting up there. I just don't want our tier one to die before he has a chance. Oh, there's a sleep. Taming protection's annoying there. Um, the undead hero's dead, but he will come back. Hero down, but the hero will return. They always return on their first death. So we don't have to worry too much. Um, arrow support, please. Barlow. Dang it, I was wanting to hit this one. Uh, Maddie, I'm really worried about you dying. Can we get a kill? Ober, why are you fleeing, man? Why are you fleeing? Can we go for this? Yes! We get the 66! Okay, that's a good kill. And then I walk away. I don't want this guy to pull us in. Uh, Cracker, this is super dangerous, but we need this kill. 
Like we really need this kill. Yes! Cracker! Let's go! Fleeing Sergeant Sad. I know, the one who's holding the banner is like, nope. Okay, we're slowly getting some kills. It's down to nine. I don't want to get too many hopes up. But it's looking better than it was before. It's not looking good, but it's looking better than before. Maybe no crash. Tarkay Cat is raiding with a party of 43. Are you kidding me? Welcome to the stream. Welcome indeed. Gotta run have a chill one though. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Have a nice one. Have a good weekend. Um, but welcome to everybody on the stream. Good to see you. Uh, we are in the middle of a modded Battle Brothers run. Um, someone found a script. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. Uh, middle of a Battle Brothers run with mods. And unfortunately, um, really struggling at the moment. Because <laughs> we took a serpent fight. And they're wiping the floor with us, so we have to get a bit of luck on our side. And the the luck is not working too great. So yes, as Murph says, welcome to the slaughterhouse. I um I'm rather worried about our situation. But we do have a fallen hero coming back very quickly to hopefully help us. Uh don't miss Stefan's spin. Oh! Sorry, thank you, Uber. Thank you very much. I got confused in uh by the raid and I thought that was a thing. Uh, Stefan, thank you for the spin. I will, uh, do that right now. You're only here for deaths and nothing more. I mean, technically, we're all here for the deaths. So, let's get the spinner up. What is Stefan going to be adding to this fight? A free kill! Oh, Stefan, you are super helpful, my man. Thank you. So, which one are we killing? I'm assuming... Which is the most threatening serpent at the moment? Reike's fine with the ones around him. This one, maybe? That's no fun. I know, I know, we didn't get another addition to the fight. But we do get the free kill, whichever you pick, I think. Um, I'm thinking... Wait, that one actually... Is that damage? That's a full health one. Okay, let's get rid of this one. Save Baron? Um, actually, yeah, we could save Baron. But the problem is... No, no, he's asleep. He's asleep. We don't have to worry about it. Um, if we save Baron, he'll just jump into the middle of, like, three of them. So I'm worried about that. Uh, so let's get rid of this guy. Uh, if I put the silly thing on. There we go. That didn't affect their morale in the slightest. I'm kind of sad. Okay, let's try and... We need 24 fatigue. What's 77 plus 24? Too much. Too much indeed. So we walk forward and go for a collateral shot. And miss it. Dang it. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Shield wall, please. Okay, Raike gets his first hit. That's fine. Uh, Ober is deciding to give up. Minecraft, what do we have? We just... I can't do anything. We just have to stay safe. You're saving your 5k? <laughs> uh, Archer could be good here. If his pattern recognition starts stacking, it could be really good. Uh, Polaris, my man. You're going for a spin as well. Okay. Uh, the Undead hero is back. Uh, Antonius is probably dead. It's a second sleep, but he wakes him up. Stupid Alps! Stop just not... Stop eating their brains. Just keep putting them to sleep. The knock goes down. Did the knock die? No! We didn't even get to see him try and eat a corpse. Oh, what does the knock say? The knock says GG, basically. Uh, but let's go and get Polaris' spin. What are we going to get this time? A Brigant or Barbarian. That is actually scary. Because that could... That could definitely... Switch things up. Barbarian King time could be bad. We would not win against that. I mean, he'd kill the snakes for us. 
Uh, do you have any specific place you want the Polaris? Or replace the hero spot, maybe? Or did we just want it somewhere else? I'm assuming we're just going to keep putting the farm of the people in this spot. That's most likely what we're going to be doing. Near Baron again. Yeah, I think that's probably where we're going to put him. And it's a war dog. Okay, that's not as scary. And sadly, not as helpful. But it's going to do something at least. Um, 14 turns. Minecraft, just jump in. We need everything we can do. Baron has a buddy. I know, it's so cute. I don't think it's going to last long. In the slightest. Uh, Reke, what do we got? Please hit the 72. Go again? And he lives on 12 health. Are you kidding me? Maddie for the 94. And it's not a kill. That sucks. Cracker, please. Oh, capture. I could capture. You're right. Probably should have captured with Cracker. Um, this one's asleep, so I'm going to ignore it. For the moment. Um, let's just wait. We're completely exhausted, so we can't go for a shot just yet. If that dog kills Baron, please capture him. Unfortunately, 95% chance and the dog's insta-killed. So we can't replace Baron at the moment, sadly. 15% is not enough. Sleep gives capture chance. I really hope so. I will have to try and go for a capture now. And... I'm just waiting for everybody to die, because, God, Cracker, it's nice knowing you, man. It was nice knowing you. Oh, that, that serpent's on 12 health! F those 5Ks. Fair enough, Murph. Uh, Cracker's down and out for the count. This one's getting gamed by the... Nicely done. Sleeps, come on, they're resisting. And they resist again. Far out. Okay, so, what can we do? We're going for the spin, because Murph uh, redeemed a spin. And what are we going to get this time? Another undead. Interesting. Thanks, Uber, for the reminder, my man. I do sometimes lose it through the chat. Um, but Undead, I'm assuming you want the same spot. I can just read your mind. Replace the hero. The hero gets replaced with a Necromancer. Uh, that's kind of bad for the Necro. Because he can't cast his spells whilst in melee. <laughs> if we put him out here, he could just raise people from the dead. That would be hilarious. Uh, Minecraft, can we capture this? It's 15%. Ah, uh, we tried, we tried. It was worth a try, in all honesty, but I wasn't expecting much. Singularis is completely exhausted. I don't think anyone can capture this serpent, and the archer's gonna kill him. So let's just assist with this serpent kill. Nicely done, Reike. I know, these spins are pretty crazy today. They're not getting us insanely strong things at the moment. Oh, we missed the fire arrow. I forgot Barlow has fire arrows. Uh, 50%. Abram is exhausted. So I'm going to wait on his turn to try and capture the serpent. Uh, Singularis is poisoned, but not with the damaging poison. And is completely exhausted. So I just wait here, right? It's probably the better play. And... We snipe a 48%? No, 40% doesn't work. Uh, 44, 38. Or we shield wall. We just shield wall. Just to be safe. One day you'll reach 5k and that day will be legendary. Yep, it will be. But it's too tempting to buy the spins. Uh, thingamabob's dead. Antonius. I forgot his name for a second. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Bye-bye, Necro. <laughs> wow, that was quick. 
This one dies to Archer. Nicely done. It's a long ad. I mean, it is. It is. The mass route. I'm a bit worried. Oh, you're right. Oh, I'm very worried about the mass route at the moment. Oh. But the serpent's back to sleep. We could steal it. Abraham, please. 11%? It's asleep. Just put him in a bag. Oh. That sucks. Barlow gets the fire arrow proc. Nicely done. Uh, Cello's exhausted. Stefan is exhausted. And the white flags are going everywhere. Yep. <sighs> if only you guys would rally. Our guy with the banner has not rallied. Oh no, please don't die. Don't kill our Alps. Uh, the Alps have swarmed around this one. Shouldn't have killed me, would have caught all the snakes. Yeah, possibly. I mean, you, you did ask for it, so it's, it's kind of kind of on you, bud. <laughs> but, you know. We're getting some more sleeps. This could help. Good. And you're not eating him. Fair enough. Eating those darn memories. For, like, five and seven damage? Why is the Dream Eater so weak? I'm so confused as to why it's so weak. Raikei with the double 71. Nicely done. Is that it for the Serpent? It is! I think we could have tried to catch him, but it was risky. Dang it. Sleep away. Have some bad dreams. Singularis decides to join the fight again, but I don't want him to die. Baron's 1v1-ing, and I'm kind of worried about him. Ober, welcome back! After, what, like five turns of running away? Nice. Archer? Nice try, nice try, doggy. I have high hopes for this dog, I really do. Oh, that's the triple sleep, let's go! Oh, almost triple sleep. Place your bats will overreach the battlefield before routing again. Uh, probably not. Probably not. But the Alps do get a very crucial um, snake kill right there. Baron's dead. And the snake's retreating. The snake kills him and runs. What a jerk. What an absolute jerk. And we missed the fire arrow as well. Minecraft, just let it go. Just let the stupid snake have his day. We've done way too much to just let some other people die. No Fs for Baron. Ah, <laughs> oh, that was rough. Well, in all honesty, we didn't lose. Oh, thank you very much, Uber, for the $5 donation. Appreciate it, man. Definitely appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, we are still trying to get out of this alive. Capture the top snake, it's got low health. That is a good idea. We still have enough chances to capture certain snakes. Oh, he's bleeding as well? That definitely helps. Stefan's exhausted, so... He won't be able to capture it. Abram's exhausted, Reike's exhausted. Everyone's way too exhausted to capture him. And Archer might steal the kill. And he does. Archer steals the kill. That's fine. We still have one more chance for a capture. I know, Raike. The time that we don't want to kill is the time the kill happens. Oh, the Alp runs into the middle of him? That's not a smart choice, buddy. That's not a very smart choice. Deary me. <laughs> These Alps are brave. Uh, maybe I just relax on Raikei? Try and get him with his 
fatigue back. Same thing with Abram. He's got to jump into the midst of that. And maybe Minecraft. Maybe. But we've got to try and catch a snake. If we catch a snake, that could be really helpful. Then we can use their pain and suffering against us. Against other people. Yep, you stay asleep, buddy. Maddie's ditched. Archer's chasing that one? Well, we might lose our dog now. Just look at all of those failed sleep attempts. So many failed attempts. Please, Snake, just escape. Don't let the dog chase you. Okay, that's a double sleep. That could be good. Um, let's wait so we get more res fatigue back. Imagine snakes pretending to join you, dragging enemy melee kills into your back ranks. Oh! Oh, that would be bad, Stefan. Oh. Now that you say that, I probably don't want a snake in our army. That could be really bad. Uh, I think Abram's good to do some damage here. Stefan is still exhausted, but can do a little bit of chip damage as well. And then Raikei just needs to capture it. No, don't chase it. Imagine them after the buff. I mean, supposedly there's a buff. Oh no. Why are the Alps trying to kill this one? Why? Why does the game do this? <laughs> oh, the choice of fighting is weird. Gotta run or I won't go to work. Get, get any more work done. That's alright. Thanks for dropping by, though, Uber. I appreciate it. We'll catch you in the next one. Or you can just catch the VODs and stuff. The snake escapes. That's good. Oh, phew. But thanks for coming along, man. Definitely fun. Get Barlow maybe on a firing line. I don't know, gotta get something going. Ober, fine, I'll bring you back in. You're very exhausted, so running across the sand was gonna be pretty tricky anyways. Uh, we don't want to wake him up. Sheesh. The luck today is just not there. It's two snakes and we can't deal with them. Uh, Raike, let's just keep waiting. Might have been a mistake to wake him up, but it depends if he gets put back to sleep. And he's not back to sleep. Okay, so maybe a slight mistake there. Oh, but at least that one's asleep. And the chance to capture does increase when they're asleep. Not by much, though. Not by much, because it was at 11% before, now it's at 14%. Uh, Minecraft still has a net. And I was an idiot and I finished Raikei's turn. Uh, my bad. Okay, so let's get some fire arrows going. Nice. And then next turn we put a net on him and we capture him. That's just, that's the only way we can do this. We've got one shot and we've got to take the shot when we can. <gasps> 19 health, and he's burning. Okay, that's what we gotta do. And I accidentally hit the F button when I didn't need to. Oh, I gotta stop screwing up. Um, As much as I want to push him into bar low, I kind of don't. Was it due to the confidence? Oh, it could be confidence. It could be. He's got going first next turn, and he burns! He burns to death! Oh, all that effort. And we can't capture them. Oh. You might be right, though, Stefan. It could have just been the confidence boost. Well, so much for having snakes. 
Can't have anything in Snakeville. Alright, this guy's going. For all that they did to us, they deserve it. Who burned? Oh, the snake. The snake died to fire when I didn't want him to die to fire. Uh, Cracker, as the crossbow person, I don't mind you getting traumatized. Lucky, as a polearm, I don't mind you missing an eye. So congratulations on surviving. Um, Polaris, it was nice knowing you, my man. Kenshan 3.0 is going to go to 4.0. Lucky gets lucky. <laughs> Maddie's third wife got killed, so he's going to have to find his fourth wife sometime soon. And Antonius, my man, I feel bad for you. That was... There was no chance you were going to survive that. I mean, having a horrible beggar is just just bad stats. We saved the weapons, though, which is nice. We saved the Alps. So we didn't lose much things, not many things of important. But we did lose some people, and we did lose our big dog, though. That was unfortunate. Uh, Minecraft lost his favorite friend, Baron. Though we will give Minecraft... Where is the other dog? Archer gets level 4? Did he learn anything new? No, 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 he didn't. We'll give Archer to Minecraft again. Yay, Baron got killed. Yeah, 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 exactly. Murph, Murph has the vendetta. Uh, how's this dog going? Bones. He almost levels up. That's pretty close. It'd be nice if he got something fancy, because he doesn't have any good stuff at the moment. Cracker, let's give you that. Let's give Barlow the other Alp. And for the moment, that's one, two, three, four, five Alps. So we still have all our Alps. And we need to rebuild the party a little bit. Uh, Singularis, not great rolls, sadly. Oh, how do we do this? I guess we go for the Resolve roll. Yeah, that's nice. Let's get student, try and bump up our XP as much as possible. Um, can't wait to see Murph hating my earthquakes on Sunday stream. Oh yeah, when we get all those cool earthquakes. Uh, evening snow, evening lion, uh, blue lion. How many krakens today? <laughs> That's a good question. And uh, hopefully, hopefully none. I'm being a little biased. Kind of hoping for no krakens, but we'll have to see. <laughs> Exactly. Okay, so let's go back to town. Let's get paid. And let's try and... Oh, I don't know if we can get some good brothers. We were trying to find a good tank earlier, and we came up with nothing. We might try this dervish, now that we have space. He's got four base defense. That's not bad. He's got tons of health. That's the reason why you go Dervish. He does get medium armor for the extra defense. Does he get anything else? He has dodge, but I don't recommend it. No nine lives, but he does get Colossus, which is pretty decent. I mean, he'll be okay. It'll be like an okay tank. He's not super amazing, but he could be okay. Yeah. Let's gear him up. Get him with a shield, get him some armor. Armor is in short supply at the moment, sadly. We need to go shopping. Oh, that kind of luck I draw once. Do anything except for the whole year. <laughs> exactly. We might not see a Kraken for another, like, few months or so. Okay, let's stock up on some of these cheap upgrades. Oh, that's beautiful. Nice. Totally worth the price. These guys love us. Uh, what else am I forgetting? Do we try the Nomad? Uh, actually, maybe the Beast Slayer? No, he's useless. Okay, never mind. Uh, where's the Nomad? There he is. Four grand for a guy that has plus one defense. And shield expert. And light armor, so not even medium armor. I think that's a waste of money. That's not worth it. <sighs> Unfortunate. Okay, we'll be happy with what we have at the moment. 
We might go back to the other place and just pick up those really good brothers that we saw. And just live with it. Yeah, we'll live with it. Fair enough. Uh, let's go shopping back over at Ran Sanan. And we'll be set. Luck for bad boys are only with big gifting. <laughs> now so many jinx jinxed it, time to spin. Oh, I mean, I always jinx it. It's it's just something will happen and it's just going to screw us over. Something. Including the spins. You never know. We might get another Barbarian King or something crazy. Okay. The Hyeries are still here. That Nomad's okay, but I don't ri- No, no, I don't want that one. That's the good ranged one. Did they add to the party? There's nothing here new. The Assassin I desperately want. Five melee skill, triple melee skill, with Fearless. And he has... All the makings to make a capable fencer. Light armor and medium armor. Daggers, staves, axes, and swords. He's just too good to pass up. Way too good. So I'll take him into the party. The Muladi is a survivor with one defense and medium armor. So maybe an okay frontliner. So we'll try and see what these guys have. 70. 70 defense with 8 base melee defense. That is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Um, What do we go with this? Could we go frontliner? Balance? I mean, we could. We need somebody to wield. I guess Antonius? Do we have Axe Mastery? We do. Antonius, I think you deserve a number two. And this is two-handed axe. I think you deserve this, man. You definitely deserve a re rerun with a better character. Starting as a beggar, I, I felt so bad for you to get that unlucky roll. We get a free dog, Brick. Welcome to the party. We get a wonky bow. No thank you. And we get a two defense Muladi with medium armor as well. Okay. And survivor instinct is good. Nine lives is good. Not bad. We could get Maddie's fourth wife. There we are. Maddie's fourth wife has joined in with a new dog. Definitely helpful. And we can now put that spear back onto there. The reason why I think it's okay is because spears are good with low melee skill. Oh, but then again, he doesn't have the spear perks. That's annoying. But we might survive. We might survive. We do need frontliners as much as possible. We'll try and make it work. Dodge Fencer could work for this guy here, 100%. Uh, because whenever you want a Fencer, you should definitely go and try and find uh, Assassins or Rat Catchers. Those are the two best backgrounds for making Fencer builds. Um, in PTR mod, though, Fencers are really tricky to build. Even with this stat level of 70, guaranteed 95 to 105 plus the 5, so like almost guaranteed 110... Even with that accuracy, your fencer is still going to be struggling. Because just how annoying fencers are with their minus percent to hit. I can't show it here, but fencers have like a horrible accuracy debuff, which it's just painful. This would be the best chance to make an okay fencer, but if you want to have fun with fencers, just don't play with PTR mod as much, because it's <laughs> it makes it harder. Don't let Uber Bagel hear me say that, though. I, 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 off the records, I didn't say that. <laughs> uh, only person we're missing to add to the party is Kenshan 4.0 or something. Because this sickle's still in our storage. But we'll leave that for the moment. Unless... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Didn't we have another good brother that we were looking at? No, not that one. No, he's way too expensive. This is the ranged one. 
Yeah, I was considering that. And this guy I was not considering. Okay, yeah, we'll sit sit without it. But yeah, you're right, Stefan. Technically, um, that would be the best chance to make us fencer. Um, this guy would definitely be the best chance. But yeah. Is the flail gone or you blind? You're just a little bit blind, Murph. That's all. The famed bone grinder is still right here. All good. Not a problem, man. <laughs> uh, let's armor up as quickly as possible and then jump ourselves into another fight. Uh, we need a helmet. That's pretty decent. Uh, let's get that attachment. Looking pretty slick with 105. 130 is not bad. Yeah, I think that's pretty decent. I think Singularis needs an armor upgrade. Uh, the tier 1 could be good. Ooh, what's this? <gasps> I forgot about the overcloak. It's actually not a bad upgrade. But I'm gonna try... 2 for 30, 2 for... Oh, actually, it's better with the arm guards. I've never seen arm guards before. That looks really cool. Remove the quiver? Oh, from... from here. Yeah, I could remove the quiver. It's not... Technically, quivers don't, uh, give you minus fatigue. It doesn't do anything bad to your melee brothers. So if you have a very small party, a very small stash, having quivers on your melee people as emergency supplies in the middle of battle is actually a strategy. I don't employ that strategy because I never really need to do that, but on the rarest occasions it could help you. So having quivers on your melee brothers is not the worst thing in the world, but I normally don't do it, so yeah. Thanks for the reminder though, Murph. Uh, we're jumping into... Yeah, Singularis, that's right. I was giving you an upgraded Tier 1. Yeah, it's about as good as it's going to get. For the moment. Okay, so, let's quickly heal up. What's the quest available? A caravan. I'm interested, but I'm worried about... We gotta heal up first. We just have to heal up. Injuries. There's only two. I was worried about having more. Uh, 12 hours for hit points, 5 hours for treating the injuries. Let's just put a few more people on injury training. 8 hours for hit points. That looks pretty good. And that shouldn't take us long at all. Could you pop me in when someone gets slaughtered? No slaves, please. Well, I can't make a promise. Oh! Lucky, my man! You lost us a leather jacket! How dare you? I really don't care about it. But, we can get rid of your drunk status. Please don't hate us for this. Please don't leave the party. No! No, Lucky gets angry! Don't leave the party. Please don't. Please. It was for your own good. Please don't. What percent are you on? Zero percent? Oh, you suffered a permanent injury. I probably shouldn't have whipped you. Okay. Um, let's unequip these just in case. Um, we might be losing Lucky here. It's for your own good. <laughs> Is there a, there's a temple here, but there's no tavern. Oh, we're screwed. Um, new change of plan. At least he's not drunk anymore. I mean, we solved his life problems, but he just might go live his life somewhere else. So I'm going to panic and put everybody on the rest to try and fix Lucky before he gives gets rid of us. Actually made it to a screen. Let's go, let's go. Oh, welcome, White Wolf, to the stream. Good to see you, man. Um, let's just hope. Please don't leave Lucky. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. No! Mm. <sighs> we fix your life problems and you just ditch us. You absolutely ditch us. Oh. But it's good to see you, White Wolf. I'm glad you're enjoying the YouTube videos, man. And it's good to see you here on a stream. We are struggling a little bit, but Lucky got unlucky. <sighs> At least he didn't take the Alp with him. Normally, on this difficulty mode, 
we are on legendary combat difficulty, but we're not on like legendary economy difficulty for thank the Lord. But if you are on some of the harder difficulties for economy and stuff, if you don't unequip the things that a brother has on him and he leaves you, he takes them with him. So be very careful if you're having angered brothers and they want to leave you on a higher difficulty. So yeah. Um, Antonius, I'm going to leave this Alp in your care. When I'm a crippled, I didn't leave. <laughs> Lucky he was gone in the evening so he could survive another day. I mean, yeah. Lucky for him, not lucky for us. So technically, his luck was actually true. He was lucky enough to leave the party alive, because if he stayed, he'd probably die. So maybe the luck was not in our favor, but his. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Okay, let's see if we can quickly replace Lucky's positioning. I probably don't think we can. We could replace Lucky with the uh, ranged person that I'm really interested in. Yeah, screw it. Let's get the ranged nomad. This is actually a really nice, really nice nomad. Uh, sadly, rolls really low range skill and really high melee skill. What? What? Base 12 defense? What is this? Is this opposite day? In terms of range, he's just a throwing weapon person. Hybrid, possibly? It could be a hybrid. You never know. Uh, wait, well, thank you for the 100 bits. Appreciate it, man. Thank you, man. I, I do appreciate it. And I'm glad you're enjoying all the streams and stuff and all the videos. It's good to have you. Uh, unluckily he went out in the desert region so serpent food, I mean, or he got recruited as a slave, so yeah. But with this build, definitely throwing weapons could work. Getting our range to 79 is viable on a throwing person. And melee for hybrid... A reach axe, dagger's not good for hybrid. Sword, you can't get really a reach sword. I don't know if hybrid's the right call. It's ambitious. It depends on the roles. So this is throw depends on uh, uh, roles. We'll see how we go. So let's get the net ready. Throwing weapon, the shield throwing weapon. The one that breaks the shields. And that's fine. Definitely not purchased. Saving up the snowballs for 5k. Yep, sounds good. The 5k's are fun. Escape from the whip to find more whips. Sorry, mate. Profession can only be as a slave for slavers. That ain't too bad. Uh, what's the stat rule for the first level up? A 1. I think it's settled then. Hybrid is just too hard to do. We don't need resolve as a hybrid. I think we just... It's too many stats. We'll go like this, this, and get the fatigue up. And get hybridization. For the extra bonus. Yeah. I, it's gonna be too much. What's the wages? Oh, Murph, I don't want to have a look at the wages. Oh, the ad's starting any second now, just to warn you guys. Uh, I don't want to check our wages. 300 a day! Oh, and we're out of money. I may have risked a bit too much. Uh, let's sell as much as we can. <laughs> yeah, that's me playing a little bit too risky there. Just a little bit. What can we get rid of? What can we get rid of? Shields. 1.8k survives us for six days. That's actually helpful. Um, Cleaver will keep just as an emergency. Uh, Flashpot? Maybe on the rarest occasion that could be helpful to us. We come Slaver Boys. <laughs> we could try and do the Slaver stuff, but sadly the Origin won't let us do it. 
Okay, so other than that, are we fully equipped? Am I forgetting anything? I need to restock the nets. That's what I forgot to do. And I'm being lazy with Minecraft and keeping this net safe, so I'm going to give it to Cracker in hopes that Cracker will have a better chance of throwing that net. That's better. Okay, I'm happy with that. But I will quickly change this new guy's armor, because that looks really bad. That looks a lot better. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, I screwed up. Stefan only had a hundred armor? You poor thing. How did I screw you over? How did I do that? Uh, welcome to the stream, iRugs. Thank you very much for the follow. Hope you're enjoying it all. Um, but yeah, I don't know how I screwed up the armor for our frontliners. Raikei's fine. But Stefan, how did I leave you on a hundred? That is definitely my fault. Okay. Now I'm happy. Let's jump into this caravan. Uh, if we can't complete this caravan completely, I won't be upset. We're just going to hope that we don't get attacked. That's my goal. We're not spending much food per day because the caravan gives us free food. Uh, we don't have much salvaging to do. Do we just train? We've got new people. Why not? Let's just get some free XP and hope for the best. This is, this is us just getting a lot of hope. What we need is hope. Uh, haven't got your 1.5k, time to gamble on our lives again in the arena. I mean, we could. But I'm gonna be safe and just wander out. Just hopefully. Is that guy somebody in the chat or could I be in Wilter? Uh, oh, good question. Good question. The, uh, throwing guy is new. You can join in as him if you'd like. Uh, Abram is also not somebody in chat. And Sheriff is also somebody not in chat. So we have three spots. Yeah, I think we have three, four spots open because Cello the Crossbow level 8 still hasn't been picked up by you guys. So we technically have four spots open for chat if you guys want to jump in. Just let me know what name you want to be joined in as. First come, first serve, as usual. So Wilter would like to be the throwing. Please, we are very happy to have you. Uh, if I spell this correctly, I might get brownie points. And it fits. It just fits. Welcome to the team. Uh, Murph wants to be the crossbow. No worries. It's a very, uh, very high survivability roll. This crossbow um, has survived with us since day one. Day one. So yeah. Damien F16 is raiding with a party of ten. DF Teen Squadron incoming. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Welcome, squad. Thank you for the raid, and I hope you guys are here to enjoy. Welcome to the slaughter party, yet we're still constantly trying to rebuild. Saturday streams are all about the, the pain and suffering and the struggles that I have to go through to try and rebuild. So, thanks for coming along, guys. Welcome. And also, thank you very much for the follow, Damien. Good to see you. Uh, 221 wants to join as well. We also have Epo wanting to join in. So, Epo, I'm not sure which one you want to join in as, but uh, 221 wants to join in. What do we got? Already have a good stream. Uh, oh, thanks, man. Good to see you, and you have a good weekend. It's double L, but you get brownie points for trying. Oh, did I spell it wrong? I did spell it wrong, didn't I? Ah! Do we have enough space for the double L? We do! Oh, there we go. Take any that are left, Epo. Okay, no worries. Styles TV, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Uh, we'll get Epo in as Abram. I'm just gonna give you guys random ones, because you guys don't know which ones you want. That's okay. Epo... Colypse... L-Y-P-Z-E? Epoco... I hope I'm spelling these correctly. It looks like I am. That's good. As long as I look like I know what I'm doing, it's good. No cross-stream vendetta, please. I mean, there's already vendettas. Um, what do we got? 
221 wants to join in, so 221T, welcome, welcome. As our new dervish, you're very nice and cultish, sort of. Spartan Martian lifestyle. Yeah. And then finally, we have a spot open... Oh, I think that's it, that's it. Epo, 221, Wilter just joined in, and Murph. That should be everyone stuck as a person. Irugs, oh, I'd love to join you in, my man. We will buy somebody new soon. But I think that's all the spots taken. That's all right. We'll get you in as the next one. I'll have to remember, so do remind me. Uh, but for the moment, the caravan does continue and trot along without being attacked. It's a single caravan donkey and two conscripts, so... Not much is defending this caravan, but we're staying safe. That's good. The swamp is a little dangerous. The peasants sir, will not survive. Why did the peasants just go back and forth? And we survive. Oh! We're at the funeral, boys! Let's get those coffins in chat. Um, welcome to the funeral. We get to see the beautiful crowd. This old retired soldier is sitting there, um, lying in the casket with a beautiful sword across his body. And, uh... We'll make it ours. Dang it! Can we get it, please? Yes! We stole it! <laughs> the old guy doesn't need it. The peasants are crying. Nice. Can't you send one guy to go scout and you defend the caravan? I wish. I wish. But the sword is ours. The XP is ours. The quest is ours. And after finishing our training... We all get 273 and 144 XP, 172, not bad. And Matty crushes his finger, so unfortunate for Matty. Murph doesn't learn anything, and Stefan doesn't learn anything. Oh, I hate that glitch, the fact that they didn't learn anything. That's okay. Anyways, our roster size has increased to 15, but only 14 in the combat. Level ups all around, let's go. Matty, what do we get? Plus four, two and plus three, and plus four health. For your wife, nicely done. Your fourth wife is hopefully going to last longer than the other ones. Let's get a nine lives to make that a little bit more of a chance for you to survive. Uh, Epo, what do we got? Nice! Plus fours! Look at those rolls! That's what we like to see. And... Tier 3 Shield Expert is going to be a good pickup. A cry if you hit me with another earthquake. Yeah, that's for the Sunday streams. Didn't learn anything new because we were fighting the whole time. Nine lives, nine wives. I mean, we might get up to the ninth wife. We never know if we'll survive. Uh, okay tank at plus four. Uh, sad plus two there. Maybe we go for some accuracy or some fatigue. Because I know I can just wait for fours. Nah, nah, I'll just get the two. Screw it. We'll be greedy. We'll get everything we can possibly get. HP shoots up to 97. Let's go. Uh, Raike, congrats on the level up. You are the cornerstone to our defense. So I'm very glad to see you dominating with these stats. Uh, you need some more health. That is a fact. And that plus 5 resolve is very tempting. But I'm not sure if we just go accuracy. Right? Because if eventually we get spear perks, oh, that'll also increase your accuracy. You're just going to be way too good as a spear tank. What's the call? What's the call? I think we just go with a resolve, right? Like, why not just go crazy resolve? Accuracy is going to come with the spears, so screw it. Uh, we jump... We already got Rising Star, so we jump into Better Grip. I'm thinking Lithe, but I'm also just thinking, why not Better Grip? Defense will jump up once we switch to a spear. And that jumps up to 81 and 75 accuracy. Look at that. Spears and shields, absolutely overpowered, and I love it. Every single tank should be a spear and shield, where possible. Uh, Antonius, what do we got? Three... That's actually a really good defense roll, my man. Very nicely done. 
And I'm going to go for that health roll, because your resolve is actually really good. Uh, to start us off, though... Shield damage of 24 is really bad, so I'm not going to ever use split shield. So... Ooh, adrenaline is slightly tempting. But I'm leaning towards crippling. For more injuries. Yeah, we'll go crippling. Indomitable Staff Snowman Tank build when? Oh, we did that, like, last month, but I haven't been able to perfect it. I haven't been able to perfect that build and use it in a game just yet. But I should do it, eventually. Uh, Wilter throw depends on rolls. His rolls are horrible, so he's just going to stay as a thrower the rest of his life. Sorry, man. It was worth a try to go as a hybrid, but it's just not meant to be. So we jump into maybe Momentum? No, we have to get Recover. Oh, we have to get Bags and Belts as well. Let's go Bags and Belts first. Just hold as many throwing items as possible. Nice. Uh, this great sword is not going to be useful to us just yet, but we can sell it if we need to. Uh, Ober as our Warlock resident. Looking good, right? Looking very good. And our next spell of choice. Let's go. Insect Swarm, boys. We have become death. Over. I'm keen. I am full on keen. And it only costs 15 fatigue? Nice. We can do this every turn for the rest of our lives. This spell is overpowered. And I absolutely love it. Too bad it's single target, but it's still worth it. Singularis, good three, sad on the one. Um, but good four resolve. Let's get that gifted to tr get you more stats. Nice. Let's get some health. And that's looking pretty decent. Okay, the party is actually looking better. Does Warlock have medium armor? It does. The Warlock does have medium armor. So we could make him a frontliner, but he's got minus five melee defense. So I have been making him a polearm expert, even though he doesn't have polearms. I'm just keeping him in the back, casting spells, and using a polearm where necessary. Uh, if he didn't roll such bad melee defense, we could have maybe made him a frontliner. But it was too risky. Way too risky. And siphoning people... I mean, it could work, but it's too risky with his stats. Uh, let's go and try and get another quest. Ooh, tier 1. Green skins for 15 is a little risky. Is he good for cleaver, asks Murph. I'll have to have a look. Tier 3 for beasts could be way too much for us. I'm actually worried about that. Uh, Ober, what do you got? He does have cleaver. So we could do like a reach cleaver. It is possible. But reach cleaver, I do remember Midas commenting on my video and I appreciate it. And I will have to explain it in my next YouTube video. But unfortunately, Swordlike does not work with two reach tile cleavers. Whips are fun? Yeah, that's true. Here's the thing. We could get quick hands. We don't get quick hands. Oh. We don't get weapon ma- We do get weapon master. But that only works for one-handed weapons. Oh. Well, that makes me sad now. If we had quick hands, we could quick hands from the battle standard to a whip. But it wasn't meant to be. Anyways, we could still try and go with a cleaver build, but we'll have to think about it. Uh, but let's try and get into a quest and some food. Actually, wow, we really need food. You guys eat way too much. Uh, more nets. Let's go! We finally get to stock up on more nets. Oh, I like the look of that. Completely full of nets. Everyone's looking pretty snazzy. I'm going to just put spare nets on Singularis. And Antonius as well, because why not? Uh, Greenskins might be too hard for us. I want to go and fight some brigands. Time to climb mountains. We're eating too much. <laughs> How much do we have? Four days wage? We've got five days wage. Just barely. So maybe we have to take the Greenskins quest. I'm going to go up to this city here and hopefully find an easier quest. 
Maybe a follow the tracks could be really nice for us. Please have something good. Brigand's location, that's better. That's better. A delivery, not keen. But the brigands, I will take. Oh wow, these guys are horrible for food. But we might as well take it. Hyrees. Oh! Yes! Look at that! He has shield expert! Is he... Oh, he's not talented, but let's go! We have a good thief! He rolls six to begin with. Five melee skill. Let's go! And he has the cooking perks. To feed you guys, because you guys eat way too much. Let's get Quartermaster. Oh, that's beautiful. We can't bring him into combat because we have too many people at the moment. But I believe someone was wanting a name, and I do have to quickly double check. I think it was Irus. Irugs, there we are. So Irugs, welcome to the party, my man. And this should be a nimble... And does he have good initiative? He does. We could go nimble dodge tank, yeah. That should work. Except I can't spell all of that, so let's do it like that. Sweet. Uh, we will actually have to gear him up. Now, in all honesty, we have to be safe. Oh, the White Wolf. Sorry, man. Um, we'll get you in the next one. I did miss your comment. But we did already have iRugs requesting from a little bit earlier on. Did I hear random keyboard mashing? Just a little bit. <laughs> Just spamming to make sure I had everything typed as quickly as possible. Uh, oh, let's get the helmets. And a little bit of armor, because just in case we get ambushed, this guy's gonna have to fight, and we don't want him getting wrecked. So that will hopefully keep him alive in an ambush. But that's alright, White Wolf. Just remind me of the next person we get, and I'll join you in. Uh, bring in set a location. Let's go. Either impressing, impressive or novice in terms of keyboard mashing. I mean, I'll let you guys decide whether that was good or bad. <laughs> you never know. It could have been a really good keyboard mashing. I'll leave it a mystery. Now, we do want to know what's in here. It would be nice to see it at a glance. Many raiders I'm not looking forward to. I'm really not looking forward to miners. Oh, miners, why do they have to be so mean? Crushed finger, let's quickly fix that before we go in. But I mean, it's not going to get fixed in time. For the fight. Though, in all honesty, I might take this fight at night. Just to maybe take advantage. But let's have a quick look again. There's only some poachers. It couldn't be bad. Um, Chloe, what did you miss in the last two, three hours? Um, a bit of pain and suffering. We did catch a tier two Noxida. But then we released it to fight for us and it came out as a tier one and then it died. So I don't think we should ever capture them again. Also, I do have to say that we did survive with our uh, five Alps. And I forgot to let you guys know they leveled up. What did we learn? Return favor? That's actually good. That's actually really good. What did this one learn? Oh, they still have return favor normally. Okay, so one, what did he learn? Fortified mine? No, he already has that. Oh, he learned small target? Oh, that sucks. That's head chance. That's bad. Okay, so then what did this guy learn? Stalwart? Formidable approach? Oh, he learned formidable approach. That's also kind of bad. Um, are we going to get any lucky rolls? He's still not leveled up. He didn't level up. Uh, the dog didn't level up. 
Did this dog level up? Oh, he's still not leveled up. Sheesh, no luck anywhere. Not shaming, just making fun of it. Wait, is there a difference? <laughs> well, well, maybe, maybe. Uh, I think we take this during the day. As much as I want to get these poachers to not hit us as with many archer shots, we do have a very good uh, crossbow person on our party. So maybe the daytime fight's worth it. The ooh type of discovery leads to suffering. What mod gives you levels on the pets? Ah, it should be in the description. That is the AC mod. Um, on my Discord channel, I also have a list of all the mods that I use in our sub-mod channel. Um, below chat and in my about part of my Twitch, you'll be able to see um, links to my Discord. And uh, you'll find it there quite easily. Uh, I used to link it in chat. Oh, I also... Wait, wait, wait. Here, I have... Um, here, look at this. I have commands! I have commands from Streamlabs now. So if you guys have any very important questions, you can just go exclamation mark, whatever you want. So if you have any big questions that I normally can answer quite easily, it's easier to see it the way I do my commands. I know! I got commands set up! I know, it's amazing! It's super helpful. They have a minute cooldown so you guys don't spam it constantly, but they'll be very helpful. So please do enjoy that. They're very, very helpful to read. Um, you just spammed it. Yeah, I knew you would. That's why I put a cooldown on it. Because <laughs> it'll be get very annoying if people use it all the time. But it's very helpful in a pinch, just so you guys can read what you need to read um, to help you guys out. And also below the chat, there should be some explanation things as well. Because we've got um, links to my YouTube channels, my VOD channel, my Discord, all the good stuff. So hopefully that helps you guys. So please do enjoy. Why do you always suspect me of doing bad things? I mean, it's a precaution. I'm not saying it's you. But I was like, well, just in case chat needs to know, they'll see it for 60 seconds. Definitely plenty of enough time. Definitely plenty of time in between. I'm just adding to the fun of it. Uh, the throwing weapons are going to be annoying here, so I might need to rush out to get them. Raike, I think you have a job to do. Ooh, Murph, can you get this headshot? Oh, it's a body shot. Dang it. Headshot? No, a second body shot. I mean, those are good hits. It's just he had 15 hel helmet armor, and I was waiting for a dome. Check the info on Twitch to mock you for the setting all things up, but basic thingies... And the info is there as well. I was almost proud of you. Aw. You're almost proud of me? Thank you, Chloe. I appreciate it. I'm almost thankful. <laughs> for you being proud. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You just failed to satisfy my hunger for dead bodies. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. It's gonna happen. Just not this fight. This fight we're working on keeping people alive. And over, the birds and the bees are ready to be unleashed. Nicely done. F of the heart. <laughs> All good, my man. Uh, Raike, you take the flank. Uh, Maddie's wife... Um, I'm worried because you're level 1 and you have 20 defense. Uh, you stay back and just spear wall, I guess? Epo, you're actually pretty decent at dealing with these guys. That's a good hit. Minecraft, what do we do? Chain Mace is actually scary. So let's throw a net on him. Nice. Uh, Cracker, let's just set up for a net throw on somebody eventually. Yeah, we'll be patient, we'll be patient. Another ad in about four and a half minutes, just to warn you guys. Uh, 221. You are brand new, aren't you, though? You're level 2. You still have decent defense? Ah, oh, it didn't work. That's fine, that's fine. Twitch ignored me and now they disabled my account. Oh, that sucks, man. Unfortunate to hear. There's not much I can do about it, though. But I do hope it all works out eventually. Uh, Stefan, can we please go for this flank? Protection? Because I'm worried about those guys at the top. They're going to be the most annoying. 
We could steal another dog, though. We have stolen so many dogs in our time here. On this season. It's just too good. Oh, can we break a shield? Ooh, we could definitely do that. Who do I care about breaking shields with? I'm not entirely sure. I'd rather throw this at somebody who doesn't have a shield, but they all have shields, pretty much. Maybe we go there and break his shield. Ah, we don't have quick hands just yet. We can't switch. Dang it. Never mind. Oh! Your count's back? Nicely done. Uh, Antonius, what do we got? Defensively, we've got 11. So we'll hide behind Stefan. <laughs> we'll do the whole scared situation. Uh, recommend highlight my message. Just to leave that noticeable for everybody, I'm fairly done for the day. Had a drink with a few of my colleagues. Really sorry for everything that's inappropriate. That's all right, man. Just try your best. That's all I ask. <laughs> but I'm glad you're having a good relaxing weekend. And uh, let's hope we do well for you. Can we get a split? Oh, we tried. We tried. Well, it's good to be back, Murph. Good to be back. The dog goes to the flank. That is fine. The dogs are not that scary. Uh, Barlow, can we get a fire arrow on somebody? Ooh, could we go here and fire arrow? 93. 90 freaking 3! And he rolls a... 100! Oh. Well, there's always next time we roll a 93. Always next time. Antonius? Nope, we can't beat the dog just yet. Fire arrow tinks off the tiny buckler. Oh, the shield bash? What a jerk. Just don't take me now and add example of how we should be have here. <laughs> As an example, yep. Sheesh, that tiny buckler is good for him. Uh, Murph, what do we got? That's a good hit. Uh, Ober, where are we putting birds and bees on? This guy seems a bit scary. Just keep spreading the plague. You are the pestilence today. And now forever. Don't wish no man to kill his team quickly. <laughs> nice. Yeah, because if... It's kind of like opposite day. If, if you're wishing me to survive, I might die. If you wish me to kill the team, then we might succeed. So that's probably how it goes. Uh, Wilter, what do we got? We need more throwing weapons. We also have a net we can throw, so why not? We also have the sand we can use once a turn, which is pretty... Once a round. Once a battle. I'm saying it wrong. I apologize. It's once a battle, which is really sucky. Um, okay, we're going in. This center part's a little bit weak, so I'm kind of worried about that. Top flank should be fine. Bottom flank's fine. It's just this center point. Cracker, can you do something? Nice. Very nice. Singularis, a split, please. The dog is dead. We can't steal the kill. I mean, we can't steal the dog for our own, but that's fine. Um, he's only got a dagger, so I'm not scared of putting you into melee. Maddie's fourth wife, I'm a little scared, but I think you can take this. Unfortunate. This buckler is doing work. I don't like it in the slightest. Miner, go away. Please go away. I hate miners with a passion. Uh, 64, 68. Nice. Sadly, that was a headshot. Maddie, please do the honors. A 93%. And our luck continues today. It continues. Shivers. Um, 58%. That's a good hit, Stefan. Fails to break out on 20%. Sucks to be you, buddy. Birds and bees stuck with nets is such a disgusting combination. I love it. 
Unless they get resilient, and then it makes me really sad. Oh, that's bad. Um, 66? Sheesh. No, not the miners! But yeah, Epo, I do agree. It is good to hear that he's got his account back and it's all fixed. Definitely good to hear. Um, Cracker, what do we got? Oh, we need fire arrows on somebody. Please! He doesn't have a buckler. You hit him! Buckler's BR curse. Throw sand. Nice. Can we catch him? Unfortunate. <laughs> it was worth a try. Barlow gets a grazed neck. Mm hmm. That's fine, that's fine. Ober's got actually decent armor, so we don't have to worry about that. Antonius is surviving. We just need to beat the gridlock. That's all we need to do. If we get a couple bodies on the floor, we can start bringing this to our favor. Can we get the snipe, Murph, please? 94. The buckler doesn't save him now. Finally. That's one down. How many more can we get? 62 Singularis, unfortunate. Uh, the birds and the bees can be put onto this guy because he's scary. Yep, good. Uh, I need to get rid of this miner. Maddie's wife is doing some work. 60 on the miner. I need to go for the 60. As much as I need the 90s, I need the 60. And he gets it! He gets it! Let's go! Oh, that's helpful. That is super helpful. If we can kill this miner before he has his turn, this could be big. Cracker, what do we have? A net on the raider or a net on the miner? Net on the raider because the raider's scarier. And we release one alp to help us. Is Ober a druid? Ober's a warlock. It's even better. It's too good. We love having Ober. Ober's a follower of Nurgle. He's even colored the right way. He's too good. Need to spend my points then, Murph. Yeah, because we're finally winning. Uh, what do we got? Three... Do we need to put it on him? He's got insects, so... Why not? Minecraft, I don't want to put you in melee, but I know they're not as strong. But it's still risky. If anyone asks, I'm also a different person than Murph6, by the way. Oh, yeah, totally. Totally. Uh... Let's go. His long lost brother, maybe. <laughs> yes! The miner's fleeing! Let's go, 221! You did it! He's only on one health, but still, he's fleeing. Uh, 39% or se Wait, what? Oh, he's shield walling, that's why. I was like, why on earth is he so hard to hit? He breaks out on the 27. And saves the miner. What a jerk. What a jerk. <gasps> the sleep? And he doesn't get hit! Let's go! He's asleep in melee. The flanks are going to actually be quite annoying. Do I go for a normal hit or do I go for the split? I go for the split, right? Nice! Antonius with the double hit! Nice. Uh, fire arrows could be fire here, right? Or do we kill this guy? Barlow, you are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. We only have two ranged people in the party, but they account for a decent amount of the effort. Oh my goodness, over, you poor thing. They don't like the warlock. They hate the undead. Okay, let's put some more birds and bees, some insects on this raider, please. Nice. So there's three insects going out at the same time. There's fire on the ground. 
There's someone asleep. There's sand in someone's eyes. This is a very chaotic battlefield at the moment. And my goodness, Antonius, you're getting wrecked. Okay, that top... That top situation is getting very scary. Uh, White Wolf, 30k, thank you very much for the gifted sub. Thank you, man. I appreciate the generosity. Um, also, congratulations to the Plahunter for your free gifted sub, man. Please give a nice warm thank you to the White Wolf. And yeah, thanks again for coming along to the stream, man. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Uh, Murph says, when you have the minute after the stream, let me know if any everything went through properly. Oh yeah, yeah, I'll let you know, man. I'll have to check it. I can't see it at the moment because I'm too busy. <laughs> uh, I want to get rid of this guy, but he's technically not as threatening, is he? I mean, getting a kill here is probably more important when I think about it. And we get a headshot, Maddie. Oh, I keep forgetting you're so good at headshots. He wakes up his friend. That's actually annoying. Singularis finally slam dunks. Finally! Oh, that's beautiful. That feeling is good. I think that's, that's one of the first hits Singularis has ever used with this beautiful weapon. Finally. It feels good to slam dunk. Uh, also, Stefan, you think I think you really need to help this top flank, like, a lot. We are struggling up there. Uh, Minecraft, I know this is risky. But I think you on the front lines is not a bad idea. Murph, Murph, Murph. Um, 95% he stops it with the buckler again. What? We get the headshot though. Okay, that's big. Uh, 82 versus 76. Let's get these 82s apocalypse. Nice. He's rolling on 18s and he still hits us. Okay, sure. Why not? Um, Cracker, this is dangerous. Famous last words, um, but jump in there. And you scared them away! Cracker for the win. Aim at someone in front of Stefan, please. <laughs> yeah. That guy in front of Stefan is close to dying. Um, and this one is almost, but yeah, we could probably snipe this guy if we're lucky. Uh, 220, can we please get this kill? Yes, the confidence. Nicely done. Uh, Stefan, as much as I want to kill this guy, we don't get lucky. We have to walk here, though. We have to stop the flank. Oh, we're so close! That's okay. The miner rallies? Okay. You're on one health. Why would you rally? Oh, I'm scared of it. I'm scared of it. Okay, fair enough. I hope your range defense sucks, says Stefan. <laughs> oh, he's trying to break your shield. We remember that that shield is very hard to break, so we're glad that that's there. Um, Wilter, look at that! Your pet saved you! No? It was Cracker's pet. By putting the raider to sleep, you can walk out of melee range. How sweet is that? The combo. The absolute combo there. My shield is a range shield, says Stefan. Yeah, it pretty much is. So, good luck with that. It's got like 35 range defense bonus. It's way too strong. And Antonius is getting completely wrecked, so please don't die, my man. This guy with a sword is going to be really painful. Uh, can we quick shot this? Barlow? That's a good kill. That's a good hit. Beautifully done. Weird rotate, but okay. Saving your running away miner. Oh, Antonius is going down. I'm, I can see it happening. Unless... Unless the bees over saves, over saves the day. A forty would have definitely hit. Over you beast, and we miss an eighty-four. An eighty-four in return. Oh, it feels rough, man. It feels absolutely rough. Singularis with the second dunk in a row. What is this? What's happening? The game's changing. Ah, not the bees. Yeah, exactly. 
Exactly. Oh! Maddie's fourth wife just wins the game. The white flags. She's become scarier than death. Nicely done. The white flags of victory. Bees and Nets Raiders are having a bad time. Oh yeah. This combo is too good and I'm loving it. Bees, Nets, Alps. Uh, Murph as well. Can we snipe this guy please? Oh, the headshot. It's game over. It's game over. We win. Outright, there's nothing that beats us. Murph is earning some bad karma in the chat, hoping for some 5% soon. <laughs> I mean, you never know. You never know. But it's looking... It's looking very promising, this fight now. I like it. Uh, what can we get here? Let's get the guy in the she, the, um, underneath there. That's fine. Stefan, let's clean up. Nice. Good kills. Oh, that guy hits us pretty badly. Cracker is not looking good with a cut artery. Good wear, evil man. <laughs> uh, I mean, you guys are all a little bit sadistic, hoping for our deaths constantly. But I mean, it makes sense. It does. We do enjoy a bit of hardships here and there. And Wilter, my good man, I don't know why you missed two 74s in a row. Ask no, I only do good things for the team. <laughs> it's debatable, it's debatable. We'll, we'll leave it on a, on, a, on a middle ground. Clo, Clo, just as we're winning the fight? What are you doing to me, man? I guess he wants to make it more interesting, doesn't he? It's a free kill! <laughs> this fight is ours and you can't do anything. The script is real. The script has come through. <laughs> oh, RNG. Blood for the blood gods. And it will be blood, but it won't be ours. The corn doesn't care whose blood it is, my man. <laughs> You're the sadistic patron of a digital fight club. I mean, we're all sadistic patrons in this. 100%. So, Clo, what are we killing? There are some fleeing guys that don't matter. There are... F that guy's technically a little bit scary at the moment, but it's pretty much over. What are you thinking, man? Probably just one of the... One, yeah, one of the fleeing guys. Sounds good. We'll get rid of this guy. It was nice knowing him. He just got smited by corn. I only spin for free kills, though, says for... <laughs> Sometimes he does, sometimes. Uh, Ober, should we go for some damage now? The bees aren't helping anymore. So I think we walk forward and kill this guy at 90%. I'll take it. I'll take it. Antonius, can we get a kill on the way out? Nice. Good slam. 86 by Maddie. Maddie walks up. Nice. Singularis for a triple dunk. Triple dunk in a row! That's what we like to see. A confident Singularis, I think, is what's changed. I think that's what's changed. It's not my fault if it lands on a champion. I mean, yeah, technically it's not your fault. The RNG just seems to happen that way. Uh, Matt's fourth wife. Let's go over here and try and stop these guys from fleeing. So really disappointed the lack of your failures doesn't make you a good prospect for a proper conversion. <laughs> Gotta have more failures to have more fun. Okay, let's get this miner out of the way. Oh, we missed, unfortunately. Let's jump in. The only guy who's escaping is this one, and I really don't care if the miner escapes. We'll survive. But that was actually a really good fight. Oh, he rallies and then still gives up. The fight went really well, I must say. I was worried at a couple situations. The flail guy going past our shields. Um, the top flank. God, that top flank was a little bit risky. Um, do we run them down? Yes, because there's still one kill we can get here. And the Alp is going to do it for us. No, he didn't do all of the health. He did well. 
Wilter finally gets a hit. Nice. And Ober can't reach the situation, so he goes for a Insects hit. Uh, Maddie, what do we got? A good hit. Singularis can't do anything. Um, trying to get to the people that are actually on their turn order. We don't have a gigantic party, but there is still a few people along the way. 95. 221 gets it. Nicely done. Uh, I'm not going to chase this guy because it's too much effort. So we'll end it there. It's over. Nicely done. Some sort of grudge. What did it ever do? <laughs> it's time to spin for a Kraken. I mean, yeah. Definitely. Uh, let's go for the nice XP, nice level ups. And what's the loot looking like? Salt. Nice. And a little bit of armor. That's actually a good armor attachment. That's some nice loot right there. I'll take that. And from here, maybe... Maybe we'll be able to start pushing into some harder fights. I don't want to jinx it or push it too quickly. But I'm thinking harder fights might go a little bit easier now that the party's getting some level ups. I still want to do a few more brigand fights before we start pushing it. But it's looking better. It's it's looking better indeed. 1200 bucks. We're paying a lot through the nose to do these things. Oh, that's a greenskin 2k. No. No, that's that's a bit too risky. I'll believe it when I see it. <laughs> uh, our brand new dog leveled up. Brick gets soft metal? That's not that great of a perk. Did any of the Alps level up? Um, That one was already level 2. Uh, White Wolf cheered for... I think that's 100 bits? Yeah, yeah, that's 100 bits. Never played with the Warlock. Can you give me a down and dirty summary? No worries. Thank you for the 100 bits, man, and thank you for the cheer. Uh, the Warlock is technically a starter origin um, a background. Usually when you play the Warlock Origin, you can summon zombies and like keep them as your friends and stuff. They've done a rework of it, so it's kind of confusing now, where you can like buy zombies in town. It's, it's so freaking weird. Um, and I think I don't like the way they've done it. But normally you would be able to like get zombies as your friends. But the, the trick with the Warlock is they have spells, kind of like druid spells, and are usually kept as a caster unit or a person that sits in the back um, because they usually have high attack and high health. And the other way you can play them instead of just having a high attack, high health person that sits in the back is you can sometimes play them as a frontliner, mainly because they get this cool ability called Siphon. So basically you just go around blood sucking from people like a Sith Lord, um, draining health from people just because you can steal 30% of their health and you can be an unstoppable tank that never dies because all you do every turn is suck health back up when you're just standing on the front lines. So there's a couple ways to play Warlock. I usually like playing them as a polearm person in the back lines with spells. That's a safe way of doing it. But yeah, they're just basically high health, high attack. Sometimes they get high fatigue. It just depends on how they roll. But they're usually pretty beefy. But they don't usually have good defenses, as you can see here as a minus five. But yeah, that's sort of like a quick rundown of them. Um, they get Miasma, which is like the really cool priest spell. They get Rust, which is like um, using a hammer from a distance. Because it just does damage to their armor. Um, the other, the final spell they get is... Oh yeah, the birds and the bees. It's already there. Um, oh, the final, sorry, the final one they get is Wither. Um, reducing an enemy's damage, initiative, and fatigue by 30%. It lessens by 10% each turn. So... You got a lot of dehabilitating um, spells, not much damage, but it's more dehabilitating, except if you use a siphon build. Um, also, I did see in the chat a question from Sal Salas Suker. Welcome to the stream, man. Sorry for getting into your question a little bit late. I was just finishing my explanation. Um, am I using trained pets to control the Pokemon? Oh, um, if you look at the description, we're using our mods at the moment. We're using Legends, PTR, and AC mod. Now, AC mod is Accessory Companions. And that allows you to capture enemies through the Tame Beast perk. It's like throwing a melee version of a Pokeball at an enemy. It's a very low chance to hit, so yeah, it's very painful to try and catch them. Um, but the pets that you do get to keep 
stay in your accessory slot, which is why it's called accessory companions. It's the same slot that you put a sash in. It's the same slot you put in your Noxida trophies. Um, so you keep the pet. It learns level ups. It learns perks. It learns stats. It's pretty cool. It's really, really cool. Join us on Sundays when we ban ghosts. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the ghosts are really nice and strong on Sundays. So a repeated question. How do you get that far? I think my party dead or behind enough and get them died just a bit later. Oh, this far into the game? Uh, we played really carefully, and also a little bit not so carefully because of all the spins we kept having. So we've had to rebuild this. I think this is like the fourth rebuild of this party. Because, God, we had a spider army, and then they all died. And then we had a spider army, and then they all died. And then we had an alp army of a couple, then it died. And then we had five alps now, and this is the best rebuild we've ever had. How many hours in Battle Brothers have I had, personally? Um, that's a very good question. Uh, I think it's over a thousand, thousand two hundred. I'm just quickly bringing up my steam. <laughs> you ask good questions, um, but questions that I have to quickly find the answers to. Uh, how do I go to my profile there? Is that the one? Uh, 1,200 hours. There we are. 1,200 hours on Battle Brothers at the moment. That's including mods and vanilla. Because I used to play vanilla, but then eventually I migrated to mods for obvious reasons, because they're amazing. Uh, if I can wake up early, I'll try. Had a Frenzy Direwolf too. Oh yeah, that's right, Grike. Thank you for the reminder. We got a Frenzy Direwolf on a 10% chance. And it died versing a Hedge Knight. So yeah, that was rough. That was, like, really rough. Let's take that medium armor. Let's get some nice stats defense for Maddie's wife. Uh, and we desperately need some resolve, so let's get that stacked up. 221, what are we looking at? Not great attack, but that's okay. We're only mainly trying to go defense. Let's also get the balance to perk up to plus 8. Nice. Good night, Epo. Thanks for coming along, man. It was good to see you. If we catch you Sunday, that'll be nice, but if not, don't worry about it. You can always catch the VOD, my man. Um, hope you enjoy the rest of the VODs here, and have a good week, man. Good to see you again. Uh, Antonius, what do we got? Plus three, plus two? Not bad. I'm liking Antonius' rolls. They're looking real nice, except for his health rolls. He could do a little better. Let's go health permanently from now on, because we have 62 resolve, which is good. It's very good. Hedge Knight Pokemon Champion confirmed, <laughs> right, Kay? Yes. <laughs> Indeed. Oh, the Hedge Knight just showed us why we shouldn't be versing Hedge Knights. Like, he just, just set down the law and was like, nope, that's enough. Uh, Singularis looking pretty decent with the stats again. I mean, we don't have good luck with our companion here, who is also a starter person. But it's... We're getting there. It's taking its time. Now, I said I wanted to get medium armor balance, didn't I? Backstabber would be good. But we're trying to keep you alive. So let's grab balance. And then grab discovered talent. And let's hope that's enough to keep boosting us to a nice number. Because I'm worried we won't get there. But I do want to get there because this claymore is nice. Too bad it's not a Zvihander, though. Uh, let's go and quickly salvage. No, we don't need to salvage too much. Uh, tier 1 attachment. That's what BB's all about. Yeah, just dying all the time. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. Who gets this attachment? Does Singularis need it? Yeah, technically. My inventory is so mismanaged. That's better. Okay. Uh, what else am I missing? Missing a tier 1 for some backliner, I'm sure of it. There we go. Um, Irogs, we can't jump you in just yet, sorry. We still have a full party. Uh, Helmet-wise, everything's looking half-decent. Shield-wise, everyone still has their shields. Weapon-wise, everyone's looking okay. All we need to worry about now is... Oh, yeah, nets. 
Uh, four minutes still an ad, just to warn you guys. And injuries. Injuries we need to deal with. Desperately. So let's do a quick camp. Uh, one person, as usual, on the crafting. Cut artery needs to be fixed. Uh, we lose roots and berries because Barlow finds it going bad. Dang it, it went spoiled. We'll survive. Okay, all the nets are fixed. Just need to equip one more on Minecraft and he's all set to go. Oh, we need to equip one on Wilter. That's right. Okay, I'm keen to keep this ball rolling as long as we can. Uh, the quest available for us is something I don't want. Okay, so we'll not take that. Let's go find another small area to get us a quest, like this one, maybe? A couple more brigand fights, and I'll be super confident to take some green skins. Please give us something that's 1800 for beasts? Uh, I'd rather do a caravan. Yeah, screw it. Let's do a caravan. Uh, Food-wise, we're a little bit low. But the caravan's going to keep us topped up, so that's fine. Uh, we might as well just train. XP galore is all we need. And we can boost this party to an acceptable level to stay alive and not start losing against tough fights. Where are we? It said southeast. Oh, okay, it's all the way over there. Fair enough. Please ambush us. Oh, it's goblins. I said it at the right time. <laughs> I was like, please ambush us brigands, but I, I, was, I was slightly off. I wasn't expecting goblins. So we got a bit of poison coming our way. And I know goblins got buffed recently, so their resolves are not as bad. I don't know if I'm on the latest patch, though. I do have to remember. I don't think I'm on the wheel of the latest patch. Here comes some nets, um, which is good for us. Our net supply will never run out now. We have one donkey to protect. And two really crappy caravan hands. Please don't snipe us. Please don't. Goblin ambusher, please. Have mercy. We're covered in nets. <laughs> this is a you know reverse card, guys. It's looking like what we normally do to enemies. They're doing it to us. <laughs> uh, should we counter snipe with Barlow? Or do we go for a 75? You know what? I'm gonna risk it. Barlow, you beast. You pierced his lung. With a fire arrow. That's gotta hurt. That poor ambusher. Nicely done, my man. Wilter, can we get a... Ooh, 30%. Uh, let's just break your friend out. Nicely done. Antonius, save Maddie's wife. Nice. Singularis, let's also save Raike. Nice. Murph, you're going to easily one-shot this guy. If we don't miss the 80%. Oh, and we didn't get the headshot. Okay, never mind. Uh, speaking too soon. Uh, let's run up here. 26%, we get it. <laughs> I wish, I know. You're going to hit this guy? No, he doesn't hit this guy. Okay, well, so much for that. Uh, Epo, let's go for a repost, because I think you have a chance. Especially against the flail guys, they're annoying. Uh, there's another ad starting any second now, just to warn you guys. Uh, let's go and grab... Minecraft, I don't know if we should waste throwing nets at these guys. It's a bit of a slightly wasted effort. 221. Can't break free. Unfortunately. Um, sad times, indeed. 65, miss. Oh, yeah. Unfortunate. Is repost OP when you have high defense character with it? Yes. Um, Repost is really powerful, especially if you get the free um, perk on guard. It's just way too good. If you have the accuracy and defense with it. And then you just build a Repost tank and it works really well. 
So, yeah, that's one way to play around with it. And a lot of people like doing it. Minecraft, let's just put a net on the ambusher. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to pronounce this name. I do apologize. Illy when, uh, Gruffy... I mean, you're, you're putting me through my, my ropes there. Illy went up Grufty, I think. Um, thank you very much for the follow. Uh, welcome to the channel, man. I hope you're enjoying. And I'm sorry for butchering your name because I really don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, goodness me. Uh, Cracker, I think maybe we could be a bit of a jerk. Do we unleash? Maybe? Good way to butcher my name. <laughs> I'm glad I did it justice there, my man. Thanks for coming to the stream, though. Hope you're enjoying. Uh, what do we got? Sleeps? Yes, we get one sleep. That's helpful. Uh, Foolish Monk. Is that a name from a Warlord Chronicles? I have no idea. Is that like a 40k hammer thing? 40, 40k Warhammer thing? I only know some of the Warhammer books. Oh, the Alp gets hit. But he survives. He survives. No, no, it's a real life name, a king from Wales. Oh! Interesting. I butch easier names that are a lot of lazier to spell. Yeah, I, I butcher all names. I apologize. It's it's a bad habit, and it's just me and my pronunciation problems. No, don't kill our What? What was that? I'm not bringing Alps to a goblin fight ever again. What the hell was that? That was three attacks from the same skirmisher? Why does he have Vigorous Assault still activated? Holy, he just disappeared. Okay, I'm sorry. I think that was Cracker's pet. Um, yeah, that's, that's not going to be surviving any longer. Barlow, nice fire arrows as usual. Rip and pepperonis, exactly. Sheesh. That alambisher is going to be burnt to the stake, and that's good for us. Uh, Wilter, can we please... 41%'s all we got? 41% is all we need! Let's go! Gobbo's part of Team Rocket. Uh, the Warlord Chronicles are an Arthurian series by Cromwell. Brilliant books based in history more than myth. Oh. Oh, very nice. Well, thanks for the, the explanation, Foolish Monk. I appreciate it. I'm not the biggest reader myself, so I'm not always good with books. Um, so if somebody says there's a reference from a book, I'm like, oh, I really can't help you there. So thanks for the explanation, though. I appreciate it. And Murph, good job with the snipe. That's less poison arrows being thrown at us. 14% for Raikei. That sucks. 32 on that guy. Damn. Um, good afternoon, kiddo. Welcome back to the stream. Unfortunately, your lucky person died. Um, no, actually, no, no, he didn't die. That's right. He had a, two permanent injuries, I think. A normal injury. Um... We whipped him for being drunk, fixed his drunkardness, made his life better, and then he said, screw us, and he left the party. That's right. So instead of dying, you chose the easy way out and ditched all of us. <laughs> uh, at least you survived. We turned your life around and he ran. He's like, thanks for being a part of the company. We'll, we'll ditch. It was nice knowing you all. So it was good seeing you. Um, so welcome back to the stream, though. Uh, really enjoyable for the books. It's done from the point of view of Arthur's right-hand man. I would recommend if historical fantasy what's you're into. Um, okay, well that's good. Thanks for the recommendation, man. I appreciate it. Uh, can I go for 65? Yes, Maddie! Good job! And you can free for free? Nice. 221 is back into this. Epo? Not many reposts happen, but I'm gonna try again. Oh, no fatigue! The fatigue problem is real. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, Minecraft, can we do anything? Just throw nets at everybody. 
Uh, throw nets at this one, maybe? I don't know. The, th the thing is, goblins are all the same. They're all weak. They're all short. There's nothing specific to each goblin that makes them scarier than another one, so the net is just indiscriminate. I'm indiscriminately throwing nets at people. And maybe that's the one I throw it at because he has the highest morale check. Or that one because he has no shield. I don't know. I don't know. I'm indiscriminately trying to throw nets. Uh, that one has a throwing weapon. And Cracker, get the heck out of there. Because they're sniping you. Uh, Gruffy says, I don't know if it's possible or I need to ask here, but the way to one of the rows can be named as Lined Will. Uh, yeah, so basically, um, I've got a channel point system on my stream, so if you spend 5,000 points, you can buy in as a completely random person and get a free famed item. But if you just want to join in as a completely random bro, just put your name in chat and I'll see what I can do about it. Unfortunately, the party is completely full at the moment. Um, and we already have somebody... I think it's White Wolf that said he wanted to join in next. So technically White Wolf has dibs on the next person. But you can have, like, second dibs. It's just going to be very hard for me to remember these things all the time, so just remind me where possible. Oh, Ober got pulled forward. I was like, why is Ober sitting up there? He got pulled forward from the skirmisher. You jerks. Uh, nice. Good hit, 222. Hello, must take the next quest, Clo. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Alright, I'll take second dibs if that's right. That's alright. It all depends on people dying, um, sadly. Maddie's wife gets a 24. Beautiful play there. Um, Clo, I will try to remember that when we get to town, and we're forced to do the next quest. So I will have a look for that, man. Um, Goblin is actually getting 50s. That's unfortunate. But Singularis Dodge is a 61. That's pretty good. Uh, will you let Clo get a second quest, or is it just the first one? Oh, it's just one quest. Yeah, yeah, I'll remember, I'll remember. Sometimes I do learn to forget, and you chat remind me, and I appreciate the reminders, because sometimes I need it. But another fire arrow by Barlow definitely sets this ground alight. Antonius, please, 75, dunk. The beautiful dunk. Right before the guy had his turn. Um, Singularis, this looks pretty bad. Yeah, a double 5 and 10% chance. Wasn't expecting much to come from that. 50%, 70%? I'll take 70s. Uh, Wilter, they're trying to hit you constantly. Can we go this way and throw a net over here? Yeah, we'll try that. We'll try it. I'm not partied enough to forget it. I might get offended if you forget it. <laughs> it's okay. I'm making sure I won't forget. Maddie with the 20% headshot. Let's go. Your wife is good this time, my man. I'm thinking this is the chosen one. This is the wife that'll live long and prosper. Um, the ambusher dies to fire. <laughs> Sucks to be that ambusher. And Murph... Who are we sniping? These guys at the bottom are being a gigantic pain. That was worth it. Yeah, we need to deal with these bottom ones. Uh, Minecraft, can we stop this guy? Nice. The double combo with Maddie. Nice. 38, 32. We get two 38s from Apocalypse. Nice. Not complaining. I'm just sad that he's in a net and we're rolling 38s on him. So that's kind of rough. Oh, we stood in fire. That's fine. Uh, can my name have that crossbow? She's doing too much good things. <laughs> You're doing too much, my man. And uh, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. You gotta have some good things happen in life eventually. Caravan hands are staying nice and safe. That is good to see. Uh, now it's all up to whether this ambusher wants to use footwork and whether these two at the bottom are going to be annoying. Oh, goodness, that hurt a little bit. And he does footwork like I thought. Dang it! Oh, foolish monk, keen for name character as well if third dibs is available. 
Sure, I just have to trust you guys to remind me on that. Um, so I'll have to leave up the dibs and all that. <laughs> I'll do what I can, my man. I'll do what I can. Welcome back, Singularis. Good to see you. Thanks for joining the stream. The fire arrows are just raining. Far low, throwing beautiful damage around. Antonius, this is dangerous, but I need you to stop that ambusher from running away. He breaks out. Dang it! Why the name change? Oh yeah, that's a good question. Um, I think Murph can explain that. <laughs> I'll keep looking after these goblins. Oh, uh, what do we have? Oh, this could be an easy kill. 73, come on. Yay! Raikei! No, I actually maybe don't stand in the fire. I was about to put you in the fire. <laughs> Let's not. Let's not. Uh, Minecraft, I think we're out of... Yeah, we're out of nets. So just hang tight. Maddie could probably go for his wife's third 28%. No way. No way does Maddie's wife hit another 28%. Let's go. Uh, Maddie himself. Game over. Let's go. Let's go. Wilter, throw some sand. Nicely done. Murph, what do we got? We've got a snipe shot. Nice. Nice. What else can we do? Whose turn is it? Stefan's standing in fire. Probably should fix that situation. And Apocalypse... Dang it, that was unfortunate. That's okay, that's okay, we'll get there. Uh, Ober, that kinda sucks. This guy might escape if we're not careful. Uh, what else can we do? Oh, footwork? Oh, you cheeky bugger. Surrounded and he tries footwork. Uh, fire arrows? What do we have? What do we have? What do we have? Barlow, you could accidentally fire one of your own people. Let's risk it. Hey, there we go. That's what I like to see, the good risk. What's up with Wilter's pocket sand? Oh, oh, pocket sand. Uh, pocket sand is an ability that all enemy nomads get, but it's been added to the game recently. I mean, it's not really recently. It's like a few months ago or something. That nomads on your team that you can recruit from southern lands, if I can find wherever he is, God, he's at the end of the list. Of course he's at the end of the list. Um, Pocket Sand is an ability that you can use once per battle. And it reduces enemies' initiative, damage output, and... Um, yeah, it's just initiative and damage output. I thought it was more. But it's very, very annoying and useful. But it just makes me sad that you can only throw sand once a battle, because somehow you only have enough sand to throw one handful. Uh, but it's very, very annoying when enemies use it. It's very crucial to have on your team when you are versing people who have dodge, because you can crunch somebody's initiative low. And also if you're versing somebody really strong, that you don't want him to destroy you in a certain turn that's super crucial. So that's why throwing dirt... It says throw dirt, even though it's pocket sand. I don't know. I don't know. It's a funny name. And I find it to be very, very valuable. And sad that you can only use it once, or once a combat. But hopefully that helps explain it, White Wolf. And uh, maybe it'll help you guys want to find more nomads in your party. Because nomads are just sweet. They're just sweet. Super good stats. And the ability to throw sand once a combat. It really adds up though. If you're spending a lot of guys throwing sand. It can really just knock down a big hedge knight. Without the hedge knight doing very much about it. Oh, he's confused. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a bit of a confusing situation. That's why it was better for Murph to explain it. Um, what else do we have? So see, as you can see here, we can't throw sand again. Because we've already thrown it once a fight. So, uh, sadly, that's how that works. But it's really powerful, so I can understand in a way why it can't be used constantly. Wilter, nicely done with the throw. Beautiful. And Maddie steals the kill. And up top, we've got two on one. This ambusher should go down. I don't see him dodging both of those hits. But I know RNG will happen, and there's a chance that he does. He doesn't! Okay, that is beautiful. We get practically all the kills. Decent XP. 
nobody was really in the biggest danger of dying. I think Singularis might have been a little bit. Um, because they were kind of getting some bad things. Stefan says no tryout for us. Dang it, so we have to take the next quest. Our next tryout has no trying out for the next person we get. Oh boy, we're stacking it up today. That's okay, that's okay. I think we can do it. Um, it just means we have to be a bit more careful with who we choose. So thanks for the redeem, Stefan. And we'll see what we get from that. Um, we're kind of full on the party at the moment, so we can't buy anybody new. But when we get a renown increase, or if somebody dies, please do remind me that we will have to try and get somebody without a tryout. Uh, Wilter, what do we get? Some more health or some more fatigue? 63 is pretty good. And that plus 4 fatigue isn't going to happen often, so I'm going to go for some more fatigue. Turns out better than I thought. Everyone still has the gifted subs. Yeah, yeah, everyone does still have the gifted subs. So I'm very happy to see that everyone's still benefiting from everything. Um, Wilter, what do we get? Momentum I'm not keen on. Skirmisher is good. But it's only really for the first two attacks and the first attack of the combat. So I'm thinking perfect fit's more important. Reduction in how much it costs for fatigue on throwing weapons is just big. Throwing weapons are heavy and getting a recover is very helpful. But if you're using it all the time, it's better just to get the reduction from perfect fit. The reduction from the throwing mastery and I don't think there's any other reductions you can get for throwing. It's just those two. So having both of them is helpful, and I like it. Uh, other than that, there's only one other level, and that is Minecraft. Congratulations, man. It just sucks your defense is horrible. But let's try and stay alive. Um, Do we go for range defense? I don't know anymore. Because we don't need accuracy to throw nets. We could use resolve and range defense, I guess. Just so he doesn't get sniped. Uh, we can't get we can get anticipation. Oh, that could be good. There's nothing else here is gonna help his situation, is it? Uh, none of these perks are good. None of these are really good, are they? No, they're not that amazing. Uh, tier 7s usually have the best perks. But in all honesty, none of these will help his build. So Anticipation's probably big here. Not getting sniped is helpful. Um, remember my quest request for Chloe? Yes, I'm remembering, and no tryouts. 100%, I have that on the back of my mind. The front of my mind, actually. So I'm keen to get those sorted for you. And we just need to repair and reload... Man, we need like 50 throwing nets, so I can't have to keep worrying about them. But that's looking pretty decent. I think Wilter needs a net. We have none of them repaired. Okay, fair enough. Free XP all around. Any level ups from that? Always confuse Last Stand with Rebound. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Last Stand kind of looks a little bit like Rebound, so it kind of makes sense. Um, one is technically better than the other for different situations, and I just love Rebound too much. I'm a sucker for Rebound. Uh, Maddie's fourth wife, I'm thinking perfect fit, but defensively it makes more sense to go Survival Instinct. So I'm going to do that just so she stays alive a little bit more than usual. Oh, nice rolls. And I'm going to have to go for the melee skill there. Not bad, not bad. And congrats on that level. Now, we go into a repairing tent as much as we can. I want you to get more pessimistic, but I guess that doesn't work as I expected. I mean, here's the thing, Clo. When people redeem things, I don't get super pessimistic. Um, I get pessimistic once I see what happens after the redeem. That's the, that's, that's the thing. You gotta wait for my reaction after the thing pops up. Like if I get forced to do a tier 4 quest, then I'll get the reaction. But I'm not going to get the reaction like right now when I can't see any quests. I can't get preemptively upset. That, that's, that's not how that works. <laughs> I've got to get upset in the moment when I see a tier 4 quest being forced down my throat. <laughs> forced onto these poor suckers of a team. That's when I'm like, okay, we're in for it now. <laughs> oh boy, that's how it is going to be. Um, I'm going to just keep training. Why not? We're so close to healing up. 
We'll be fine. Let's get some more XP. And let's not get ambushed. You know what you can deal with? It's a sign of a skill. You're not a puss. Yeah, that, that is true. I know what I can handle for most of the time. Um, did I repair scene layers? Good question. Luckily, I can repair whilst training at the same time. So I was just gaming the system that way. Or when we miss 95s, enemies hit 5s. Yeah, Stefan, exactly. It's when crap goes against us, that's when I'm like, oh. Oh. But I do wish you get the 5 stars. Oh. If they eventually, if the Legends mod team eventually makes a 5 star quest, I'm going to probably cry myself to sleep. That's, that's probably a truth. If a 5 star quest ever gets invented. Because I already hate 4 star quests. And we're going into a stone keep now, so I'm scared of the next quest. Straight to a citadel. Exactly. It's no quests. Okay. Okay, I'm not as scared. We don't have to worry about a scary noble quest. Okay, the, the, the still grab the next quest is still on. That hasn't removed. It just means we don't have to worry about the quest coming from here. Okay, I'm happy to see that. That is a good thing for us. I'm sure not a good thing for you guys, because you wanted to see me struggle with it. And I accidentally sold something. Fair enough. Um, what else am I going to do? Oh, did I sell a net? No, I didn't. I need to buy more nets. Ah, There's no nets. Scripted. Yeah, it's totally scripted. Good time for an old delivery quest? Yeah, that has happened many times before. When people redeem the whole doing the next quest, delivery quest is like right up there. Uh, selling for 16 is not great. I probably should have done that. Let's buy those back. And we'll salvage it whilst we sit in a camp. Uh, Weaponsmith, please tell me you got some famed items. A famed dagger? Yuck. That's... that's bad. Uh, famed armor? Ooh, a skull helmet. That's a lot of money for something we can't afford. That's not too amazing as the Sir Guy's Penance. But the skull helmet's not bad. 8 for 162 is not a bad helmet. That's exactly the chances go in real life, didn't you notice it? <laughs> exactly. Uh, hiring, we can't add anybody, so we can't do the no tryouts thing just yet. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a bit of salvaging whilst we wait. Quickly fix up this inventory size. Um, there's a salvage thing in the tent, but I never like using it. I only ever like doing it this way. I feel like I have more control over how you can fill up your inventory and sort it out. How far till next renowned tier? Good question, Murph. Very good question. 1400 is our next tier. And we've done some quests to get us to 1349. We've built ourselves back. Uh, recruiting new uh, members, says Clo. You're banning recruiting new members whilst having no tryouts. How does How do I do that? <laughs> I, I don't know how I'm going to do that. I mean, you can ban it for the next five minutes or like next until we get like another fight or a quest or something. I'll have to recruit them eventually, so we might have to stop recruiting for a while. But I don't know how I'm going to be, how that works. I'll try and do it in a way that it works for you, man. But we'll have to see. A very interesting request, though. <laughs> We'll have to see how it goes. Uh, what am I doing? I'm salvaging that. I'm salvaging... Oh, I can salvage these. Screw it. They're not worth that much. I can salvage the bucklers. Salvage these pieces of garbage. Uh, repair those, because they're worth a little bit. Salvage those. Salvage those. Um, yes, let's go with severe losses. <laughs> We'll do what we can, man. We'll do what we can. Uh, what else? Is that everything? Oh, there's that one, there's that one, and there's that one. I knew I missed something. Okay, so time to salvage. Wrong button. Nice, nice. And severe losses means basically wiped out in normal circumstances. Yeah, almost. Almost. Every recruit except slaves. I mean, yeah, stop everybody except for recruiting something crappy. I mean, with that ban in-game action, you could probably force me to, to recruit something really crappy instead. As my choice. Um, we did get level ups, so congratulations to Stefan 3.2. Uh, I might 
I want to go for that health roll. Oh, but that melee skill is tempting. But I think we need to keep going health rolls because of how bad our weakened heart is. I think we're just stuck doing health for the rest of our lives. Yeah, we are. Sad time. Uh, well, that would work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair enough, fair enough. Maybe Murph 2.0. Maybe. Uh, what else do we have here? Can we go underdog? Ooh, pattern recognition is so good. I think it's better than the new underdog. So I'm going to grab that. I want to get Phalanx, and I really want to get Underdog, and Pointy End could be good along with Sphere Mastery, but I'm desperately going to be getting better grip next level. Absolutely love Spear Perks. They're way too good. Uh, Apocalypse, congrats on the plus three, the plus four, and the... I'm considering... Oh yeah, that's right, we got back to basics, so I never need to give you melee skill ever again. Sweet. Still getting used to the rewards. Previous one I had option was 10k Killabro one, so... Oh. Yeah, no, that's a very different reward. I would not add that to my group. No, I'm not going to add that, but that's a very different way of doing it. But... I, I feel bad for the person's stream that had 10k kill my bro. Ooh, that sounds bad. But, yeah, I won't, I won't be doing that. <laughs> Okay, so I think we go Brawny here, don't we? Because we're going as a Battleforge tank. We might as well pick it up early, because none of these help us. And none of these really help us either. Sweet! So that means we can just stack armor on Apocalypse right now. If we had some. <laughs> if only we had some armor to stack on him. Uh, 221, what are we looking at? Four is nice! Nice rolls, and look at that health. This is why you get Dervishes. Dervishes don't have the best stats always, but they have the best health of any background in the game. They're a meat tank, and that's what you need. A meat shield for the masses. Uh, and as medium armor, what do we get? Maybe Fortified Mind, but I'm thinking Perfect Fit's a good call. Yeah, let's just grab that early on. That's nice. When it got to 10k, it wasn't that bad. It was much worse when it was less than 2 grand. Oh. Oh, did he have it as scaling? Because when you do the channel reward points, there's an actual option to allow it to scale with how many people are in chat. And it's allowed to scale with how many people are purchasing things at times. So if you have like 100... Um, what is it? Like if you have like 100 people in chat, it's going to up the prices of things. But if you have like 5 people in chat, it's going to be super cheap. So I can see what you mean, Klo. That would be horrible to have the scaling. I don't have scaling on mine at the moment because I don't trust the system. <laughs> I don't trust it just yet. As I'm thinking, oh my goodness, it'd be pretty bad. Right ban using armor for the next fight now. Ha! <laughs> you can't do that one, Murph. Ban taking every quest below tier 3. Okay, I guess that could probably work out with must take the next quest. Um, that's a bit rough, but I'll see what I can do. I'll see what I can do. That that sounds at least workable. I just hope it's a cheap tier 3. Uh, Antonius, what are we looking at? Uh, formidable Approach would be very sweet. Perfect Fit's not needed as much. So I'm leaning... Yeah, I really am. I'm leaning towards Formidable Approach. It's such a good weapon. He was too optimistic at the start. Didn't account for us being a bunch of bags. Oh, yeah, I see what you mean, Klo. Yeah. Are you heading off, Murph? That's alright. Thanks for hanging. I'll see how I can do for your requests, and do the best I can with the purchases. But thanks for hanging out, man. And it's good to see the party actually surviving at the moment, so <laughs> I'm glad you're around to see it. Uh, to discover talent? Nice, Singularis. Let's get those stats. Woo, that looks good. Oh, look at those stats. Beautiful! Absolutely beautiful. Oh, Murph's back on his other account. <laughs> nice. Um, everyone saw what I meant despite the typos. Oh yeah, Chloe, no, no, we know what you meant. See you on Sunday, Earthquake, Murph. Exactly. Oh, I see Murph spent all his points and then swapped to his other account. That makes sense. Uh, iRugs, congrats on the level, even though you're not part of the fight at the moment. Look at that, four and the three. Oh, but I can't do the three. We need health. Okay, okay, we'll have to go 4, 2, and 2, sadly. And then 4, 4, and 4? 
Nice, Rugs. Nice. Uh, as a dodge tank, we're definitely going Phalanx into dodge. I want to go Camp Cook, but... Actually, I should have gone Camp Cook, shouldn't I? Ah, we'll do that next level. Mer 4 and 4. Very nice. And do I go for the health roll? Screw it. Just for the counter snipes. And I'm thinking Killing Frenzy is a good call here. Kind of want the headshot chance. Actually, I want the headshot chance, don't I? Because sniping people in the head is just so worth it. Screw it. We go Iron Sights. Cracker, what do we got? Nice. Eventually switching you to a crossbow. In hopes that you'll survive. We'll have to see. I'm missing what's happening in chat. I apologize. Um, see all the Dominator and future tips. One bring the chaos. Why doth you have the mo mode of slow? Oh, slow mode for chat? It's just to stop when the bots come in and spam and stuff. Um, which does happen sometimes, and it's fine. It's only three seconds, and technically, um, people who are subscribed don't have to worry about the slow mode. It's only like a three second slow mode. It's not a problem. You'll be fine with it, man. You'll be fine. We don't have that much activity on the channel that I need to worry too much. So you guys will be fine. Uh, Crackeringu, what are we getting? We're gonna get maybe Iron Sights? Because you have the unpredictable. That is true. I actually like that idea. Because look at this. Iron Sights into small target? With unpredictable? That's going to be sweet. Let's do it. Uh, bar low, what are we getting? Four and two. Not bad. And a four. I think we've given up the life of a throwing person, haven't we? Yeah, we have. We're just a bowman now. And marksmanship's pretty good. I'm thinking... Uh, what's happening? Uh, White Wolf just gifted a sub to Gu Gigan. Thank you very much for your generosity, White Wolf. I do appreciate it. And congratulations to Gigan for your free sub. Please say a nice thank you um, for White Wolf's generosity. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Uh, show me your ticket, please. Yeah, that's right. The hype train thing. Yeah, that happened last Saturday. That was a crazy event. Absolutely crazy. I think we got, like, permanent, um, permanent emotes for everybody as well. It was pretty sweet. Uh, I'm thinking ballistics for the accuracy. We are doing good accurately. Uh, hip shooter is okay, but you need a lot of, uh, res not a lot of fatigue to do that. But I'm thinking marksmanship is just nice. It's just a good pick. Other than that, maybe Bullseye? Oh! We are missing Bullseye. Let's grab that first. Okay, after that long intermission, I do apologize. We finally got all the level ups. Uh, we do need to quickly... Put one person... Uh, let's steal from this guy. Yay, we stole from him. We can be a little bit evil on sometimes, you know, just a little bit. Uh, we get a bunch of free tools, medicine, and some bread. Our morale decreases, but, you know, we were already a little bit evil to begin with. We got level 5 train with 217%. Yeah, pretty much. Take the next quest for 3 and above, no tryouts. Yep, I do remember. We have our throwing nets all fixed up, which I do need to re-equip onto... What's his name? Antonius? No, Wilter. That's right, Wilter. So you're all sorted. Um, the back line's sorted. Everyone's sorted. Let's go quest hunting. Because we have to do that. Uh, who's going to have a quest for us? I kind of don't want to do the citadels. Where is the big locations? Uh, okay, we'll go up to Waldmark. Aren't you supposed to go offline? I don't like to lose. <laughs> That's alright. It depends on what you guys spend on. That's the only tricky part. Uh, there's a tier 2 quest. Technically, we're not allowed to take it because we're only meant to do a... Only citadels? Okay, fine, man. You're really narrowing what quest we need to be taking, aren't you? Okay, let's see what we can do. Uh, there is a citadel right here, Tanfest. 
And then there's a Citadel down here. I don't know how lucky Citadels get with Tier 3s. I know that big cities have a good chance. But there's only Tier 2s at the moment. So technically, according to what we've been forced to do... Oh, those are beautiful weapons. Very nice weapons. 26% chance to the head. Ooh, I'm jealous. I don't have the money for it. Um, yeah, apparently we'll have to try and find it somewhere else. Uh, closest Citadel is not there. That's a big city. That's another big city. I do like those two big cities. We might have to go to Fernfest. In all honesty, I can only do this forced Citadel thing for only a certain amount of time. If we can't find um, a quest we will have to eventually get something because we're running out of money. Uh, there's nothing here. And an archery contest. Interesting. Very interesting. Just do the big cities. Yeah, I'll try and go for a big city as well. Because it just makes the most sense. Because they give the best quests. And they also give the most quests. So let's wander up north. These guys will probably take care of us. Probably get us like a tier 3 quest or something. As we're bleeding 368 bucks a day, which is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Uh, is a tier 1 now? Sheesh. Alright, let's see what we can do. Luck of the draw. There's a... Okay. Will you allow this one to happen? Or do you need the big city? I I'm assuming this will satisfy your needs. Um, that's a, that's a tier four. And, uh, I think, I think that'll, um, that'll make everyone happy. Oh boy. I mean, that's testing us at the moment. The party needs the cash. And I mean, we're pretty strong. If we have something decent to attack us, we always have Ober with his beautiful swarm of insects. Um, we've got some decent tanking abilities at the front. We've got nets on everybody. We've got two beautiful snipers. <sighs> What's the thought? Greenskins? No, I don't think that's greenskins. Because this is probably a follow the tracks quest. Greenskins are usually nobles. That's what I'm risk. I'm going to put my money on it being a follow the tracks quest. And I'm wrong. It's a brigant quest. A brigant location. Okay, my money is wrong. I would have lost my money. <laughs> That's okay. But that is a 5.5 grand. Uh, who's heading off to bed? Clo? Oh, thanks for hanging though, man. Are you going to lurk? That's not a problem. Um, do you have a good sleep? Maybe I'll fall asleep to my voice. <laughs> you never know. But 5.30 a.m. is pretty rough, man. I'm glad you had a good week and a good way of relaxing. But thanks for hanging out. Do get a good rest though when you can. Um, if we don't catch you tomorrow on stream, do enjoy the rest of your weekend and the rest of your next week, man. It was good seeing you. But sleep sleep's overrated. I mean, sometimes. Sometimes sleep's overrated. Sometimes it's actually really good. But, um, have fun, man. Uh, what do we have? Oh, God! Many marksmen? A plethora of raiders? Oh boy. Oh boy, that is... That's gonna hurt. We need to do this at night. There ain't no way we're doing this during the day. Ready the spins? I mean, the spins are gonna help us, if anything. Sheesh. I don't care much about the monks, the war dog, the farmhand, the minstrels, the miners. They're not... I mean, I don't like miners, but they're not the scary part. The scary part is the marksmen, because they hit fire arrows a lot. And raiders, because we're going to get swarmed. Shivers. Okay, so, what do we do? Uh, we put someone on scouting. And we put everybody on making more medicine, because we're going to take a lot of injuries this fight. And we'll keep someone on crafting just because I don't want to forget it. Um, Chloe made trouble right away. I mean, Chloe was having fun. You guys are all having fun. That's the point. 
definitely enjoying really oh i have an idea i have a dastardly idea except it's going to be during daytime shivers i'm sure some of you are thinking what i'm thinking we're in the forest can we do this can we do this Can we do this? Are you running away from us? What? No! You jerks! I wanted to drag them into the location! Oh! No, prepare for the evil laughter. I wish... I wish I could do my evil laughter. I didn't get to drag them into the location! Oh! Run away, I'm still watching actively, says Chloe. <laughs> He's still here. Just busy lurking. That's perfectly fine. But I guess we just have to bite the bullet. Sheesh. This is going to be rough. Um, that whole no tryouts might come a lot sooner than expected because we might lose someone today. That is 30 enemies. Oh no, and the... The serpent double tongue gets everybody wavering? What? Who's responsible for this? Epo, what are you doing? You double-tongued everybody. Epo! <laughs> How could you? How could you on such a crucial fight? Oh dear. Also, we have Alps, so maybe at nighttime we could do some fun stuff. Stop making snows hard. Oh dear. Okay, we gotta try our best. We've got to try and get them to come towards us. We do only have two ranged, so they're probably not going to give a crap about rushing us. Maybe we can take advantage of this high ground. Oh, we've got to somehow fix our unhappiness. Sheesh. Hey, Mactabilis, welcome to the stream, man. Uh, you came at a good time. We're in a very, very hard four-star quest, so... Lots of interesting things to see happening. And hopefully we can get out of this one alive. Uh, Murph, my man, what do we have? Horrible vision. Mm-hmm. Uh, Raikei, what do we have? Can we jump? Hmm. I'm thinking here, if we put the rest of our guys here, have Singularis there, that could be good. That could be good. Yeah, Snow thought that he could take a tier 4 quest. I didn't have a choice, but yes. Oh, okay. Interesting. Very interesting. Uh, Epo, let's put you... Wait, are you better than 221? At the moment in defense. 39. 221 is sitting on 35. Probably a little bit better. Stefan, what are you sitting on? 40. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Okay, so we put Epo here. We then put 221 here. Uh, Maddie, I don't want you on the high ground, even though that could be good. I want Singularis sitting on that high ground. Um, what's the questions? Nothing fancy, just many marksmen and raiders. I mean, it still is pretty fancy. Oh, when you think about it. Oh, that's scary. Uh, what more can we ask for to get out of this alive? Spoiler, no one does. <laughs> yep. Just got home from work. How's the stream so far been? It's been a little bit struggly, but we've done well enough. Well enough to the point that the party is building up slowly and decently. And I kind of don't want it to crash and burn just yet. As we're getting to that sweet spot where we're on the, on the fence where we could be getting super strong or we could fall down a bit. Struggly, that's a new word. I mean, I make up new words all the time, so it's not, not super new for us. Ooh, the fire arrow gets hit with Barlow. Nice. That's a good start. If we had more difficult fights, this is fine. Um, The first fight of the stream was a little bit tough, but we did get through that a little bit easier than I expected. 14%? I'm gonna break his shield instead, Wilter. 
Here's the coolest thing in the world. This is the coolest thing. You can have absolutely zero, absolutely zero accuracy in ranged weapons for the rest of your life. It doesn't matter what you do. But if you're using a throwing spear against a shield, it is always 100% chance to hit. Always. Doesn't even matter. So, yeah. That happens. Because we don't even care. Um, Stefan is doing a roll. Uh, Murph says, does it say CD? Is the wheel off? Uh, the wheel usually has a cooldown. About five minutes, as far as I remember. Um, something like that. Uh, net the guy so the fire stays burned. Right, okay, good idea. Definitely good idea. Um, we'll try and do that. I don't know if Minecraft can reach, but hopefully he's the one that can. Uh, also, Stefan, I think, is the one doing the spin, yes, and he wants a Kraken, so... Let's see if he gets the luck. What is Stefan's luck today? It is a Militia Soldier and Mercenary, which will most likely be against these guys and now be a three-way fight. Um, I'm considering putting him up top, and he'll probably charge the marksman. Putting him down the bottom probably won't do much. So, Militia Soldier Mercenary is a veteran. Well then, that definitely changes things. What's the script for today? Hedge Knight incoming says, Raike, you were close. You were so close at guessing it. That is is basically a baby hedge knight who has lone wolf and is oh that that marksman's not gonna have a good day i just want them to be on the different sides they better not be on the same side if they're on the same side we're dead they better be on a different faction oh boy we'll have to wait and see next round Uh, are you doing anything else, buddy? No, you're just gonna sit there, Marksman. Fair enough. Uh, Antonius... One, two, three, four. That's super scary. Uh, let's just sit here. And hopefully not get sniped. Um, the raider went towards the Zweihander. This one didn't. I am a little bit afraid. Also, this guy just stood in the fire on his own. Fair enough. Oh, they're trying to defend their archers, that's why. They're not going to rush us immediately. So he's just going to sit and fire forever, so that's happy. Uh, Murph, what are we doing? We're trying to move forward, get a snipe, 57%, and he misses. Tough times. Uh, Ober, can we go forward and put bees on somebody? No, we can't reach. Dang it. Can we rust somebody? We can't reach. Dang it! He just wants to warm up. <laughs> it's his warm-up routine. I like it. Uh, Minecraft, can we go here and throw a net on this guy so he stays in the fire? Nice. Cracker, what do we got? We'll just stay there for the moment. And then, Maddie, let's go into this situation. I like it. Now, the only concern I have is, yes, they're not advancing. We might need to put Raike in a small point of danger to try and force them to aggressively attack us. Because if they're not crashing our lines, we're crashing their lines, and I don't like that. That's a double 27. The Zweihander's against them! Yes! Yes, that's what I like to see. I don't know what happened to this guy's weapon, though. Did it just break? Or has it just gone invisible? Because he's spearwalling. Or is it pointing... Oh, it's pointing to the floor. His, his weapon's, like, invisible at the moment. Fair enough. But the Zweihander is on... On the... Technically on, on our side, if we want to put it that way. He's not really on our side, but he's on our side. Okay, so they have a Minstrel, which is going to be a little bit annoying, but it's fine. Uh, Ober gets hit by a 54. Sheesh. Uh, do I know how close to the end of my YouTube campaigns are? Oh, good question. Uh, some of them are getting close to the end, some of them still have a little ways to go. Uh, I do believe the PTR Park Rangers one's coming to a close. 
um, over the next handful of episodes. Uh, what else is the other ones that I've got? The Crusader one, I'm not entirely sure. Like, we're having fun with the late game stuff. I'm thinking it's going to end in a little bit. But it just depends on what fights we get. Oh my goodness, Ober, they hate you. And the Sand Slavers, I think, has a little ways to go, um, unfortunately. Or fortunately, if you see it that way. Because I still want to do a bunch of stuff with it. Uh, right, Kate, I'm going to wait. And hopefully... Bait them into charging our front ranks. Please charge us. Please be stupid. Let us get some kills. That's all I'm asking for. He breaks free, charges us. That's what I like to see. Now I can get Raikei back here. Because I don't want Raikei sitting out there forever. Uh, Minecraft. I think it's your job to get this guy in a net again. Because he's a bit scary. Yeah, that's funny. His weapon's pointing into the grass. And it's invisible. <laughs> that's hilarious. Nice. One last net to save us there. Stefan, let's wait. I had a ranger spawn with night vision today, as far as I'm concerned, the trait. Oh, yeah, 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 night vision trait's useful. There's also a spell for night vision that um, shamans get and rangers get sometimes. That you can cast the spell and everybody around the ranger can get night vision for four turns, I think it is. According to my memory. So yeah, it's pretty good. Maybe the crusader one day will die fighting ghosts. I mean, if we get multiple legendary ghosts against him, I'm just going to let him die because... Ghosts are just the pain and suffering of my existence. I just hate them so much. 9%, 5%, nothing percent. Fair enough. Uh-huh. Uh, let's put some beads on there, why not? Uh, right, okay, let's go back to safety. Um, stab a dog. Nice. Uh, clip that proof for script later. <laughs> proof for the script, yep. Totally. We'll definitely have to see how the script goes eventually. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna probably spearwall with Maddie's fourth wife just to see what happens. Maddie with the beautiful kill! Woo! Could steal the dog, White Wolf? Good idea. Might be able to get Singularis to steal it. Um, more importantly, I am trying to just get the kills on the board. Maddie is the MVP. Yeah, he is 100% carrying us today. Technically, Murph and uh, Barlow have been doing a really good job as well. But Maddie's just been dominating with some nice, beautiful pokes. Beautiful poke checks, as they like to say. Especially with a minus, with 200 resolve means nothing. Oh. Yep, we proved it. We proved it with our last episode that 200 resolve means literally nothing in this game. It's just scripted to be against us. I gotta get better on scripting the game towards our favor. That's what I have to work on, but <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna happen anytime soon. The Zweihander just cleaves! Holy crap! He drew half the enemies, Stefan, and he just killed them all! Ooh. Holy crap. Do you add a second layer that really fits well with the chain hood like the one I use? The, the chin? Oh, this chin's alright. I don't normally use the chin one unless it's on a nimble person. Uh, I guess this one's pretty decent, 2 for 35, but you can get some better ones for heavy armor. Getting morale checked with 200 is annoying. I mean, it just tell me about it, man. It is disgusting. Um, we're getting flanked a little bit. Can I counter snipe with Barlow, please? Oh, makes me sad. I should have walked one space forward. Can't see way to see how our guys get cleaved, Stefan. Oh, please no. I'm so scared of this Zweihander. We do have bees and birds for him. That's that's gonna be king. But I mean, I'm gonna let him do a little bit of killing before he jumps to our ranks. Because what does he have? Does he have unstoppable? No, he doesn't, thank god. He's got Lone Wolf, Killing Frenzy, Vigilant, which isn't that amazing. Um, but he doesn't have Unstoppable, so I'm very happy to see that. 
Not just the birds, the bees, but the sand. I know we've got the sand too, but here's the bad part. You need to be in melee to throw the sand, and I'm not putting Wilter in melee to throw sand at that guy. No way. I wish we could range sand, like catapult sand in like a sling. If they'd invent a sling sand, I'd be on that in a heartbeat. 29% steal the dog, Singularis. Are you in the mood to steal dogs? Unfortunately not. Feels bad. We need sand. We need more sand. More sand, the better. Uh, Murph, can we go here? And counter snipe. No, we can't. Well, we tried. And I put you in a dangerous position. My apologies. Uh, let's try and put Maddie out here, maybe, then. 220, let's take the flank. Uh, Cracker. Cracker, you stay up top. Uh, all of those turns are done, so we just organize ourselves the way we want. The skill is called Throw Dirt. Yeah, it's, it's called Throw Dirt, and it's called Pocket Sand, which is hilarious. Birds and bees, I know what that is. <laughs> Preacher Man. <laughs> well, technically... I, I, I call it something different, but yeah, yeah, yeah. The birds and the bees is just the swarm of insects. I'm too lazy to say swarm of insects, so I just call it the bees. Just send them the bees. Um, it's too good, though. Obviously misspelt the skill. Yeah, I, th that's the thing. That's the weird thing. If you look at it, uh, here's Wilter. It's throw dirt, and he gets the debuff. Oh, he doesn't have it on him at the moment. But when he gets the debuff, it's called pocket sand. And it's like... Which one is it? Dirt or sand? So I think I always call it sand, because it makes most more sense that it's sand instead of dirt. But yeah, anyways. Let's jump there. Epo. We'll have the three defensemen here. 61 for Maddie. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Minecraft, I don't think we should waste your net just yet. This guy's probably going down very soon. Very, very soon. So I'm not worried about him. Oh, he's so close. Um, do we do a rust? No, that's a bad idea. We can do a bees? Uh, we could do a bees on the Zweihander. Maybe get him beaten up? Yeah, let's be a jerk to the Zweihander. He probably has, um, resilient. Does he? Oh! <gasps> Let's go! He doesn't have Resilient! I don't see it there. That's big! Because that means... The sand is only going to last one turn. But the bees are going to last like three turns. Not the bees. Exactly, Mactabilis. We are bees and we're scary. I like going to the Alchemist and blow magic sand in the face of my enemies. <laughs> That's one way of doing it. But let's get this Zweihander beaten up a little bit. He's a bit too strong, so let's knock him down a notch. Handful of honey. Yeah, handful of honey would work. Uh, the, the raider splits and hits Maddie. Oh, that hurts. Singularis is dodging the dog. Yeah, they're barreling down mid. I was worried about that. Um, they're missing on 35s to hit him? Okay, fair enough. We need to ban the bees, guys. Hey, you can't be mean to Over. He's doing his best. Bring up the bears to lick him. Oh, yeah, if we had the bears from our other scene, from our other um, playthrough, that would be hilarious. Uh, covering ally on the dog? No, just on the guy. Nicholas caged him. <laughs> it feels like that. It definitely does. Okay, how do we deal with this mid situation and not get wrecked by this Vihander? Uh, we've got a lot of work to do, and I think Ober has to let Epo maybe go here? That's tricky. And put a net on top of that guy, and then I think we've mainly got it contained. So... we wait? That's fine. Murph could take this Vihander 1v1, I mean... You've been trying to take a lot of things 1v1, my man, and I, I don't really think they've been working to plan. I mean, maybe to your plan, but, you know. Uh, Barlow, let's take this risky shot. And he gets it? Let's go! 
That farmhand's probably not going to move from that situation, so that's some free damage. Uh, Singularis... I'm going to have to kill this dog, so let's go for a split. Nice! You missed the dog, but you hit the guy. Ban all attacks except for the melee for Zweihander. <laughs> that would be scary. Um, can I go closer with Cracker? No, I think it's Minecraft's job. Minecraft's job. Uh, we wait patiently. We move Epo down here. Nice. Good hit, my man. Good hit. Murph. 47 hit the Zweihander. 57 for the Raider. Uh, let's go for the Zvi. Stagger, let's go. And he missed the second one, that's okay. Net on the annoying guy. And we're out of nets. Okay, Minecraft, take a back seat for the bit. But I have a plan. Don't know if it'll work as effectively as I think it will. Um, let's put bees on this guy so he doesn't break out. Still going with this fight? Yeah, I know. It's it's a long one, and I'm a bit worried about it. Tier 4 fights are tricky. Uh, can I get this dog out of the way? Yes! Raike fixed his unhappiness. Started this half an hour ago? I probably did. I probably did start this fight half an hour ago. I'm being cautious. We have to be careful. If we make a wrong move, it's our death. I have killed four. That's a fifth one, I think. One, two, three, four... Actually, wait. The Zweihander killed, like, three, so it kind of counts. Kind of. Um, Stefan, can we... That might be a good plan. Hey, the white flags! Let's go, Stefan! Let's go! That's beautiful. Uh, Wilter, that's too dangerous. Let's go down here. Actually, I have an idea. I have a really cool idea. Oh, no, it's not a cool idea if Wilter's doing it, though. But dropping um, nets on the ground. Cracker should do it, actually. So let's get Wilter over here. Uh, Cracker, can we please drop some of your nets? At least one of your nets. And then we'll walk over here. Which will allow Minecraft to walk over and pick it up. So this is the strategy if you have one person in your party that needs a bunch of consumables or a bunch of ammunition. You can just drop it on the ground and allow your other person to pick it up. So that's how we can keep supplying Minecraft with more and more nets. Easy checks, chain of plans, ban everything except for 1v1 Zweihander and Melee. <laughs> more Pokemon. I want more Pokemon. Um, at the moment in this fight it might be too risky to try and unleash our Pokemon, but we'll have to see how we go. Raikei is actually struggling on 36%. <gasps> no, I didn't want that to happen. You... Oh, I was worried. If you can finish this fight with no deaths, I'll give five subs. Oh, boy. That is... That's a challenge. Um, I'll accept that challenge. I don't know if I can win that challenge. <laughs> but I have some motivation. Save me, Raikei. Why are you getting hit on 13s and 15s? Right, K, you poor thing. The pressure. Now you're adding more pressure. Yeah, that's true. Maddie's getting decimated. No. No. Right, no one ban anything. No spins. You're not trying to help the fight. Um, Antonius, let's jump up here. And I think we unleash the Alp, right? We've got to do it now. We need all the help we can get. The sleep, the sleep comes through. Let's go. Oh, the stupid monk wakes him up. Oh, far out. Uh, 33%. Can we put a net on some of these guys down here? That would be helpful. Nice! Singularis could get a beautiful split here. Raikei just got two 21s on him. Does Raikei now know that we're going to get gifted subs if he doesn't die? Raikei, what are you doing? No! Oh, where do we go from here? We need more fire. Let's go for this guy. And we miss. 
Double 69s by Epo. Nicely done. Uh, Ober, what do we have? 41s, 56s. I don't like either of those. So we just Bs, right? Yeah? Uh, what do you mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The spins. And all the spendings. Uh, can we get... Crossbow, crossbow. What do we do? Can we snipe this guy? 60% snipe. Murph gets the hit. Cracker, what do we do? Are we out of turns? Maddie has a go still. Cracker, that was very dangerous and it didn't work. Little bit worried about that. And by little bit, I mean a lot worried. Uh, Minecraft, pick this up, please. And can we throw a net on someone? Oh, we can't throw it as no actions. We need to help down here. Raikei's really struggling. Save point, what even is that? <laughs> no one saves points on this channel. Singularis, please. That's a good headshot. Does it get Raikei confident? No. That's unfortunate. Zweihander is still dominating on 40%. Okay, have it your way. Stefan... Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take it. Have to save to 5k so he can become a bard. Yeah, that could work. Zweihander is cleaning up. Maddie, can we please... Yes, Maddie! Wonderful play! And the Alp practically gets him down as well. <sighs> Saving my points looks from the fact that I'm now new and don't have any points yet. Oh, yeah, yeah, whoops. You'll get them, you'll get them. They, they definitely stack up pretty quickly if you keep coming back to streams and stuff, clicking on those chests. The points really do add up. Um, 221, you haven't done much, you're just guarding the flank. And I really appreciate the effort. I just can't get you back into this fight. Raikei, the 30%. Please start dodging. Thank you. Okay, 221, you've got a friend. What was that? The raider rallied in front of our face. What? What the hell? What is this? Did he literally rally in front of our face? I hate how broken that is. Is this group French? I mean, at the moment we're French, my freaking goodness. And Raikei gets hit on a 23 again. No gifts crush him. Oh my freaking goodness. What the hell is this? Instant crumble. Oh god. Can we do anything about this? No, I know what happened. He didn't rally in front of our face, he got rotated. Ass freaking... Mm. No, and domed indeed, Singularis. Are you enjoying what you've done, Clo? Well, Murph, it was kind of your fault as well. <laughs> you can't just off it on Clo. Raikei, this is really unfortunate. But you did get a good hit in. Minecraft, um, this guy needs to die. Can we get some sort of kills along the way? Shivers. Uh, Murph, can we do anything? We need 24 fatigue. 74 plus 24 is 98. Oh, we can do it. Okay. Um, can we go for a snipe kill? We technically need the 56, but that's too low. 
That's too low. 77 for a one turn. That gets the Alps confident, but it doesn't fix anybody else? Why? Why? Maddie's dead. How did he have an 84% chance to hit him in a net? Son of a... Yep, no subs. No subs. It was worth a try, though. Jeez. Wilter rallies, but is it too little too late? I'm hoping not. He gets a kill, that's helpful. But, my goodness. It's all this single raider. This single raider screwed everything up. And the fact that we couldn't get the other one killed in time... Fudge. Uh, Antonius, you need to be on the front line right there. It's the only thing that can help. Uh, 220. Can we go here and shield bash this guy? Nice. Uh, Singularis, I'm not liking the situation at hand. Can we go here? And we have no fatigue. Fudge. We really need Ober to rally in this. And Raikei's just getting decimated. Look at that, there's more 36%, 40%. Raikei's turned into a pincushion even though he's been an awesome tank this entire time. Oh, it's just all crumbling. It's crumbling apart. And in all honesty, we had this fight. We totally had it. We were so close to getting through this. The farmhand... With the baby pitchfork. Strikes down Cracker Ringu again. See you in the Cripple Club. Yeah, Cripple Club is definitely getting larger. The Zweihander better clean this up. He's starting to flee? Alps, what are you doing? Either keep him asleep or just kill him. Raike, it's it's out. It's done. You kid, you're taking every hit. Oh, it's so bad. He's gonna die to the bleeds. Unless he has nine lives. Wait a minute. Am I singing the song too early? Nope, I'm not singing it too early. There's no nine lives on you, Raikate. It was nice knowing you, man. Sand costs for free? Oh dear. So many enemies still alive. I do agree. Um, it is rather painful. I want this 52 gone. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Alps, can you kill him or something? Welcome to the slaughterhouse, guys. Yep, welcome to Saturday streams where we just suffer. Reike, does he bleed out? He struck down! Okay, Raikei's not get down out for the count. Singularis misses a 32. That's understandable. Uh, the Zweihander is still ditching. Can we just rush the front lines, please? Stefan, what are we doing? Missing. Come on, brain damage. I'm hoping for brain damage. That also means... Oh, God! 66s are nothing, and they hit 30s every single time. This is scripted in the wrong way possible. And everyone's just ditching. Why do Alps wake people up when they hit them? Enemy Alps never do that to me. Oh, they actually do. Whenever you take any point of damage, you wake up. Um, if you're put to sleep, you don't wake up unless you're resilient. Is that a crash I hear? I mean, it's sounding like one. Really? 
The Raider goes after our back line, and the Zweihander gets away? Well, you know the rules. If something spawns in and it gets away and escapes, you get a free undead. So, um, gonna look up quick crash sound on YouTube. <laughs> okay, now he's staying asleep forever. Um, Singularis dodges a 65. Undead from their back ranks? Yeah, I'm putting an undead back here. Totally. That Zweihander should have done more. Totally should have done more. Okay, so undead coming in. Uh, I'm gonna put it, like, right here. That looks a little bit better. Okay, you have your fun, bud. 48% hit a sleeping man. Let's dunk on somebody who isn't sleeping. And then we get bashed in the face, thank you. Perma sleep, I like the looks of it. I don't like the monks and the confidence. I don't like the 20%. Calls the power of the gods, power shortage coming up. <laughs> I mean, we ran out of power earlier today, I just really hope it doesn't happen at my new place. Oh, 221! Beautifully done, my man. Beautifully done, we needed that. Epo on the 70. Come on, Epo. He's on 3 health. I mean, you did a very good job. You gave him a cut arm sinew. But how the hell does he survive on 3 freaking health? And this miner loses his confidence. I'm happy. Uh, Murph. That's a good close combat hit. I mean, I'll take it. We do need to bring Bones out, eventually. Can you guys put your butts together and stop running away? How did he kill someone with a spear and get a decapitation? Um... You ask very good questions, Stefan. I have no idea. Maybe... Oh, here's the thing. Um, I know I've been in talking with the PTR mods, and they said that I've requested, though, that we get, uh, what is it? Uh, how do you call it? Fatalities for piercing weapons. And maybe they got it added in, or maybe it just always was like that and I never knew it. The freaking crossbow shot on 48%. And that's another fleeing person on our team. Oh god, there's just more death and destruction. It's it, that's it. Have we lost everybody? What happened to the wolf? Uh, oh, you mean the wolf from like two weeks ago? Yeah, we lost it. Epo finally gets the super important kill, but I can't believe that guy just did so much destruction. For the entire party. Someone has to run to save the run. Uh, I mean... I can't believe there's still 18 enemies. Shivers. I mean, thanks for the rally, Barlow. Took a while, but... Same with Maddie's wife, my goodness. I don't know if we can win this. I think Sauron might be right. The double-tongued roll at the start hurt. Yeah, it did. We do need to drag out Raike's body, so I, I don't want to flee. We need Raike to survive. Oh god, that's horrible! Oh, <laughs> the fallen hero's there, but they don't give a crap about him, which is really annoying. The Alp wakes up the wrong freaking enemy. I hate trusting Alps for my sleeping techniques. Restart the fight. I mean, in all honesty, we could. I just don't really want to save scum it too much. Any more pocket monsters? Unfortunately, we do, but I think it's from a sleeping person, or a running away person, I mean. Because we had uh, our Warlock's one, but he was fleeing the entire time, so he popped out. So there's technically five Alps in the party, but they're from the fleeing guys. 
Singularis is getting wrecked. Uh, unleash. So Barlow finally gets to unleash one. And he dodges the freaking sleep. <sighs> Way too rough. We technically have the dog. I probably should have brought the dog out, but... I love the AI, how dumb they are when they run away. It makes no sense. One health Singularis can't even attack. Oh, it's painful. The raider's chasing down Sleepy Boy. Can we even do anything in this fight? The Zviander comes back? What? I guess he thinks he has a chance now. Okay, maybe this isn't over? Maybe it's not over. I vote for a game crash. <laughs> yeah, we might have to do that. Because we got really short-changed. That one crucial turning point in the fight just changed everything. Um, in all honesty, I don't think we still would have done this without the, um, whatchamacallit. The, uh, Zweihander. If we didn't have the Zweihander, um, yeah, it would have been a lot harder to deal with. Second, the second the game crash? Yeah. It's looking like we need it. We'll get a save scum every now and again, like, well, once... Once a campaign or something. We haven't done one this campaign, so I guess it's fair. Yeah, fair enough. It's it's too much. It's too much. But I appreciate you guys and the kindness of us trying to start again. I, Raike should have totally hold out better. Like, did you see those 30s and 20s? Every single one. Welcome to the ad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome to the crash. White Wolf wants to spin again. Nice. I will refund your spins in the sense that um, for the next fight we'll do the spins again. Because we want to try and get that Zweihander back, if possible. But White Wolf's not a devil. We've got a chance of getting more bonuses in this fight. We, we need something to help us. <laughs> Raike did the best he could. I know, you had no backup. Singularis was helping. But it was a tough fight, I will admit. Um, the... What? The, the double tongue just keeps staying in? Okay, I'm gonna do this for science. I'm gonna try- oh, he wants the party spin? Oh, White Wolf, thank you for the party spin. That's a good idea. I'll do that. Um, I was meant to fix the party spin and give a... Uh, famed item. I was meant to change the party spin. Yeah, we do need it. We do need it. I do appreciate it. Um, you do have to tell me which person you're spinning for, though, because it comes to level ups and stuff like that and stats. So, you gotta let me know which character you're spinning for. Finally a party spin that somebody wanted. Yeah, yeah, I know, everyone uses the party spins for combat. Um, normally. I'm gonna quickly just camp for a few seconds. And see if that changes anything with this start. Uh, you want Raike to get the spin. Oh, very nice. Maybe he needs an extra bit of stats. Okay, for Raikei's spin, what are we going to get? On the party roll? I haven't done this in a little while. He gets a heal a bro to full and give max happiness. Very nice. So that most likely means he's going to start confident. Unfortunately, we didn't get any cool things like free stats. But, oh Josh, no, you don't have to gift. We got wrecked. We're starting it again. Don't panic, it's okay. It's just, oh, that was rough. One crucial turning point just switched the game. It was painful. Um, so the free heal comes with, um, yes he does, gift, gift. <laughs> you can just push it. Uh, the free heal is vitality. There we are, V for vitality. So that means Raike instantly gets maxed out 
euphoric. Um, if he had any injuries, he'd be fixed. And he is very, very good chance of being confident in that next fight. Very, very important um, for this fight, I believe. So let's have a go. Let's see if my commands are still on. They're not. That's good. Let's jump into this. Is it possible to remove permanent with dev? Um, that's a good question. I think so. The vitality might remove permanence as well. I do have to test it out. Uh, da, 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 da. Removing traits. Giving positive traits. Yeah, I think it actually does remove the permanent. I will have to test it out. But, yeah. Good add-on for party spin, making it more usable. It is good to have. Um, I still need to tweak it to see that the party spinner is a little bit more fair. But, yeah, we'll see how we go with it. Uh, to start us off, though, we do have our spins. So, White Wolf, congratulations on uh, your spin for the party. But we still have to do the... Where's the other spin that we got? Uh, Stefan did his spin. That was the one. Okay, so we'll spin again, because we did restart the fight. So we'll see what Stefan gets. This time. And it's an undead. Okay, it's not going to flee this time, which is good. A combat Kraken. I mean... Kraken would definitely change this fight. I'll put the undead on a nice high point. It is a armored weirdoganger, because it has 162 health. If it was a basic baby zombie, it would be 125 health. That's how you can tell the difference. Um, so, I mean, he's going to do something for us. He's a little bit less than the Zweihander, so I'm a little worried for that reasoning. We nailed the dog? <laughs> we only get crafted when we gift a lot of subs. Scripted as if. <laughs> I mean, it happened one time, and it was just beautiful. They're all trying to shoot the zombie? I love this. Uh, sadly, we don't have a good high ground like last time. Catch the dog? If he jumps for us, I'm gonna catch it. But I, he might just stand in the fire and kill himself. Because we haven't engaged them in melee. So, there's that to it as well. Release Alps from the start. Don't know much about their combat movesets. Uh, the Alps are pretty easy to kill, so I'm kind of worried about releasing them from the start. As soon as they get hit, they teleport across the map, including all of them. So, I mean, if they all teleport behind them and get wrecked, I'm a little worried to do it. Uh, second spin says Smurf. Did I forget a, a spin? No, I think um, S White Wolf's was for the party. Yeah, it was a party spin. That's okay. I was thinking about that too and it kind of confused me because I'm not used to doing party spins. But that's okay. Um, Murph, what are we doing with this? Hiding behind the bush. Getting a 53. Unfortunate. I'm not heartless. I know, I know. It was very nice of you. Hands are just itching to use my snowballs. I know, everyone loves using them. And with good reasoning. Definitely good reasoning. Do I sacrifice the dog? I'm considering sacrificing the dog to start combat, but then I'm also considering not. I think it's worth it. That dog's not that great. Um, Epo can sit here. Might go for the zombie. Yeah, it's possible. But as long as I force the, zomb the dog next to go here, that'd be helpful. I want the zombie to go here, but he might go for our ranks. That's the only thing I'm worried about. The ad's starting anytime now, just to warn you guys. Uh, Minecraft, what do we got? <coughs> we'll sit here. Uh, 221. I want Stefan to sit next to Raike to take care of him. Maybe 221 sits here. Depends on the day. Uh, whenever Ober joins stream, he has to be the one that brings the unfortunate. Uh, yeah, it depends on when he does join in. He does well, though. He, he, did, he got the o Warlock, so I mean, he's got good fortune coming with him. Maybe um, Ober is the one that does bring the fortune. 
So maybe when he comes back to stream, we'll be set. We can only hope. Okay, so the front line's looking pretty decent. The dog doesn't get burnt. Nice, because we engaged. So Raikei does have a decent amount of stamina. Maybe we can steal the dog with Raikei, even though I kind of don't want. Good thing he didn't get a, uh, indebted in a cultist. Yeah, yeah, good thing. Uh, Wilter, I want to break someone's shield. But I can't do that right away, so we'll have to wait. Crossbows, I don't like you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Antonius, just stay... <sighs> just stay where you are. I'm sure that zombie's gonna go for us, which annoys me, but there's not much I can do about it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's get Cracker up here as well. Care talking about cultists in my present stab cool watches and listens to all. <laughs> Yeah, cultists are cool and all. And we're keen for next season, hopefully, to do cultists as well. Uh, on the YouTube channel. But we'll have to be patient. I don't want to get the hype up too much. But we've had some good chats about it. Um, Doggy, Davkul's an angel. Aww. <laughs> Maddie, why are we getting shot in the shoulder? What the hell are these crossbows doing to us? Oh, this game hates us so much. I know it's a tier 4 quest, but still. How do they have so much accuracy? I think maybe the net over here is a good play. It's not the best play, but it's a good play. Uh, can we get this shot? Nice! Murph with the headshot! Okay, that could help. Maddie, maybe this could help. Thank you, Maddie. I think that could help indeed. Let's go for another spin. Let's see what interesting things can happen on top of the crossbows that are constantly hitting us. And ignoring that zombie. Uh, when it gets back to our turn, we'll have to... Oh my god! 49%. This better be a good spin. We need something good. Oh, that almost landed on champion. That almost landed on champion. But it still could be big. Spawn it near the archers? Yeah, I could. I could definitely try and spawn it back here. Uh... Yeah, we'll spawn it way back there. I mean... I guess... I guess he's back for round two, isn't he? Uh, this is scripted. This has to be scripted. There's no way we roll a Zweihander two times in a row. There's like over 20, 30, 40 guys on that list. And a second Zvi just pops right out. Damn. I'm not complaining, but that's sweet. I'm complaining about these darn crossbows. Please kill them. Nani. Oh god, over. These crossbows haven't missed, like, in all honesty. Stop not missing. Like, just miss once in a while. Epo, let's go for a headshot. No, okay. It's not scripted, it's by the blessing of Dav Cool. Yeah, it could be. We'll live with that idea. Sunday is, forgot the preacher died. Oh, yeah, yeah, Sunday's different. Yeah. How do we deal with this? How do we deal with this? 220, I'm worried about this situation. 
but let's hope it works. Uh, right, Kate, can we steal the dog? We tried. We tried, man. Unfortunate situations. Minecraft, nicely done. Uh, can we throw another one? Nicely done. Just hope that Stefan gets maimed. Thanks. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, Stefan should be okay for the moment. Is it crazy to try and have all dagger nimble bros? Yes. Yes, 100% crazy. There ain't no way that's not crazy, my man. Oh, the zombie goes for us. Of course he does. Oh, I thought he'd rush us. What a jerk. Uh, we need to go forward. We need to assist with this. Dang it. Headshot would have done better. Uh, split from Singularis. Misses a 69 and a 57. And Ober is looking like shite. Oh my goodness. Not keen on these marksmen in the slightest. Uh, I'll go into my game, respec, and learn my bro learn my bros then. <laughs> That's okay, man. Like, everyone plays differently. But in all honesty, if you're going daggers on every bro, I, I wouldn't really recommend it. Um, it's not a super great way to go. Uh, mainly due to the fact that daggers just don't do that much damage. I mean, it's cool and all. It's fun. But it's tough to try and make daggers good. It takes a lot of effort. Wow, our dog just got reft, wrecked on, what is it, 67s? Sheesh. Antonius, you have a job to do. Uh, Zweihander's having fun. Keep dealing with those uh, annoying marksmen, please. F for Brick, yeah, Brick's getting wrecked. And our flank's getting wrecked? Oh, crap. Good for armor steel, bad for damage, except for the, uh, the Katal dagger. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good for armor steel at the end of the fight, but during a fight? Yeah, don't, don't try and use daggers too much. What is this? Finally, the first range attack misses. The second range attack misses. Wilter's almost dead. Holy crap. Time to counter- I wish we could counter snipe. We can't even hit the side of a bus. 44% for Barlow. And we don't get that accuracy. Where's our accuracy? Where's our 40% luck? Sheesh. We are getting shortchanged indeed. Epo, I think you have better defense than Maddie's wife. Do you? 48. Maddie's wife has 37. Yeah, okay. So, Epo, you deal with this top flank where possible. Uh, Magic Brothers is what Sunday is, I remember now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got all the cool Magic Bros. Now, this ad is presented by... <laughs> The letter E for we're running on empty. Yes! We get a counter snipe finally. Waste his time trying to break free. Uh, birds and the bees. Let's go over. Nicely done. NGGH's magic mod is beautiful. He's on seven health, really? Split from Singularis, please hit this. I'm... I'm almost done with this game. Just... I don't know why! Why can't we hit anything? Everyone gets Elemental Storm. I, I wish. I wish we could bring the Elemental Storm. To this fight. We kill a dog, we're still not confident. I, I don't know. Kill this guy, please. Thank you, Maddie. Your wife's missing, sadly. Do 
221's getting wrecked by just a guy with a spear. Tough times indeed are ahead. Minecraft gets a nice hit in. Stefan. Beautiful hits. Uh, will do... Oh, we have to get you out of there, man. You're gonna get counter-sniped instantly. Only Maddie gets kills, pretty much. Maddie is doing well. Singulars could have gotten a kill by now. It's just the luck of the draw. Absolutely horrible luck. If we fail this fight, I'm living with it. I can't do a double save scum, but... Sheesh, that Zweihander better do some work for us. We paid him well. Uh, Cracker, I think we have to risk it and jump into melee. That was good. Zweihander is having fun. That's less stupid bolts to shoot at us. Uh, zombie's having a bad day. Zweihander gets hit. Good, good. I hate the fact that the greatsword guy just ran up to us. Um, and our top flank is struggling hardcore. Okay, never mind, says Mer Yeah, yeah, he, he wasn't struggling for long. Um, Antonius, I think we... I don't want to do this. Do we just walk backwards? Yeah. On a 21. On a 29. Thank God the stupid zombie didn't go again. An absolute picture of how our RNG is today. Sheesh. Stupid Monk rallies his team. Uh, archery contest. I'm not going to counter snipe. I'm going to go for this guy. Nice. Good fire. Uh, Wilter, just hide in a bush. Hiding in bushes is the best strat to try and um, not get shot. But yeah. Antonius too might be dying. Um, it's Nikki, not Nikki. Welcome to the stream, man. Not sure what you said there, but if you're doing like a link or something, it's it's technically not allowed. So apologies for that. Um, Epo, let's keep him in the fire where possible. Ober, you didn't get shot for once? What is this sorcery? I should have put bees on this one. I'm an idiot. Unless we crossbow him and then I'm not an idiot. A calculated. Double crossbow. Almost calculated. 62, 92, 95. I want the 62. Calculated? Is it working? Can we get the split? We can't. We can go for a slam. Slam dunk. Let's go, Singularis. And he's fleeing. It was calculated. I mean, I totally meant to put bees on this guy, not this guy. Totally. Does Ober have two Warlocks and two streams? He used to. He used to have a second Warlock. Oh, he doesn't... Oh, no, no, you're right. He still has his Warlock. You're right, he does. Ober is king of Warlocks at the moment. Um, and Maddie, it's your job to get your wife out of there. 42%. Um, stay away from that Zweihander. Don't go anywhere near him. He's evil. Uh, Raike, I'm kind of sad that you're just tanking against one guy the entire time. I think you need to go to the top of the map. And this guy can probably just get sniped or something. Screw it. This top flank is looking pretty scary, and so is that Zweihander, but... I need Raike to just do tanking stuff. And this guy's scary, but I think we can deal with him. Especially if Minecraft uses more nets. Um, especially if Krakaringu joins in here as well. I know it's risky putting these guys on the front line, but it should be fine. Uh, also, Stefan can just sit here. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. One Zvi is better than 24 fodders. I agree. So, I'm glad to see that the change is happening. The change of power in this fight... And the scary, scary marksmen have decided to just get absolutely dominated. Oh, I like the looks of that. Okay, yeah, top flank needs help. Epo just got hit. 
He's burning to death. Uh, Art Antonius should be okay with this guy. It's all about keeping Epo alive, because goodness me, he's getting wrecked. There's a miner as well? Crap. There's still 21 enemies, we can't forget that. Fire arrows, please. Hit true. We have to go up here. Oh, shields. Zvi is confident it doesn't help. I mean, it doesn't help against us, it helps against them, but... If he starts charging our ranks, we're dead. Ober, what do we have? Oh, he got rallied. I hate the stupid monks. Stop rallying our enemies. We don't want them rallied. Oh, I probably should shield walled. That would have been smarter. Antonius hits his 30%. What a smackdown! Maddie misses his... Okay, I'm bringing the Alps out. Screw that. Misses a 74. The double sleep! Let's go. Murph, I am interested in counter-sniping this guy. That was worth it. I was thinking the monk, but monks are just impossible to hit. So I was like, screw it. The monk doesn't deserve. Um, Singularis could get a good dunk here. But I think the smart thing to do is to wait. If we wait patiently, his turn gets wasted. And if we wake him up, then um, his turn could come back and he could hit us when we least expect it. And he could also have his friend wake him up, too. But his friend's not awake, so that's good. This guy gets woken up like a f... Mm. He's literally on two health. And we miss him? We hit him in the head? Thank you, 221. He's finally dead. That guy took forever to die. Stefan... I guess we just 1v1 this guy. You'll be fine. Top flight needs a lot of help. Sleepy boy loses his turn. Yes! And then we can wake him up. That's the good strat. And we miss an 89. How do you miss a sleeping target? Magic. That's all it is. It's just magical. Oh, shivers me. That's horrible. I don't know how Sing Singlish just has the bad luck. I don't think she's he sucks at the moment. But regardless, the luck is not on there. Like I think Ober stole everybody else's luck. Ober's got the good luck. And Singularis just hasn't had the luck. Uh sleep dodging is a new illness in Battle Brothers. <laughs> oh, it's to combat Alps. We've learned how to sleep dodge. <laughs> Hit me, miss me with that stuff whilst I sleep on it. 69 on the minor, please. I'm saving up for the right moments. I mean, next turn would be a good right moment, please. Oh, the good sleep. Uh, unfortunately, he got woken up by the dreams eating. That's fine. I'm thinking we need more Alps here, please. Um, over. Birds and the bees. And an Alp. Nice. And it's almost a kill. Fair enough. Right moment was six turns ago. Oh, Antonius, we can't move and attack. We can unleash an Alp. What if we move and unleash an... We can't do anything if we move. That's so annoying. Epo gets a kill! Let's go! Cracker's getting hit by a staff. That's fine. That's fine. Maddie's wife. Can we get this kill? That's a 95%. What is this game? Singularis gets the hit. Okay. 
Okay. That's better than nothing. Um, also, we need to stop these guys, so if I go here... Right kick, can we please go here safely? Yes, good. Minecraft, do we have another net? We need another net, and we don't have one. Archer could be good in this fight. I'm thinking we put Archer here. Nice! Archer gets a kill. Uh, 220, what do we got? Headshot, please. He's almost dead. Oh, this fight is, like, teetering. We're, like, so close to winning and so close to losing. I think we should let Singularity shoot when it's low percentage. He doesn't know how to hit when it's high percentage. Reverse psychology. I mean, we keep having this reverse psychology so much. It's so painful. Uh, can Murph? Yes, Murph can snipe. 85%. Let's go! The headshot! That's crucial. Stefan's missing, but getting pattern recognition. Zweihander, I don't know what he's doing. Maybe he's going to chase down the archer. Good triple dodge by Cracker. I'm good with everyone dying, but you don't know how I feel about it. Uh, well. It's a tough time for us all. And Cracker finishes off Singularis' kill. Nicely done. Archer. Oh! Did you just see that? The zombie comes back after like four turns and one shots Archer. On a 29%. F's in the chat for- oh my god. This is what I'm talking about. Out of nowhere, the zombie walks up and just decimates our dog. What? Uh, the Zweihander is also getting a little scary at the moment, because he's chasing archers, and the archers are not wanting to be chased. Uh, that could be bad. Um, Alp, please be unleashed. Barlow, we have work to do. Um, and the work is... God, there's a stupid Zweihander chasing us down. Uh, can we get this 81 with Antonius, please? The dunk! This fight's looking good, except for the fact that we know that this guy is still here. Singularis, please. There we go, that's a crucial kill. Singularis pulls through. Uh, Ober, let's, let's, um, let's walk a little bit closer to this guy, shall we? Just a little bit. Because we need to put the bees on him, like, yesterday. Maddie with a good hit. Uh, Epo, he's asleep. So, I mean... I think we just go chase down this guy. Actually, I want him to leave. I don't want to deal with him. What do I want to do? I want to kill this miner on the way out. I want to guarantee this miner's death. Uh, Minecraft is definitely out, so we have to put him against the zombie, I think. Please avenge our dog's death. Uh, Maddie's wife still is doing the 1v1 for so long and gets the win. So I'm happy that we get the win there. Uh, 221, let's go here for this monk. Sniping the snipers, I know. I wish we could get more of it, but Murph's done. That's okay. Stefan. I want us to go here, but I don't want to get hit. That works. That works. Good, good. When's the last time I used the shanking technique? Um, you mean with, like, daggers and stuff? Man, I haven't done that in a little while. It's totally worth it, but not in this situation, sadly. Uh, Cracker, good job. Keep throwing nets at him. He rallies? Oh. Oh, they're coming back. 
Miner's on his way out. That's good to see. Um, he's missing. That's good. Oh, he comes back. We missed the sleep. Oh, that's bad. How are the Alps doing today? Um, they did bad um, on the first fight. This fight, they're doing better. They are definitely doing better. Wakes up his friend. That's a good waste of time and effort. Uh, Zweihander is still stuck. We need to outspeed him. Ober doesn't outspeed the Zweihander. That's kind of bad. Antonius misses. That's also kind of bad. Can we get the fire arrows to stop this guy from doing things, Barlow? Please? Of course not. He breaks out immediately. And he chases down the raider? Oh, that's actually good. He didn't go for us. Let's go! Except for the fact that it keeps him confidence. But, you know, other than that, let's go! Maddie misses a 44. That's understandable, sadly, but it's understandable. Good. Singularis, can we get rid of this monk, please? I mean, we gave her a low roll. Singularis on the 42. Maybe the reverse psychology works. Maybe it just does. Epo, nicely done. Let's jump over here to be safe on this side of the battlefield. Uh, Maddie's wife can go... Uh, maybe up here to help. Maybe. Minecraft, you just ditch for the moment, my man. And 221, can we take this kill? Nice. There's the monk gone. No one's getting rallied ever again. Finally. I was... Oh, I've been hating the rally so much. Murph, can we get a drop of his uh, morale check, please? We tried. Stefan, um... We could kill this guy. Or we could just let him sleep, because he sleep dodges. I forgot he was a sleep dodger. Uh, Cracker, is it his turn yet? He's turn done. Okay. Oh, we don't have the fatigue to throw the net. We need to use this upgraded net. This is our last upgraded net, and we desperately need to use it on this Zweihander. We might be able to perma-stun him, perma-lock him inside the net. Because of the bees. <laughs> he bleeds out. And we might be able to perma-kill him with the Alps as well. The Alps could be decimating against this Vyander. Nice. Can the Minstrels start leaving? Thank you. Good. The, 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 the Zweihander's asleep! Let's go! Is he resilient? He's not. That's right, because insects last forever. That is so helpful. Antonius with the beautiful 60%. Can we shoot him whilst he's asleep, please? Sleep dodge. Watch the sleep dodge. No, he doesn't sleep dodge, but now he's on fire. Okay, that's good. The Alps are finally on our side. They're doing their job. Uh, do we rust him? No, we just keep doing the bees. I don't care how many times we have to do bees. We're going to do bees for the rest of our lives. And miss 62s as well. Not bad, not bad. We'll be fine. Uh, Singularis, let's just not deal with that, if possible. And Minecraft, don't go anywhere near it. Maddie, wife, please get the 66. Nice. 221, I'm sort of counting on you to maybe go in melee with him. I don't want you to. I want Stefan. I think we go Stefan in melee. Uh, Murph, can we get a, a shot? Beautiful shot, but it didn't break his morale. Okay. This is big. This net is going to change everything. 
And we just need to make sure he doesn't get a lucky break. If he breaks out, I'm going to be so sad. Uh, can I just do this? No, I can't. Yep, he dies on the way out. Good. Almost dies on the way out. Good. He fails the break on a 25% and a 35%. No, he breaks out on the 35! God, I hate this. Why? Okay, I'm gonna save up for shield walls. Holy crap. He breaks out of a 35%. Nice jinx. I know, I freaking jinxed it. It was our best chance, and he just instantly breaks out of it. The Alps are being evil, which I love to see. Just tormenting this marksman. Because the marksman does deserve it. 100%. Uh, let's keep those bees going constantly. Fire arrows constantly. Ah, oh, we're gonna have to keep trying. But most importantly, uh, Reke, you need to come down south. Maddie, please get this. Yes! Don't get hit, don't get hit. He splits and kills the marksman. I don't care. The bees are murder hornets. They pretty much are. They don't do damage, but they're just really, really, really annoying. That's the strategy. Just annoy them to death. Uh, Stefan, shield wall, please. Murph is exhausted. Cracker, get out of the way. As I think Ober could probably go for a hit here if he's lucky. Alps are going to join the fight. I think we're missing, like, two Alps. I keep having them on people that are attacking. He's asleep. Let's go. Nope, he's not back to sleep. Fair enough. Oh, here's another Alp. Antonius had it. That's right. Uh, Singularis doesn't have an Alp. We've already used Maddie's Alp. 48% we miss. Flies from your old character's bodies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We've just been collecting them this whole time. 36%. Oh my goodness, this guy's so hard to hit. It's that pattern recognition. It's painful. Fire arrows gotta put a stop to this. Let's go, bar low! The trickle of fire damage. He's got no armor left on his body. One shot could end this. Murph, do you have it in it? Do you have it in you to do a body shot? You do have a headshot. You almost had it. Is this the Pokemon series, Dorpy Pup? Yes, yes. Welcome to the stream, man. We are enjoying our Pokemon series with our Alp buddies. And I'm, um, scared to death of this Vihander that's living on, like, 14 health. Because he could kill us if we're not lucky. But he's rolling fives. And he dies to the fire! He dies to the fire! Let's go! It's over! It's finally over! The tier 4 quest with slightly the slightest amount of better RNG than last time. Holy crap. We only use ghost Pokemon. Yeah, 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 ghost Pokemon are great. We started with bug Pokemon. Then we also got ourselves a normal type that was the dog. And then now we've got our ghost dark Pokemon. Alps carrying the game. Oh, goodness me. That feels good. Now the only big question is, where's the rest of them? Are the Al minstrels just not leaving the fight yet? Okay, they finally left. Okay, that's good. Oh boy, we get the football helmet, and we get the nice face plate with more football helmets. That's some good pickups. We get a Zweihander. Oh, thanks to the party roll. Yeah, 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 White Wolf, you did a good job there, man. Definitely helpful.
Looks like he dropped the sword. He did. Where's the subs at? No, we don't deserve the subs. Man, I'm not sure what I'm talking about. Yeah, we had to do the reroll. And I mean, we used everything in our arsenal and we finally beat it. Feels good, though. It feels good that we got out of that on top. Ober, congrats on the level up. And congrats on a new ability. I don't think we're going to do Siphon. It's not that great. Um, I don't believe we can do a lot of damage. Was that no deaths? It was no deaths the second time, Josh. So, I mean, it doesn't really count. Doesn't really count. But the effort was there. That's the thing. The effort was there. We still have 14 out of 14. That's true. So, it's looking good. But it wasn't first time. No, it wasn't first time. Uh, Ober, what are we getting for your next level up? We do need... Maybe... Oh, Mind Over Body could be good, but we're not doing it. So we don't desperately need it. I'm just happy to be able to watch one of you live, because you watch a lot of my content on YouTube. That's alright, Dorpy Pup. Thanks for joining the stream, though. It's good you're able to jump in. Um, and it's good to enjoy it live as well. So I'm glad you're here. First time, the second try. <laughs> Defense perk, he's getting torn up by arrows. I think you're right. His defenses are just way too much of a target. And he doesn't get anticipation, which makes me really sad. I'm not sure what we could get him. It's very confusing. Josh gives the subs anyways? Goodness me, man. Thank you so much for the support. We didn't actually win the fight the first time. Still counts. Well... I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Um, my goodness, the generosity. Uh, congratulations to Dorpy Pup for the free gifted sub from Murph. Um, and Josh giving five tier one gifted subs. Uh, congratulations to Maseth, uh, Mini Morphe, Mikai, Micah, 1984, Elementis, and, uh, I can't read the last one, where is it? Uh, ZXC, 157, 256. Um, congratulations to all your free gifted subs, and thank you, Josh, for the generosity, my man. I appreciate it. Uh, the legend. He is a legend. Thank you so much. We are keen, and that was a good fight. We finally got out of it, but the first time we just got rolled. Way too much. Singularis for the thousand bits. Thank you also very much for the support. Hype train is incoming. I see why he why did it. We're doing another hype train, are we? Thank you. We have a limited time to earn exclusive emotes. So thank you. The train is here. And yeah, you guys will get permanent emotes if this train goes to... I don't know which level it is, but one of the levels gives a permanent emote. So thank you very much for the support. I appreciate it. Uh, I still have to figure out what I'm doing for this character because you guys are doing way too much generosity in chat. And I think my alert thing's bugged and it's just showing Singularis the whole time. Raike giving 100 bits. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. It's bugged out my alert thing. Oh my goodness. You guys are supporting too much. It bugged it out. Uh, I've got to go to my alert box. <coughs> Excuse me. Give me a second. Uh, how do we do this? We've got to go to the bits. And test bits to refresh it, please. Is it working? Nope, it's not. It's completely bugged itself out. Oh my goodness, what are you guys doing? You've bugged out my thing! <laughs> oh, it's, it's... Oh, we got another 10 gifted subs and it's not showing up. How do I... Do I refresh it? How do I do this? Uh, da, 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 da. It's completely bugged out. Um, I have to say thank you very much for the hype train. I'm um, Singularis. Uh, ten gifted subs. Congratulations to Wilter O'Barrel, Aeropitus, uh, the Cocor, uh, Paul Man, Bunya Man, uh, Tarthur, Lushkin Plays, uh, Damien F16, Krabby Share, Nurian P, and Captain Pinguin. Uh, thank you so much for the, uh, the hype train and the support, Singularis, and the generosity. Four minutes to level five. Very nice. Very nice. 
Um, just give me one second while I try and fix this uh, alert box because it is bugged out. And it's very unhappy with the overload, or it's very happy on the op opposite hand. Uh, for all of your generosities, guys, thank you so much. Uh, can I go like here? Now can I test the bits? It's not working. What's happened? No! We've lost the alert box today. And I'm not sure why. Oh dear. Uh, get another emote, so cool. Oh, is it, is it already the emote? Uh, White Wolf, thank you for the cheer. Oh, it fixed it! White Wolf fixed it! Thank you, White Wolf. I can do the test bits now. Oh, there we go. Thank you again for all the bits. Thank you all for the subs. Um, I can do a gifted sub thingy as well. Many, many thanks to you all. You guys are way too generous to me. And I'm glad you're enjoying the stream. That's the most important thing. The fact that you guys are giving up uh, a lot of your finances and your support to me, I, I appreciate it immensely. And I'm happy just that you're enjoying it all. That's the that's the big thing. And I'm glad that my widget box is fixed. <laughs> Sheesh. Can't believe it broke <laughs> just because of all the generosity. Okay, so let's jump back into the game because I, I have to keep performing, of course. Glad you're enjoying it all. Okay, so over, what are we getting? We need survivability against range. Balance could work, but it's not going to work with this armor. So dodge is not going to work with this armor. How the hell do we stay alive? Maybe we just switch. Here's the idea. We got to go whip, maybe. We've got to go single-handed whip and a shield. I think we've just been converted. We have to go defensive. 100% defensive. Because we'd have no perks that give us range defense. I mean, hold the line works, but you have to spend stuff? I'm a retired conductor. Nobody gets my hat. <laughs> That's how that works. But the hype train's still going, so please enjoy. Um, Do remember, with the hype train, you still get to play with a bunch of their fun emotes. So spam them as much as you want. Please enjoy it. Um, the emotes that you get after this, I think, are permanent as well. You get a free permanent emote. So congratulations to everybody on the stream that is going to get a free permanent emote. Just enjoy it, and thanks for coming along. I do want to get... <sighs> is Lithe too much? No, no, Lithe works. Yeah, I think Lithe is going to work here. Okay. 74%. Okay, that helps us with defenses. Good thing I can't use any emotes. Oh, that's unfortunate. Um, anonymous cheer. Oh, thank you very much for anonymously cheering. I don't know if that's actually your name or you cheered anonymously because that's how Twitch works. But regardless, thank you very much for the 100 bits. Um, I appreciate the support. Definitely, man. Definitely. Um, oh, cool. You guys got some, like, Christmas emotes, some creeper emotes. Looking pretty sweet there, guys. Loving the look. It is a pretty cool name, so thanks. Um, congratulations. The hype train is a success. Uh, we all really receive a level hype train for emote. I can click the share button now. So congratulations to everybody. Please enjoy your free emote. I have no idea what it is. I think I'll have a look at my side from it. Um, what did I get? Oh, it is the waving one. The hype wave. Congratulations, everybody. That is a very cool emote. Choo-choo, indeed. So, congratulations, all of you. And thank you so much for the financial support to be able to make that possible. It's it's all you guys. It's not me. It's It's all you guys. Thank you. Uh, let's get back to town safely, please. We're getting paid very well um, for the the advancements of here. You didn't get it, Mactabils? 
Oh, stay away, spiders. Stay away. Stay the freaking heck away. Um, thingamabob, what is it? Uh, if you didn't get it, Mactabilis, are you sure? Is Twitch not being fair? Um, if you're looking for the free emotes that you guys get, it's underneath my The Indomitable Snowman Live. It should be under Twitch Hype Train. So there should be a category called this. Twitch Hype Train. Refresh your page. Oh, Singular says you might have to refresh your page. But, yeah. I really hope you do get it, my man. You have been here, so I mean, there's, it, there's no reason you shouldn't have the emote. Uh, our quest finishes and we get four, five grand. Sheesh. That was a beautiful quest. I mean, it was painful as hell, but the fact that we succeeded was beautiful. You're the conductor, tickets everyone. <laughs> nice. Uh, moved up on bits and triple congrats. Oh, yeah, yeah, the the um the single leaderboard for gifted subs. Singularis is tier two. Uh, Blue Lion is still in third. And who's now on the bits board? Murph is first, Singularis second, and Reike third. You guys are way too kind, and I appreciate it. I'm head conductor, no tickets. Uh, we do need to buy ourselves a whip sometime soon. I don't want the delivery. Uh, can we get out of this safely? The spiders are close by. I want to leave these spiders behind. As much as I want to capture spiders for the party again, I'm not keen on doing it right now. Because we're a little bit worse for wear. No freaking way, there's another tier 4 quest. God. There's a crappy whip. Oh. Dang it. Crappy whip. Yeah, repair. Thank you, Singularis. We do need to repair and take care of the party's needs and health. So I think this town will be safe enough for to sit on. So let's get all these injuries fixed, because that is a handful. A definite hand... That's a lot of just pierced shoulders. And sides. That's 35 hours? Yikes. Let's lower that down by 9. Repairing is 4 hours... That's pretty decent. Uh, I'm missing what's chat saying, I apologize. Oh, War's Upon Us? Sweet. Um, what would be the ultimate Pokemon to get for the series? That is a good question. And I think the ultimate Pokemon to capture this series would be a legendary monster. And my favorite would be... Technically the most overpowered one completely, like the penultimate, is a Stolworm. Nothing. Nothing in the game compares to Stolworms. They are dominant apex creatures that destroy everything in their path. They can destroy an entire party just having one of them. I am not going to be super uh, crazy into thinking we can catch one of them, or even fight one. But in terms of legendary creatures, a White Wolf would be maybe my pinnacle. If we can catch a White Wolf and add it to the party, that would be the biggest thing for us. In terms of base monsters, uh, Unhold Collections should be good, and Lindworm Collections. If we can collect those big boys, that would be very helpful. Uh, at the moment, Alps are just a nice addition to help sleepy enemies, and uh, crowd control is helpful from them. Spiders have been really good for us. Redback? Oh, White Wolf. You might be right, the Redback's pretty good too. But Redback versus White Wolf. Uh, I'm not sure which one. I think a White Wolf would beat a Redback, but Redbacks are pretty dodgy, and they've got the nets, they've got the poison. This is an interesting debate, it is, because it really depends on what you're fighting, and it really depends on how survivable they are. I do like the question, Doppy, that was a good question. Um, war is upon us in terms of... Oh, we're doing Holy War. Ooh, we might be doing the Holy War. Armor and permanent poison. Yeah, permanent poison is pretty good. Oh! Interesting. Ober, what did you find? You found a hunt? I've never seen this event for the poacher start. Should we do a hunt? I don't want to lose and die. We did just take a lot of damage. I've never done a hunt before. 
Oh, we just get food. Okay. So nothing scary happens. I was expecting to be ambushed. Okay, that's a decent hunt. Whew. Sauron, I know what you're thinking. You wanted a scary hunt. You wanted us to be ambushed along our hunt. Oh, that would have been scary as heck. I'm sure that ability happens. I'm sure that's an option. That has to be an option. Everything in this game just has an option for you being ambushed. Thinking new Pokemon, where to going to come out? Yeah, yeah, it could be anywhere. We could have possibly had it there. That was orcs. Okay, luckily that we have one person on patrol. I'm so glad that we have that strategy down. Uh, how's everything looking? Looking a lot better. Look, the injuries are gone. And in terms of armor, we have a lot of upgrades we need to add. Uh, Reike, you're first on the list. Let's see what we can do for you. Football helmet. Tier 2 faceplate. Uh, tier 3, I don't think we... Oh, wait, actually, wait, 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 wait. Angel faceplate is a little bit better, the winged one. Looking good. Okay, other armor, Stefan needs... Uh, I'm not sure. Can we catch orcs? No. New crossbow when? Uh, I'm not sure. It's gonna be tricky, tricky to get a new crossbow for Murph, because it's expensive and... We haven't found one. We only have these ones, sadly. By orcs, do you mean Machomps? <laughs> that would be funny if we could catch Machomps. Uh, who's our Battleforge person at the moment? It is Epo, so let's tank him up as much as possible. Looking good. No, that's actually better. Uh, Armor-wise, we don't have any additions, we just have helmets. 221 can get a little bit of an upgrade. That's looking pretty good. Uh, Maddie's third wife and me, fourth wife needs an upgrade as well. That's pretty good. Uh, that's already upgraded. That's upgraded. That is a 40 base. Technically, we can upgrade that. Nice. And... For the moment, we're looking okay. That's good. Uh, what should we call it? Wilter needs one as well. A little bit of repairs are in order, but we're doing okay. Uh, 1.7k for my barge. You're almost there, Sauron. Almost there. We'll get there eventually. And... The armor situation, I really need to find some more body armors. If we can go s sail shopping. If there's any sails on, I'm going to nab them. There's a sail. There's a sail. There's actually some good sails on at the moment. Sweet. Uh, tier 2 for 40. Tier 2 for 40. Okay. Tier 2 for 40. Tier 2 is missing. So, Epo, congratulations on the upgrade. Tier 2 for 30. Let's upgrade that. Reike is sitting on a 40. Antonius is sitting on a 30, so there's an upgrade there. Uh, let's put that there. And iRugs can get that one. Uh, who needs the tier 1? Uh, technically, Stefan needs it. There you are, my man. Looking good. Looking very good for the rest of the party, I think. We get a slight upgrade for Maddie and a slight upgrade for Irugs. Okay, I'm liking that. I'm liking that. You want to take that tier four snow? Um, <laughs> I'll have a look at what it is and then see if I want to take it. Because if it's a follow the tracks, I'll take it. If it's another brilliant location, I'm a little scared because of what happened last time. Abandoned cemetery? No, 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 no. No, undead's gonna be painful. If there's necros, I don't think we can deal with that. Uh, Traveler's Rest for 7.30? That's not bad. We'll take a break from tier four. It's just a little break. Am I sure? I'm, I'm sure. See, I'm so sure I'm gonna accept this quest. 
See? I'm, I'm so sure I'm going to accept the other one. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. So our money is decent at the moment. Selling on 14s is bad, so I'm going to dodge that in a heartbeat. Uh, that is orcs, isn't it? Yeah, that's orcs. 730 bucks for orcs should be an easy fight. There's orcs right there. And in all honesty, it is getting a bit late. I haven't had my lunch. Um, so we might have to end it either after this fight or maybe the next one, depending on how we go. I didn't even check the time, but I've been having way too much fun. Uh, 6 a.m. and 5 a.m. for you guys. Oh my goodness. Good morning from Thailand, Ken Chan. Oh, hey, man. Welcome to the stream. It's almost 1.30 p.m. <laughs> Fair enough. That's not a bad time compared to some of the others that are in Europe. That's pretty rough. 10.30 uh, p.m. That's not too bad. 1 a.m. in Florida. Oh. 1.30. Yikes. Eastern U.S. is getting a bit late. So I won't keep this up for too much longer for you guys. You guys do need your sleep. Um, either this fight or the next fight will be the last one, so if you guys want to claim anything, just let me know. Um, another Florida person, pretty much. Nice. Later early. Ah, oh, it's, it's early, I guess. <laughs> Depends on the person. Uh, but the party, I'm just, I'm keen. I'm super keen on how you guys are going. It's looking great. Also, Reike, you deserve to have the cool... There you go. You look very, very dapper in that. Is Ken in this party? That's a good question. I don't think this is the party that Ken was in. No, I think Sunday was usually where Ken was in our parties. I'll check the obituary, just in case. Um, that's a very big obituary. Oh yeah, Ken died way early on as a polearm. Ken 2.0. Oh yeah, Ken is in this party. You're right, Ken. Thank you for the reminder. Um, you died. You survived 38 days, 22 battles, and 33 kills, but you died. And we had to rebuild. And then we had our 3.0, and then you died. Oh, you do have your famed items still, so we're gonna have to get you back. Um, I, Wally, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the stream, man. I need an evil laugh emote. Yeah, possibly. I do have a list of emotes already requisitioned, so there's some good ones coming out. Just... Keep, keep your head out. It's going to probably be ready for next uh, week. I, Wally, thank you for the tier one sub, my man. Welcome to the Himalayas! Snorkel? <laughs> no, 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 don't worry. It's lemon. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed the little gift there. Um, but yeah, our obituary is rather, rather large at the moment. So you're going to have to <laughs> get used to us losing a lot of people in this series, sadly. Uh, it's kind of, we have a problem with keeping our pets alive and keeping our people alive. Um, so yeah, we'll see what we can do. If there's a new recruit, I'll try and get you in, Ken. We do have a few other requests as well, but yeah, it's difficult to keep the party going. It's difficult to keep the renown up. That's the problem. 1369, and we're not hitting that 1400 in a while. But yeah, thanks again, Iwali. I appreciate the support. Uh, against this crazy fight, which is not that crazy, I'm going to wait till morning. Morning just seems like a good plan. Um, do we have any salvage? No, we don't. Okay, so let's just do this. Like that. That should be good. The conductor wants blood. Of course. How long do you think the undead tier 4 will take? A long time. That would be a tough fight. Especially if there was necros. I'm sure there's necros in that fight. I'm sure there's undead, uh, what is it called? Fallen heroes. And they just love coming back. And if there's like a legendary ghost, I would be very sad. I we think we have to save that tier four for next episode, uh, next week. Uh, there's an ad starting any second now, but we'll just jump into this fight. Um, anyone who is subbed as usual doesn't have to worry about ads, just so you guys remember. Um, but yeah. Would that money buy me a new crossbow? Possibly. It's possible. Uh, fire arrows for the win? Let's go! Okay, range superiority is exactly what we're looking for. Unfortunately, they have a lot of things to hide behind, so I'm not keen on looking at that. 
Quarterly 45 damage on a dagger isn't too bad. It isn't. It definitely isn't. But when you're looking at cool things like axes, and uh, you see they do 200 damage, compare that to a dagger, and you're kind of underwhelming. Especially against orcs that have, what, 320 health? If you're stabbing them with a dagger at 20 to 40 damage every hit, you're not doing a giant amount, which makes it really sad. Because I personally would love to see the dagger made great again, but then it might be too overpowered? I don't know. What I love to do with daggers is fearsome builds to try and break their morale before you kill them, because enemies' morale will break before you kill them later in the game, so do that. Also, I think I accidentally nudged my keyboard, and it popped out. Ah! Why is my keyboard being silly? Okay, I'm going to just go with mouse for a little bit until my keyboard reconnects. Please reconnect. There we go, keyboard's back. Okay, good. Um, yep, yeah, sorry, that's the funny noise. <laughs> for some reason, since I moved my rig over to the second um, location, this, this other house that I was at, um, I don't know why my keyboard's been unhappy with me. Maybe I have to put it in a different port. Maybe my port's dying. But that's fine. At least it's working at the moment. Uh, so the aim for this battle is we've got this guy needing headshots. Uh, we need the this guy needing headshots. Let's go. Murph, can we get a headshot? That's not a headshot. Damn. Go again? That's also not a headshot. Damn. That sucks. Berserkers are scary with Nimble. Um, they would be if they had it. So thank God they don't. Uh, the hammer's frightening, yep. And axes are frightening, they'll break our shields. Oh. Crazy stuff. Okay, over. Hmm. Sword guy's scary. Anyone new in the party? Is it the same? It is just the same party. Nothing has changed. Still the same 14 people. Um, I will spear wall this to slow things down, hopefully with Maddie's wife. Um, Epo, Not sure. Reike... Take a stance. Hopefully that works. Uh, Nets, please Minecraft. That's probably the best person at the moment to put a net on. Warriors are painful. Did I make a name of list requ um, name request requisitions? Um, I should. I should add a sticky note because they're usually my way to go to thing. Um, what was the requests again? It was White Wolf, wasn't it? And then it was... Um... Oh, goodness. Thank you very much. I will copy and paste that. Uh, if I can just copy... There we go. And that will stay on my second screen, just to make sure I have it all sorted. Uh, and this will be Satur Saturday Name Requests. There we are. It's a first come, first serve. So, I'll try and build up a list for you guys. And unfortunately, it is very hard to increase the party size, so you might have to wait a bit, sadly. But thank you very much, Murph, for the list, because I totally didn't um, write it down, which I probably should have, so I do apologize. Okay, so, headshots galore would be very helpful here at this moment in time. Um, 221, please. Please deal with that. Have I seen your range attack? It's just a beast. Yeah, it pretty much is. This character right here, the crossbow, is 118. Plus 15%. It's beautiful. Nope, just seen you miss. <laughs> I mean, we've seen him hit a buckler. It's so bad. Stupid bucklers. Oh, it hurts. It hurts the soul when bucklers stop your crossbow bolts. It's because of the crossbow? <laughs> sure, sure, sure. <laughs> we'll believe it. Stefan, let's just sit here safely with a shield wall. Uh, can I break a shield, please? Uh, I want to break a big shield. Dang it, that's too risky. 
Ah, uh, there's only one big shield to worry about. Maybe I deal with the small shields, because I hate shield walls. Yeah, screw it. I'll go small shields. Uh, Foolish Monk, just remembered the dibs thing. Great timing. Great timing. I don't like our formation, but I don't think we can get a better formation at this moment in time. I think we just have to live with it. The stun gets stopped by the shield wall. That is good. The flank is a problem, so can we stop them? That works. Bolt is much harder to hit than a quake. <laughs> Pretty much. The quake is just way too easy to hit. Just on allies, that's the problem. Throwing weapons, I don't care. That slows things down. That, I kind of care about. A lot. But we can just throw a net on him, so why not? Let's keep that going. Axes, please. Always expects the worst of me, so I do the same now. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, can we get this crossbow bolt, please? Yay! Murph gets the headshot. Nicely done. Uh, birds and the bees. Let's go. Ober, keep up that work. Watch out for the cull. Yeah, that's gonna be pretty rough if we get hit by a cull. But Epo gets a headshot. Let's go. Um, Maddie's wife is... This is gonna be risky. Very risky. But we need to keep this berserker sitting in the fire. Crap, that's bad. That's really bad. We have to keep doing nets. You missed the headshot, Lola. That's still over two, says Sauron. <laughs> Yep. Female wife this time, I know, but she might die. That's the problem. We don't want her to die. The bees are still... Oh, they're resilient. Are they resilient? Or is it just lasting three turns? Or two turns? I don't see resilient on their list. Okay, that's good to hear. Uh, Minecraft, I don't want these flanks to happen, so just stop them. Still have five versions to go. Nine lives for nine wives. Yep. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Mm. Right, Kay, this is going to hurt, but you have to be here. Uh, 221. Spear wall again. Stefan, there's a lot of armor sitting in front of you, so go for this guy. Nice headshot. Nice. He breaks free but wastes his time. Ah, uh, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, Antonius, this is dangerous. But so worth it. Oh my goodness. Antonius brings the pain. Singularis, I'm worried about you. So I'm going to put you here. Uh, no more stuns, thank you. Get a character in Sunday stream if you can. Matching stuff would be more good content. Yep, yep. Uh, if you get 42 wives, goodness me. Always expects the worst, then when you do the clutch play, it gets hyped more. I mean, you can't always expect the best, because it's not always going to happen. So it's, it's, it's good to have a bit of give and take every now and again. Uh, Maddie, I'm stuck. Dang it. I can't get you in on a hit. Going here is risky. Way too risky, because then if you get charged, you're screwed. So we have to stay put. Uh, Minecraft, I'm saving the last net. Yeah, I'm saving the last net. Throwing weapons, don't care. Don't even care. Doesn't even do clutching. <laughs> Gotta keep the clutch going, come on. Uh, let's go into this, please. Yes. Wilter. No headshots, but that's okay. This orc warrior is getting destroyed. Uh, fire arrows, please. There. Eh, it's better than nothing. Maddie's wife is getting wrecked. Not enjoying that situation. 
Oh crap. Uh, Singularis, let's just wait patiently. Birds and the bees, can we go up here? Here, here's better. We need to save top flank as much as possible. Top flank needs everything. Uh, Kiddo redeems what party RNG. Uh, I'm assuming you want that as a combat one, right? So you can spawn something? Because, uh, yeah, we can't do the party one in combat. Yeah, I'm assuming you're using that for the combat one at the moment. Thanks for the buy, the, the redeeming, though. Thank you very much. And let's go and grab a spin. Combat. Yep, thought so. Uh, thank you very much for the confirmation, kiddo. Uh, random enemy brigand and barbarian. Ooh, this could be good. This could be good. Uh, let's add them to the top because obviously that's a good spot to go. And what are we going to get? Uh, that's not as scary as I was expecting. But it's something. And he might just assist us with some more fire. But <laughs> that's not a... Um, that's not a Chosen or a Barbarian King, sadly. It's a little bit different. I will admit. <laughs> That's okay, we'll get him. He'll help us, he definitely will. And 221 kills on the Spear Wall, let's go. If only I had a crossbow, yeah. If only. Antonius with the Dunk, let's go. Oh, there's the stun. Well, the Marksman didn't even have a chance. Oh dear, at least he's a distraction. That's the thing. We're going with him as a distraction. And that's all that matters. Epo, beautiful kill. Murph, what do we got? Technically, I care about this guy a little bit. Technically, I'm scared of him. Um, uh, leaning just towards this guy. Nice, good stagger, good stagger. F for the marksman, yeah. The poor marksman's not having a good day. He only just came into this fight. Uh, loving the stream, thanks kiddo, I appreciate it. And uh, loving all the random interactions as well. But the trick is, how do we get past this? I don't know, but Maddie needs to sit here. And probably go for that hit. Nice. Uh, Maddie's wife dodges two hits. Let's go. Uh, Minecraft, can we go for this? And I think we're out of nets now. Yeah. I had to use the net there. We had to do something about it. Uh, Raike, do we hit or we just go for the defensive? We just go for another shield wall. That's what we have to do. Uh, no one cares about the marksman. He's meat and he's going to be meat beat. <laughs> he's going to just be a meat grinder. Three Zerkers at the bottom so far, so good. I mean, Raike's confident. He's confident he can handle this. I think he's got this. I don't want to jinx it. But I think he's doing well. Uh, let's throw another net on someone else. Thank you. Cracker, nicely done. Uh, 221. I don't know if you should verse the giant mace guy. I think it's Epo's job to traverse the giant mace guy. But you both have the same defense. Hmm. Hmm. Someone has to deal with him because if he breaks free and goes here, he kills Maddie. So we have to put someone here and then we just shield wall, right? Yeah, that's the better play. I care for the marksman, says Sauron. <laughs> Sauron cares. See, Sauron always cares. That's why he got to Mordor. He cares about Mordor. And I think this is a good hit for Stefan. And then... This is scary for Singularis. I don't think we should do it. So let's go here. Oh, there goes the shield. No! Instant nine lives. Instant. From 150 armor. Maddie, I think you're gonna be a constant widow for the rest of your life, my man. How do you just have bad luck with women? How does all of your wives just die? 
Tough times, my man. Tough times. Oh, I feel bad for you. Shivers, that guy's gonna be pain. Okay, let's finish this quick. We miss an 84. We miss an 84? <sighs> yep, she's dead. Crap. Antonius gets the beautiful dunk. Uh, we had birds and bees on him as well. Fudge. The fact that he's confident is a big problem. Welcome to the team. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. White Wolf is next. Epo, I think we need to go up here and defend. I know Steph needs to be part of this, but he's wavering, so that's also a painful situation. Shivers, what do we do? Um, We go here, right? Minecraft can't do anything at the moment. Raikei gets a shield wall. Let's go. Remember no tryouts? I know, I know. I remember, but thank you very much for the reminder, because it is there are chances I do forget. Murph gets a beautiful stagger. Let's go. Uh, Maddie, please. Nice, he's breaking. He misses a 16. Let's go, he's fleeing! That's helpful. Cracker, we need to switch to this just in case for emergencies. That's good. Bad luck, yeah. Can his name be Victor? Sure thing. I'll add that to the list so I don't forget. Uh, White Wolf wants Victor. No worries. I want to be a beggar. I mean, <sighs> we'll see what we can do. Not sure how we'll get that. 50%? Really? Are you kidding me? The stupid little sword did 111 damage to our armor? Wow, I shouldn't have tried to move over. That is garbage. He breaks out. On a 28%! Oh, we might be losing someone else. What are the chances? He breaks out on a 70. I guess that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep, the pain and suffering is real. Fire Arrow doesn't check his morale. Raikei takes a what? A what? A 5% that decimates him? This is fine. This is perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with this situation. Nothing wrong with this fight. Stefan is fleeing with a 9 lives proc. An Orc Young is dominating. This is fine. There's nothing wrong with this picture. Why would there be anything wrong with this picture? God. We were winning a little while ago. Alps, I think it's your turn. And they missed the sleeps. Birds and the bees, please help. And another alp. Okay, he's asleep at least. Uh, Minecraft? I don't know, man. God, this is bad. This is re- this has changed instantly. We were winning. We were winning so well. And Raikei has a sprained ankle, that's pretty bad. Can we get a crossbow bolt to somebody's head? 
Maddie almost getting a kill. Cracker can walk back because he's sleeping. And get a stupid headshot. Oh, what's with all these headshots? There's a good kill. There's some confidence. It didn't fix Stefan. Stefan's dead. No, he frees. Stefan's okay. He fails to break out. Let's go. Um. Um, that's a good question. What do we do? There's not much we can do. Shivers. Alps, go first. Put someone to sleep. Kill him. You didn't kill him. Good. Right Kate just dies. On a 9%. I'm done. I'm so freaking done. What is this? It was nice having you, man. It was. But all the scripting in the world couldn't change that. <sighs> now we have spots available again. I mean, new names are coming in. That is very true. We have lots of work to do. And, yeah. It's going to be a tough one. Looks like we're hiring. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, freaking boy. This should not be this hard. Doggy, be helpful. Let's go. The double dog hit. Bones. Let's be patient. Let's be patient. He breaks free, what a jerk. Alp just dies. Cracker just gets insta-killed. What? What is this? What is this Berserker doing? He's on three health! And we didn't kill him! Oh, God. And we leave this guy on four health. This game has a problem, and the problem is leaving everybody on zero health, and they still whoop your ass. Oh, I need some lunch after this. Barlow misses a 62. Eat his dreams, for God's sakes. Thank you, Alp. There's another death. Is this it? Holy crap. We're losing to Orc Young. Not a good sign. Yeah, Murph died. Everyone's dead. I think, yeah, that's, that's it. God, why? Why? This is a tier one quest. A literal tier one quest. Meant to be weaker than our party. 700 bucks, Murph. You're right. It was worth 700 bucks. We beat a tier four quest worth 5,500. And we lose to a tier one. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm having lunch after this. Oh my goodness. We might try and salvage the party. I don't know, because I still want to show off the Pokemon. And rebuilding from the beginning is going to be really hard. But... God, we've got to stop losing 5% and 9%. Remember, losing's fun, Sauron. I do agree. Losing is definitely very, very fun. <laughs> the Alps fleeing! 
Our Alp is fleeing. <laughs> oh, you gotta love it. We can escape with Epo. Epo didn't take barely any damage this fight. But, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Alp's like, nope, I see. This is a bad situation. And he's out. Oh, boy. I don't think we can get enough out of this. It's it's either the party dies or we save it next week. We might save it for next week. But, yeah, it's too much of a rebuild. But regardless, I think we might have to end it there, though. Thank you guys so much for coming along to the stream. We <sighs> could have given you no crossbow. That wouldn't have changed anything. No way. I don't know what would have changed. It's just the percents. They're breaking out of nets on 20%. They're hitting Raikei on 5%. I think getting a set... Here's the thing. If I brought a second shield for Maddie's wife, maybe? But, I don't know. One with a bard? Ugh. There's a lot of ifs and or buts, but thanks for coming along, though. It was definitely a difficult day, because... Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'll blame RNG, Raikei. We will blame RNG for the rest of our lives. What's happening with this party? I might keep it next week, depending on how we feel. But, yeah, it was rigged. We'll see how we go. I, I want to show off late game content for the Pokemon series. But we'll see what we can do. We can't save it? Oh, uh, I mean, we still have the autosave, technically. Um, I'll see what I can do. And I'll consider something for next week. But, yeah, it's... It's looking tricky. It's looking very tricky. And I don't know what beasts would make the big difference. Because I don't even know if unholds would make a big difference in this fight either. They probably would be good meat shields, but... I mean... I can see how some monsters could be overpowered, but some just aren't. Tank pets? Yeah. Something. We'll see what we can do. But I do appreciate you guys coming out today, and I'm sorry for the delay of the stream, but we still got six hours in, which is a lot, and I'm keen for having my belly filled. So, once again, thank you all for the beautiful generosity. Thank you again for the the wonderful hype train. Shrats is a very good idea, Navig. If we can steal a Shrat, they're very tanky. So I do like your idea, man. I do like it, and that's probably something that would give us... A gigantic defensive front line. Definitely. But until next week, please do enjoy the YouTube series and the VOD if you missed out anything today. Uh, don't forget we do have our stream tomorrow. Um, Sunday stream will be starting in... If I can get my math correct. 28 hours? 27 hours? I've got the countdown timer on my Twitch channel if you want to get more accurate times than me and my timing. Um, but, yeah, please do enjoy. We've got magic coming in tomorrow. So we've got our magic origins still continuing from last week. And I'm keen to show off all the cool late game spells for you guys. And, yeah. It was a fun one today. And I'm glad the Alp army technically survived. The Noxida was very disappointing. But we do need something bigger. So we'll try and get something, something next week. Shrats would be great. Shrats would be amazing. But, yeah. I've got to grab some lunch, and I'll see you all tomorrow. If not, enjoy your week. Catch you guys.